What's up? I'm Dick Machinko and welcome to Worst Games Ever. I'm Peter. As you know, this is a, a, a television show on the internet where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Remember, they're not always the worst games ever, but they are worse, worse than, than most. most. I am this week's games victim. Which means that I have, I'm going to be subjected to the horrible game. Yeah, which makes me today's games master. Which means I've brought along a terrible game for Ben to play. You know, I think I'm that was sorry? A, for Dick to play. Uh, I think that was a very concise intro, almost to the point that like our grandma slash parents would actually understand the format of the show. No, you We're know, when make it more convoluted. Is that what you're doing now? Are we? Are we? Despooling the. No, I just wanted to. When you said it's a television show on the internet, I kind of realised oh, that, what? like, when my grandma asks what I do, I do kind of say it's I like TV, TV but it's just internet. on YouTube.com, a website on the internet. Ben! Yeah? Dick! Sorry? You just answered to it. Dick! <laughs> Today. You could have said biscuit and I would have said yeah. Yeah, true. Uh, well, who wouldn't say no to a biscuit? We are playing. It's almost like a sequel to something we played before or a prequel. Barbie! Race and oh, Ride. Another Barbie game. Another Barbie game. Remember when we played Barbie Explorer? I had to play that, I yeah. think. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. That I'm was... a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Yeah. It's time to dick my Barbie. This, no, do not dick anyone's Barbie. This promotes problem solving in a realistic outdoor environment. I don't believe you. Age five and upwards. Uh, okay, yeah. Encourages like learning about horses. <laughs> it's quite specific. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Well, you got anything else on there? No. Okay, well, before we get started this week, we are joined by Scandal Penguin, Billy Ray Dolores, Billy Ray Warris. Oh, sorry, Dick My Machinko, namesake. yeah, uh, Jean Claude Van Lam, and Stephen Seagull. All right, Peter, are you ready to hit me with those science facts? So ready, give them to me, put Take the game the there. Box. We'll swap that over, bish bash bosh, and away we. Bless you. Sorry, I've got. Got the, I was going to say mumps, it's not it, is it? Hay fever, Dropsy. so close. <laughs> mumps. Oh, who's this guy? Oh! That's uh, Race and Ride, I it's think. It's Mattel Media. Yeah. Oh my god. Hello, I'm Matthew L. Media. Matt L. Matt of the Media. Yeah. Oh, where are we going? This Remember looks this? Like, oh my god, we're going backwards. Remember this? Stonehenge? Oh yeah! From Barbie Explorer, RuneCraft. Right. They're back. I think I've played RuneCraft before. You have. Big fan of RuneCraft. Software for girls. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, boys. Well, that's not very progressive and modern. Oh is my it? god! Software for everyone. <laughs> Hi. Ah! Welcome to Secret Valley. This I'm sorry, I can't. I can't hear you, Barbie. The music's so loud. Welcome to Secret Valerie. Look at them go. It's a bit plain. The way Look their legs them. move, they're like sort of walking on air, aren't they? Somewhere in the valley is a secret hidden ranch. So let's saddle How do you hide a How ranch? How hidden can it be? There's nothing. There it is. There it is right there. You just panned right. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm into it. Barbie race and ride. You know you can challenge her friends. It's a bonus fact that I've just seen on the back of the box that's not, not in, the, in the science facts. Okay. Race against your friends. Christy, trademarked. And Teresa, trademarked. Oh, no. We've had issues with trademark. Wow. Before. Press the X button to create press a new the, Press card. the... Pre it's Comic Sans. So hang on, new player options start and one player. Oh. There it is. It's actual, very much Comic Sans there. Dick Mike. Dick, 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 Dick Mikey. Dick Mikey. Hello, Circus Elephant. What is going on there? Highlight the outfit you like, then press the X button. They're, they're both pretty grim, got to be honest. They've got a lot of choice here, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, blue denim shirt or, yeah, the grass stained trousers. Purple, it takes an awful long time. It does. It's having a really hard think about oh, there it. We go. Oh, my God. These are our four beautiful horses. They are beautiful. So we've skipped a couple of facts, but while we're on the horse selection screen, uh, there are only four horses players can choose from. A Palomino, a Paint, a White, and a Dapple Grey. Use the arrows 
to see all the names. There's one called Blaze. Name your heart Is there? 420. Blaze. Blaze. I'm sorry? Blaze. 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 Yeah. So there's different pages that they're all alphabetized. Okay. Chestnut. Bunny. Buttercup. Button. Candy. Button. Chestnut. When a player selects their horse, they'll be given a list of names to pick out, such as Blaze, <laughs> Flash, Ah, Ariel, <laughs> Beauty, Duchess, or Princess. Wind. Well, we've all got it. Taffy. <laughs> Taffy. She's got no snowflake. They're all just said in exactly the same... Okay, millennials. To I'm sorry? Effing millennials. Exactly the same tone of voice. Misty. Moonbeam. Muffin. Magic. Moonbeam. Muffin. I had one of those in uh, in Amsterdam. A magic moonbeam muffin. Yeah. Yeah. It really just, it sends yeah, you, to, it sends you to, to actual space. Yeah, a blaze baby. Barbie Race and Ride is a 1999 horse-related <laughs> Barbie video game for the PlayStation. It's equestrianism-based gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, that, is what it says that on a well-known category. Wikipedia, I think. It's equestrianism-based gameplay makes it a spiritual predecessor to the Barbie Horse Adventures series. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, that well luck. <coughs> Bless you. What are you going to call it? Blaze, surely. Button can chestnut. Button, button can, can chestnut. Button can chestnut. I've seen button chestnut several times, actually. This game was published by Sony <laughs> Computer Entertainment Europe. No, it wasn't. And, yeah, it was. Oh. And developed by RuneCraft, famous for Barbie Explorer. They're not famous for this that, This is are they? exactly the same as one of the ones we played last year, this, this bit. There's a cat. Yeah, this looks like um, Mary Kate and Ashley. It does. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I think all horse games look a bit like this. Right, because they're just in a stable. Yeah. Before we hit the trails, we should Actually, her voice is so grating, isn't it? Isn't it? Everything's in the same tone of what well, I suppose we're going on a press the riding lesson. So when I tested this game, I thought this bit was broken, but no, this is just how they do it. So that oh. looks wrong, doesn't it? It looks really wrong. Uh, Why is there a bit of artifact on the left of the screen? Then? That's like the whole screen has been like moved across to the other side. And I'm going to leave that in the edit so you guys can see it at home. Is that how it looks in the actual game? Yeah. That's uh, well, no, does. probably not. That might just be us. Press but the up directional button. If you press C. Oh my god! So, so this that's is the how they frame. do. That's how they do speed changes in this game. They just re reduce the frame rate. Wow, they really do. So I'm now going slow, and look at it. To turn your horse to the left, press the left directional button. Oh my god, no! Oh, look up that, you, that Swiss roll. This isn't right. This isn't feel, This just looks like a bad cutscene. No, it is though. This is what's supposed to happen. So all you can read. <laughs> so you can't. Oh my god, it's it off. You're not really able to control the horse. It's going to run around in laps. But you can just sort of strafe left and right, I think. Okay, I can jump over things. What happens if I just run into it? Biff. When you want to jump over an obstacle, press the X button. Oh. Wow! Go full speed? I am. We're uh. ready to hit the trails. That's it. That's all the riding lessons you need. That was really complicated We're off to, to hit be the fair. trails. It was really, really hard. Uh, I didn't finish my initial fact, which was uh, they're, they're famous, if you like, for RuneCraft. Uh, sorry, RuneCraft are famous for Barbie Explorer, which is featured on Worst Games Ever. Yeah. Uh, Jim Henson's The Hoops. I'm sorry. Hoop Hoop Hooray. Press and. She okay? Yeah, yeah, she's just loading. N64 cult classic, Space Station Silicon Valley. Are you aware of that? I'm not. That's actually a, a kind of okay game. The PS1 version of the same game was pretty bad, but uh, the N64 version is well loved and remembered, so good on you, RuneCraft. Hey, look at those pebbles. I wonder what they're for. So you can stop at various intervals and sort of explore the world. Okay. A bit like the Mary Kate and Ashley game, only there's a loading screen every time you want to do so that. RuneCraft did oh. A, oh my god, RuneCraft did a good game and then they Looks didn't. Looks like some sort yeah. of game. Let's take a closer look. Oh my god. That's Why does she move like that? Such a weird interpretive dance. Oh, oh god. I'm assuming I can't rotate these, so there's only one place that these can actually go. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, what? Can I rotate? Oh my god, we've been... Oh, for God's sake, Barbie! You can only rotate them outside of the play area. Is that it? Uh, you just rotated that head then. Yeah, I think I've got it now. It's circle. Circle, I'm doing really hard. You've been out foxed by... Help. Barbie, please! We thought this would be so simple. Barbie, come back! And it's not. That needs to go above the head. Hang on. <laughs> this is so... This is the hardest thing I've ever played. There you go. Up there. Hey, that's right! Oh, it made a dolphin noise. <laughs> Hey, that's right! <laughs> oh my god! No, there they go. It's better than Sonic, to be honest. Yeah. It's Jesus. actually moving in a forward trajectory, not sort of strafing as it <laughs> as it jumps. It's great. 
It was really good. Yeah. Players can decide whether to play in one player mode or two player mode. In two player mode, they will not be able to clean and care for their horse. <laughs> so there's all these two player horses out there that are just, just wallowing neglected. in their own filth. God, it's weirdly sort of. I feel like they've rotoscoped that or something. Like they've actually. Oh, the oh legs. why does it move like that? I don't like it. The I don't think she... they've ever seen a horse. They've had horses oh. described. This must be where the race starts. Okay, well that's it then. Okay, start we, the race. We come to a stop here. I'm the only one here. <laughs> Highlight the race banner oh. and press the X button to start the race. Please just start the race, Barbie. Why are the two used Scott. tissues on that banner this there? Christy on Sky. Christy on Sky. Sick with Chi on Blaze. With diamonds. Whoa, hang on, what? Nobody told me the buttons. Is there a like a sprinty button? Or do you just have I to... I'm just... Oh, I think I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, there's rubber band. <laughs> yeah, it really is. She waits for you. I would have won by now. Although you're just going normal speed now. Do you think she's going to slow down at the end? Christy, please. We need to progress. I can't go any faster than this. She's just staying there. She's just not making any mistakes. Oh, no. First, Racing second. So much fun. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> When does it end? There we go. Well done. Oh, oh my god, god, look out! Oh, we're playing, I forgot we were playing. Jump! Whoa! Oh, the slow-mo. Giddy up! Giddy up! Looks like we're going this way. Yeah. Whatever this is. Jump! Whoa! Sea lions? Sea lions? sea lions? The one on the right looks very sick. Aren't they quite territorial, sea lions? Yeah, they're, they're incredibly dangerous animals this to approach. Which one do we want to poke? That one. Whoa! <laughs> oh, they're so weirdly animated. Like they're kind of well animated, but can we uh, put, put in that Spider-Man Spider-Man <laughs> meme in, please? We were both thinking it. Yeah, we were. Oh! God, look at Barbie's ass. Don't look at Barbie's ass. Do everyone look at Barbie? Here's a massive full screen no, zoom on Barbie's ass. I don't know ass. how old Barbie's meant to be, but I don't think we should be looking at her ass. Baby. Well, she she can drive, so she's old enough. Scoot, scoot. That's not the age of consent. Just well, if they can drive, it's fine. But I'm just saying. Oh no, my badge fell. No. Oh, sorry. How to are hear people that. gonna know? Who I? Whoa! Don't play for me. <laughs> Nay. What are you gonna do with the? Those oysters are massive. They're annoy annoyingus. What are we gonna do with the oysters? Oh, they've got different ones. They're gonna make the noises too. Oh. Nothing in that one. Check them all. You found a pearl. Me. Do we get to keep it or is it? Oh look! You I don't like the noises it makes. Wow, that was a fun game. Is that, wasn't is that it? it? Can you not take the pearl? I would. Oh, oh be the beach at dusk. She's gonna just be making out with her horse. Oh my god! Please no. Oh, the water's a bit oh weird god. looking. I just wanted the the, the sea is stopped. The sea is. Oh, the rock pool. Let's go crabbing. Let's see if Barbie can catch crabs. Let's go look at the rock pool, can't we? Show me, show me what's in the rock show pool. Show me the rock pool. Oh, please, yeah. have a oh. enough water to drown in it. Follow the sea creatures in the correct order. Mm, it's a memory game. What's that middle one? A turtle. Why is it so small? Oh, it's Simon Says. Highlight the correct sea creature and press the X button. <laughs> they all going to make a different noise. Okay, your turn. This is going to be worth it for every sound effect that we hear each time. Well done. Follow me. Fighting Gatto submitted a cheat to the GameSpot page to unlock the mall. To unlock the mall, enter this password. And then there's a load of letters. I don't think you can enter passwords on this game. I think they've just, just made it up. It was shrimp. Why is she standing like that? That's really creepy. Off we go. What are we going to stop for next, do you think, Peter? Oh, probably some sort of slide picture arrangement game or like possibly another race or... I'm going to win that race. Yeah. Sea turtles. I don't think they're meant to just be chilling on the beach like that. Well, they lay their eggs on the beach. I suppose so. Are we just going to poke them now? Yeah. Can we take some eggs home? Have a nice omelette? Oh dear, they look unhappy. All the animals in this game. Yeah, I can't tell what's rubbish and what's just dead animals. Aren't they cute? Are you saying that too? God, why is she so smoothly animated? I think they have just like got a real person and they've just like sort of drawn over the top of it. That's it. Run away from Barbie. 
Oh my god, there it goes. <laughs> that one is sick <laughs> and can't move. Is that all it does? It just makes that noise. Yeah. Ah. He's all alone now. Oh god. Goodness crikey. Uh, are you enjoying yourself, Dick? I'm absolutely having the time of my life. My life? Milo. My life. That's a Borat reference. Oh, is yeah. it? My, my life. I don't oh. know if you've seen Borat. Bor what? The Borat. It's really good. It's, uh, What's it about? It's just come a rat. Out in, it's just come out 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about this um, man right. from a country that not many people have heard of. Okay. He just gets into all, all kinds of just hijinks it's, oh. and he has catchphrases one of them is my life my life oh my it sounds, life. sounds good this film what, what did yeah. you say it's called Bor borrow the borrowers the borrowers yeah bo right. bo okay. ball rat it's a really good film so, i yeah. recommend you all shut up do you know the best part about that what's that we will now get at least one comment saying i can't believe peter's never seen borat i can't believe peter's never seen ball rat because if, well if people say ball rat that's fine because they're clearly aware enough that my life my life but, uh, we're up, we're God, on the mountains. You know, there are some idiots in our audience. Not you, just the other people. Just the other ones. Yeah. Look around you. They're all idiots. Mm. You're not that. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize oh. you couldn't run through water now. No, horses are hydrophobic. Whee! Did you not know this? Definitely landed right in the middle of it. That's yeah. Fine. What could possibly distract us here? Let's take a closer look. If it's a bloody it's gonna be puzzle a of a bear, I'm going to be really furious. It's going to have a, a different animal on it. You're going to make me lose my barb. It's a beaver. I'm trying to put the pieces of the puzzle back together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of horrible hellspawn creature have you just created? Barbie's never been outside before. Oh, look, a bear. Oh, no. My life. There you go. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh, just the way God made it. There we go. It's we've made the perfect animal. Just put its put its legs back up the right way around, just to really. There. There's something there's something wrong with my cat. <laughs> my wood cat. My wood cat's gone wrong. Hey, that's right. Hey, that's right. Hey, Mancarena. Ah, aye, aye. Why, aye? Oh, hello. what? That's not a beaver. Is the beaver going to eat it? Cool. It's beautiful those rabbits are just gonna have filthy rabbits wait now what? so you make the dolphin jigsaw and it shows a dolphin That's sloshing true. around we did make a beaver thing well, we made a beaver and there's just oh cool aren't those rabbits cute maybe because they couldn't actually show what is this uh what rating three and up they couldn't show two beavers rubbing rubbing each other no that would that would make it significantly That's higher rating i think exploring. off she goes just crumples over the the puzzle she just the baby rabbit made. Let's stay on the mountains after dark. What could it be? Come on, let's find out. Okay. What is it though? What are we looking at? Is it some animals? I swear to God, if it's some animals, Barbie. I'm gonna be so furious. It's a woodpecker. It's a woodpecker. <laughs> oh my god. So glad we stopped. That's enough of that. Look at the weird wave in its hair. Yeah, it's not right, is it? No. Dick. Yes. What do you think? Why don't you just giddy up? And keep, like... keep it, keep it up. What do you think this game received? It's starting to get dark. Uh, on average, stable. from five critics' reviews, not on Metacritic, but on Moby Games. Um, I think it got thirty-seven. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, Twenty-five that's, average. That's about right. Yeah. It's reassuring that people yeah, think that. It really is, because this is just a glorified menu, this. The okay. rabbits. I wonder what they're up to. There's a third one now. These beavers. I wonder what well, they're they, up to they've now. Been at it like rabbits. Let's, let's annoy them. Where... Oh, look, it's a family. Sorry? It was a family. Cool, that was really good. Yeah. So 25%. Yeah. 
Um, Off she goes. What do you think the lowest score was, Ben? I've done the lowest first because the highest score is is outrageous. Okay, if it balances out 25 and the highest is outrageous, the lowest must be 10. It's even lower than that. Five? Yes. Five out of 100? The <laughs> lowest score for this game comes from player one. Uh, 5%. Player, well, I, I mean, the, the brand name is in English, but the review was written in French, so I don't know who player one are. Okay. Translated, not very interactive, rather ugly, but true to the world of Barbie, this game will satisfy girls under the age of 10 if they are hardcore of, if they are hardcore of the famous doll, it says. <laughs> I, I too am hardcore of the famous doll. Yeah, this game will satisfy girls under the age of 10 if they're hardcore of the famous doll, and their parents eager to slowly learn video games alongside their offspring. Uh, Try to find the correct holes to get me hair to the carrot. The ha the hair. Oh, I see. If you fail it, wait. What? 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 Did you just press the one that the hair is on? That's what. No, I no. So then, of these three, you have to choose the right one. Uh, so it's the left one. You see. So it's middle, middle, left. No. Oh, it's middle. Just a memory game. Middle, left. Yeah. Left, middle, <laughs> middle, left, middle, middle, right, middle, middle, left, middle, left, oh, middle, it's just middle, 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 left, middle, middle, middle. Oh my god! <laughs> They're all middle except that one left. Ridiculous. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah, look at him go. Look at us go. Closing the game. This game is good for girls who are hardcore so of the famous fun. doll and also good for parents who are eager to slowly learn video games alongside their offspring. That's nice. This is the worst possible introduction to video games I've yeah. ever ever. God, been imagine. Party to. Imagine if your dad or your mum finally said, all right, I'll try your games machine. Go. You sh show me how fun it is. And then they sat down to Barbie Race and Ride. This is what they got. You'd never be allowed to play games again. Nope. Uh, I have also included another low review here because it's got an interesting line with it. The Review Busters did give this 10%, which was your first guess. Yeah. So they gave it 10% and said, Race and Ride is best kept on store shelves and in no way can I recommend this title, not even to the blind. Whoa! Jesus. Not even to the blind. The blind. None, none of the blind get no. to play this. That blind there, don't... Nah -ah. No, you're not playing it. Stop. What do you think this insanely high... I mean, I might have slightly over it a bit. What is that? What manner of beast? Hi, little fella. There's literally not. This isn't even a game. This is just press the hole he might be in. Well, hello there. Every time he comes out, you hear a coyote howling in the distance. Hunting him. What's this insanely high review, Ben? Uh, is it 80? Basically, yes. The highest review for this game comes from GameSpot UK. No, GameSpot! Who gave it 79%. GameSpot, why? And they said, Barbie Race and Ride has a very specific type of player in mind, but it delivers the goods in captivating quantity. Whoa! <laughs> quantity. There's just, if you like this, there's, there's a lot there's of it. There's an amount of this game. It'd be a rare small Barbie fan who would be disappointed with this neatly packaged game. One of very few specifically for young girls on the PlayStation. Great. It's not all about young girls. Horse riding? Yeah, games for girls. What about games for boys? Huh? Yeah, where, when's International Boys Day? Am yeah, I right? when's our turn? Yeah. It's been too hard to be a white man. Yeah. For too long. Real difficult. I remember there was a horse riding, not horse riding, it was a horse TV show called the Silver Brumby or something. I'm sorry. It's a type of horse or like br 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 Brundy, I think it was probably. And he was called. Thaura. Do you remember this? He was no. like an Australian horse. I have no idea, I'm afraid. Yeah, it was like animated. I remember Spirit. Spirit was... Look at that tree. That doesn't belong in this game. Oh my god, yeah. There's a squirrel on it. I, pre I pressed it. Oh. I think you accidentally... Did you press Barbie? I hope not. She's going back to the... Oh, oh no, there's a squirrel game. What's going on? This is the slowest game ever. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Have you got any more for me, Peter? Uh, how... <laughs> 
We've got to wait for them to come all the way down. Aren't they all just going to fall off? Oh no, they're coming down different. Oh, oh God. it's Trixie. The next lowest score, though, from from seventy nine percent. So that's the top score, seventy nine percent. The yeah. second highest score was only twenty five percent. So that tells you all you need to know. Wow. Gamespot UK Gamespot just totally the missed pooch it. On this yeah, one. they really don't know what they're talking about. Look at that squ squ squilliam go with I his eight counts. I've got to wait for these to finish falling before the game ends. I can't move. You just do a backflip. Yeah. Two backflips. Back is... Three backflips. <laughs> It's very pretty, like, I think these objectively are, like, pretty cutscenes, but they're cutscenes, really, aren't they? It's that so weird that it, it is just a video that you speed up or slow down, and there's just an animated horse in front of it that reacts to what's going on. Yeah, which is, I mean, it's an innovative idea, in a way. They've, they've made it look good. Yeah, I suppose. By doing that, but, like, like, imagine if this was, like, part of, like, a Final Fantasy game or something, you know? Like, in between, like, areas, you were able to ride like this. But you that's the thing, it would be supplemented by Exactly, it should be a supplementary good thing. Stuff. That's what I'm saying. So, on its own, yeah, I'm not saying, actually, this game's quite good because it looks Peter nice. Peter Austin, Barbie Race and Ride apologist. Oh, yeah, look, that's me. It's a deer. Oh, dear. See ya. Oh, no, you don't want to see the deer. Oh, this must be where the obstacle course is. Obstacle starts. course. Great, can't wait. Give me my last fact, please. We've got a user review here from Final Fantasy VII, man. Who said his name is F F V I I M A N, all caps. Right. Um, he gave it two stars. Two stars. And the takeaway quote that I got from this, incidentally, in my takeaway box here, is Ugh, my mom made me play this with my sister. Oh. I might. I might offer a challenge to a young girl, but I beat the game without even breaking a sweat. I think he meant to put oh, it. Weird. Oh, wow. But he said I. So. Hello? Five Fantasy Seven Man says, I might offer a challenge to a young girl. I, d I hope he didn't mean that. Well, he, he said it, so I think we should definitely be worried. Therefore, it's true. What are you running into? It's a twig, you idiot. It's a bush. Hello? Someone's just whistling. Did someone leave us a dog toy in that stream? I can't do it anymore. Hello everyone, and welcome to Worst Games Ever. This is the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. I'm Peter, and with me is Dick Mighty. Oh, I got it wrong. He's gone. He he died, so I've heard. Yeah. I don't know if that's well, you weren't there. confirmed. I'm Ben. It's good to be back. Yeah. I How... would say I've missed it, but I haven't. How was your holidays? Um... How was your holidays? I'll tell you Laura. how was my holidays. It it happened and I sure did. Yeah? Well, you were fortunate to miss the Barbie game that we played. That was really bad. I saw the video. It must have been awful. What was the one before that? Uh, oh, that was a bad one too, whatever also, it was. Also terrible. Can't remember, yeah. but real, real bad stuff. Uh, unfortunately for me though, now that you're back, yep. you're here to be my game's master. Which means I picked the terrible video game, and uh, that means you, Peter, mm. are the game's victim. Which means that I have to play the terrible video game that the game's master brings forth, <laughs> like like that. Ah, oh, it's it's Charlie's Angles. Charlie's an Char Charlie's Angels. Good morning, Angles, it says on the back. Mm -hmm. Join Natalie, Dylan, and Alex for the ultimate Charlie's Angels experience. Is one of them called Dylan? Yes. I didn't know that. It's didn't gender know. neutral. I didn't apparently. know it was a unisex name. No, neither did I. Use clever disguises, tactical espionage, and acrobatic martial arts to kick some serious butt and ensure a successful mission. I hate all of these terrible action movie slash TV show tie-ins that all sort of blend into one. You know, we've done... Um, uh, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. We've done uh, Beverly Hills Cop. We've done, have we done Miami Vice? Look how rubbish that disc is. What a, what a boring disc. Hopefully the game doesn't... I've nearly just... Well, I just put that in. The, you just put it in the That's one. where that there goes you are. now. There, there it is. Yeah. Are you ready, Peter? Yeah. Let's be an angel. Mm. Oh, down we go into the spooky spires. Is it going to let us in? Oh, oh, oh no, no. That's probably not right, <laughs> yeah, is it? Oh dear. Why, why does this happen? Ready for a hot fresh science fact? 
I suppose. Oh, God, it's so warm. It's so warm. Oh, crimey. Crimey. <laughs> Charlie's Angels is a beat-em-up video game developed by Neko Entertainment and published by Ubisoft for the PlayStation 2 and Nintendo GameCube on the 4th of July 2003. 4th of July? 4th of July. That's Independence Day. American Day. Also, you're not hearing that music that's on the main menu because it's almost certainly licensed. This is a great menu, Peter. Sure is. Uh, valid, it says in the bottom right. Does it? Oh, valid. Back and valid. You know, those two well-known controls. Not even validate, but valid. Just valid. Sound options, let's put some subs on if there are any. Volume of sound effects, <laughs> volume of music, and volume of voices. It's very uh, it's very European. It's very, very to the point, isn't it? It is. Well, no... Each of them have little coordinates. Look, when you're moving around, you see the coordinates of the sides of the screen and stuff? Oh, yeah, they are slightly... That's a weird detail, changing, isn't it? Changing, yeah. I wonder if those actually... what those coordinates actually are. Yeah. I'm not going to look that up because I can't be bothered. <laughs> but feel free to tweet us. Let yeah. us know what it is. Scores, bonus, credits. No thanks. Let's just go. Are you I? ready, Peter? Yeah. Yeah? Va yeah, okay. And it's still got a lot of stuff to do. Valid. You've got some validating got to, to do. Got to keep validating. Okay. Here's a bonus beer whip for you. Yeah. Versions for Xbox, Game Boy Advance, and Microsoft Windows were also planned, but they were later cancelled. Ah. My name is Jeff. My name is one Jeff. Choose level difficulty. What do you think I should put it on? Um, These I, games are notoriously difficult at times. I think I might just leave it on easy. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be particularly well designed. No. You're going to be struggling with controls. And exactly. I'll be cameras. up against it as it is. So I think easy is probably worth doing. Yeah. No. Nope. Got a bit of F FMV. Oh. Now I have seen this. It is shockingly similar to the cutscenes in Fast and Furious that weren't. They didn't look right. <gasps> Someone's turned out all the power in. Hey, who turned out the lights? And oh, for God's sake. The Statue of Liberty! No, she's gone. That would never happen. I like how all the all the light from the universe went as well when, yeah. they, when this... Oh my God. ...discovered the shocking disappearance of their Lady Liberty after the disappearance of other monuments... He's got two cameras. Why is the text coming out from so... I don't know. Should we go further along? What, what are those numbers at the bottom as well? CNC 7.2? Oh, it's the stock market. Oh, I see. I'm pretty sure they... Yeah. Look at... Why is she... Can we just go back? Her hand was on her... It Good looked morning, like, Adrian. The angle made it look like the, the lady in the middle had her hand on the crotch of the lady closest oh, really? to the camera. If we can look at that again. Ship was spotted off the Easter Island coast. Carrying the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, just poking out the top. <laughs> we should check it out. Break it down, boss. Oh my god, they're so horrible. Oh, look at the, the holes in their tops just to show cleavage and nothing else. There's a bikini contest on the beach. That ought to keep the sailors occupied. There's a bikini contest yeah, on the Yeah, you're joining beach. it. Are you ready to join it, Peter? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was really scary. Is that Cameron Diaz on the left? It is. Yeah. That's Lucy Liu in the middle. It is. And another one on the yeah. right. Find that captain and see if Bosley's theory holds water. Oh, for God's sake. So here sake. we go. It's Charlie's. There's Natalie. There's Dylan. And, and there's, there's Alex. Alex. Alexa. Charlie's Angels. Play. Buy. Confirm. <laughs> Play now. Oh, the transition. Oh, oh, is. oh, why is she swaying like that? Oh my god, she nearly fell over. Nobody's come to see the bikini contest. We don't need to steal the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's right here. Look at, Look at her What's going on in the background? She looks like the Joker. Woo! Oh, there's so much going on. That's right. pointing at her leg. Here we go, Peter. Oh. So in case you were wondering, I know you're going to be horrified in a second. Huh. Why is the lifeguard? Huh. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea why everyone wants to fight you. Jane, was she called? Alec. This one's called Alec. That man was called Jane, I think. This woman's, this woman's called, Alec. called Alec. Not, not bad, bad, not bad. I'm just mashing the kick Can you button. do me a favor and press circle for me? <laughs> Hang on, it's press circle to matrix. <laughs> <laughs> they can still get you though. There's Anne and Joe. Joe. Okay, anyway, here's another science fact. <laughs> Neko Entertainment brought us such classics as Crazy Frog Racer 2, Garfield Lasagna World Tour, Horse Life, and its sequel, Horse Life 2. No. And most recently released Hearts with a Z in 2016. It's unclear if they're now defunct, uh, not according to Metacritic, any, uh, not Metacritic, Wikipedia anyway, but their website is just one of those generic spam sites. Oh no. You know where you go to and it's just like an image in the middle that has with, like, hyperlinks shopping. to stuff. Yeah. Hello? That's a really bad... Uh. 
Jill. What is that? What? Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim. Oh, it's like the jack. Oh, G. See if you can jump in the. G's gone. Oh, oh my god. It's it. Cafe. It's the same. Sam Zapados shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right, is it? No. It's bad. So you're on the beach. Uh, there was this bikini contest that no one came to. And now. Jay is now after me. Everyone wants to fight you. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get me. Come on, chase me. Chase me, Jay. Chase me. Can you kick the... Can you kick the, like... Excellent, that one. Can you kick the chairs at people? Oh, maybe. Let's so wait for a person. See if you can kick a bin at someone. Yes! Yeah! Great! You nearly killed Jake. Whatever that letter's meant to be there. Good. <clears throat> There's another one. Another Jake. <clears throat> what are those letters? Not bad. <laughs> Whoa, what was that one? Oh, I can't that do it again. That was a really now. good one. Is there some sort of... Oh. You have a yellow bar. Okay. I don't know what it is. <laughs> there's a guy, oh, I've got a CD. There's a guy... Another CD. There's I a guy see. hiding there. Oh, Let look at see. that. That's quite interesting. Huh. Who thought this was okay? This is great, isn't it? It's really good. Mm. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Oh. I mean, I could have done better, but not bad. Cool, that's good. It's just there's no way. There's no. no way you can get in there. Oh my god, he's got he threw a spanner at me. I don't understand what? what's what's happening in the context. Like what why are all why your, is everyone after me? Your bar's flashing now, I don't know what that means. Can I do my super super angel attack? Press oh, press all the Blake! buttons. Blake! Bloody this guy's hell. trained in the ways of the warrior. Press all the buttons. I wanna know what the flashy thing does. That was not bad. Which direction does it want you to go in? Oh, that one. It's the worst arrow ever, isn't it? Hello? Uh, hello? I, I honestly don't know what... Uh, what's that symbol in the bottom right? Who's that man? Oh. What? What did you just do? I don't know. She just said, hey, Alex, and that... Oh my God, look at Alex no. Sneak. Why is she also in a bikini? She wasn't in the contest. What is that? Oh my god. You can... That's a good phone. It's a, a Nokia, as your grandma would say. Yeah. Or oh yes, I've got a Nokia. Or it might be a Sony... <laughs> Change Angel. Change -o. A Change Oh my goodness. You can be Natalie. You can just go straight to Natalie. Look how they, they sort of... Their faces don't actually change that much it's, when you... It makes me uncomfortable. They've been sort of lined up so that their faces are in exactly the same position. I don't like it. Please stop. So what if I had changed to Dylan? Oh. Where is she what? now? Have I just sequence broke this I game? I think you might have just skipped a whole bit. Go back to Alex. What's she up to? No, she's, she's still, still here. There. She's still there. Okay. She's got green energy. She still jumps the same though. <laughs> I'm just calling to say that I, I love, love you. you. And, and I, I miss you. you. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake! I wouldn't. I wouldn't fight you if I saw you floating around oh, the corner there. Some, I'm using my bar with R2. There's Vaseline all over the screen. Yeah, I've just twenty thousand oh, points. One hits, two hits. Not bad. How's how are you finding the fixed camera angle? Is it good? Yeah, it's great. It's, oh this is very God. just mashy. I'm just pressing the buttons. Is there any way to lock on? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. No, I wasn't bad. Hey, do you want a little bit of context for this game? I don't know if I do. Well, I, I probably do. Charlie's yeah. Angels is based on the first and second film in the series. It follows the continuing adventures of private investigators Alex Mundy, that's Lucy Liu, Dylan Sanders, that's Drew Barrymore, and Natalie Cook, Cameron yeah, Diaz, as they attempt to solve the mystery of a series of missing national monuments. The heroines do not use firearms, but can utilize blunt weapons and certain environmental objects. Also, they're in this game. The actual famouses are in this game. Oh, are they? Yeah, All this of is them. them. Uh huh. I don't know if their dialogue is just ripped straight from the film. Yeah. Could and, be. and their their hurt noises, the <laughs> ha, ha, is just someone else. Just ripped from viral videos on the YouTube of like cars and driving. I miss you. Ha. You just got twenty thousand points there for something. The points seem a bit arbitrary, don't they? Like, they're, they're, I don't really know what the point. What the point of the points is? What's the point? What's the point what's of the, the point? What's twenty? What's the twenty thousand points? Get straight to the point. What's the point? Well, there's another door. We can't go that way. What? It's impossible. It... Okay. Not not allowed. I'm not going that way then. 
This way? Or, already? or the arrow wants me to go... Uh, directly up... Oh! Oh! What did you have to do last time? I don't know, I just like pressed every button. Can I like... The game's not told me anything! What? This is terrible design! I'm gonna have to actually look in the Manuel bot both hands. It's one of those that's, that's in like 12 languages. What's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, what What's she doing? <laughs> Stop it! I'm so glad we waited. Did she just keep doing that forever? Uh, no, she stopped. She had enough. She's tired. There's loads of buttons that are just listed un under not used. This game doesn't <laughs> doesn't use them. R1 is... Oh, she's doing another one now. Enhanced angel, angel enhanced time mode, if available. Angel enhanced time Action, mode. Action, pick up, dodge when fighting. X, apparently. So... Okay, I'll sort that yeah, out. Yeah, thank I'll, you. I'll sort that out. She's no, going, oh no, it. she was about to go again. I also, I think she has like a real spinal issue because you're not meant you're not meant to stand like that. Oh, it's it's L2 and X to do that. Logical. Just like the game told me. Guys, I'm ready. Why is she standing Guys, like that? Guys, I'm ready. I don't need to move my, my, my lips. Look at that. Can we see what her idle animation is? Yeah, that's is? just This is Dylan. Oh, this is Natalie now. Oh, she, her, just she actually stands sideways. side on. Let's wait and get her to dance. Oh, so she's like she's opened the door to let me in. Great. Why couldn't I just go in with her? Now there's more of us. Oh my god. No, thank you. She just keeps going. She won't stop. I tell you what, if we could harness the power of this dance move, we'd have renewable energy. We would. We? Just link her up to some sort of dynamo and we'll be... Is she going to stop though? No, she's had enough. No, okay. Cool. Should we just quickly give um, Dylan her chance to Dylan dance. A, a call and she can do a little dance for us? Okay. Look at her. Why does she look like a generation of console? She does behind... look like a Tekken character from <laughs> PS One, doesn't she? That's really weird. Okay, show us show us what you got. Nice, show us your moves. Nice tattoo. Yeah, I love the tat, the belly button tat there. I'm calling the chicken dance. No. She gonna have a cigarette? She's. What's that? What is, what is that? I don't even know. I think it's her phone, but it's just not leaving her hand. She's got to have another one. Although this one is taking a while, so maybe not. So I interrupt it and get it to... Okay. They both have a long one and a short one. Oh, uh, right. I didn't know that. I'm worried that was her equivalent dance one. No, surely. Oh. Because that's that's her short one. Oh. So All I think right. she just catches her phone that's made of... It's like weighs 12 tons. <laughs> good. Really good. Nope. Not going that way. Not possible. Going this way. Oh, it's Ash. I hate beat em ups Gotta so much. Got to catch them all. They're terrible. Well, I didn't one even looks, like the. This one looks really good though. Algar, what a strange name. If there are any Algars watching at home. Algar, sound off. In let the us know. Oh, <laughs> off she goes. She's on a mission. <laughs> she is. You really take no damage, do you? Yeah, well, I have put it on easy mode. To be fair, in fact. Do I actually take any damage at all? Oh, oh yeah, you I do. do. You just took a lot because you took a, a wrench to the face there, I think. Yeah. Oh! There's a lot of boys all on me at the same time all of a sudden. Are you using enhanced angel soup? Oh my god! It doesn't even go slow-mo though, really. It just goes Vaseline. <laughs> oh! The gameplay is very simple and involves fighting groups of enemies by performing punching and kicking combinations or by using weapons. I'm Each group of enemies must be defeated before the player is allowed to progress. Yeah, look! The game. I was just about to say I can't move on past this invisible wall because there's a man here. While the player is engaged in a fight, movement to another area is impossible as invisible walls will block their way. That's so cheap. Occasionally, one angel must perform a task, such as pressing a switch, pulling a lever, or accessing a computer so that another angel is allowed to progress. Is that, is that... That's it, the gameplay. That's the gameplay. That's this game. Are we going to be able to fill half an hour? I think we've already done it, my dude. Right. 2002 was, in, was a far simpler time. What, what is, is that? that? A vibrator? I, some kind of magic bullet, oh, I believe. Oh, so you can go through the ceiling. Yes, she can. I wonder but, if there are any interesting speedrun strats for this game. Well, we do have a speedrun science fact at, uh, at some point. In fact, it's up next, so... I wish you could ready. make thumbnails that were animated, because I would just... Do that. This is all you need. Do you want to get a nice close-up of her just jumping towards the camera? There we go. There's See, it's definitely not, it's a not, But it's not going to give the full effect, is it? Because it's, it's not just... I mean, that... Maybe any still. still of each of them dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Apart yeah. from her, who does that. She just sort of throws a playing card around. Oh, something. here they are. Here are the boys. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Look out for your health, Bart. Yeah. Dylan's nearly dead now. Don't overthink it. Oh, she... 
Oh, you got lives. So now your health bar's full. Oh, okay. No, no noise, no feedback whatsoever. The number just ticked down silently and your health bar went yeah. back up. Really good. This is really dreadful. Good. Natalie hasn't really had a go yet, has she? No. Should I just ring her in the... Can I ring her right now? Natalie will ring her. No, not allowed. No. Not allowed to change all... What this is missing is like grapple moves, like a DDT. Yeah, well, that's or... what I'm trying to do. I'm wondering if like... I, I'm giving it too much credit, but... I think we are giving it too much credit. Basic attacks. Oh, grab. To grab an enemy, press the X button and square button simultaneously. Oh. Well, no. She's certainly not doing it. Maybe I do need an enemy there, but... An enemy. That's where you came in from. Oh, God, I just walked out of it, and now I can't get back in. And just the whole world has disappeared in oh, there. Oh, God. Where's Alex, though? Didn't she open this door for me? Yeah, she did. She's gone now. She's not here, though. She's not interested. Ready? Grab. Oh, that was... She was doing something. She's just doing that. <laughs> oh, oh. That was cool, whatever that was. Terrible angle to see it from, though. Okay. <laughs> You know what they sound like? The testificates in uh, Minecraft. Yeah, they do. Aww. The villagers. Aww. Aww. Hmm. 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 Oh, boat. Is, can we leave? I'm off to the boat. I'll swing by and get you, Alex. I'm off to the boat. Right here. Oh my god. Do you get to drive the boat? No, it's gone. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, Alex again. Okay. Very good, very good. You're hitting all Does of them. She a different grab. I'm sorry. What was that? Can you just hear me pressing every single button I... all in one sweep? Yep. Real That's good. What doing. Those, those are your strats. Those are your speed strats. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to grab. It's a bit gratuitous that they that they had to enter a bikini contest, isn't it? Well, that's what that was it's my point. It's very much a project, a project, a product of its time. It's like oh, this interpretation of Charlie's Angels. We need the Charlie's Angels to go to, you know, some sort of dock. That guy's just doing his job. Don't kick him. That guy's not bothered. But we need them to go to a dock level to get some sort of boat information. Oh, by the way, while they're there, there's a bikini contest. Do you think like next they'll Classic. be going to like? The Louvre or something, and it's like, oh, by the way, in one of the conference rooms in the Louvre, it's right, sexy nuns. It, they're doing some sort of nude model drawing, you know, life art. Oh god, you're gonna have to kill him now. Oh my oh! god! Also, I love that it's called boat information. Why are we here? Boat information. Boat information. That guy's called Al Alwin. Alvin. Alvin. God, and the, the chipmunks. The font is not good. No, it's not. Even the font. They couldn't even get a font that. Oh. There's ash. So there's an ash somewhere. There he is. Chucking stuff at me. Ash is in the comments. Sound off. Where's that arrow pointing? Oh. Who knows? Whoa! Ah. Yeah. They've, got, they've got weapons. How do you get their weapons? We we weapons. How do you complete the missions without completing the missions? I love you, Kit and Michel. Have Good you got job, any science Michel facts for me? Yeah, do you want another one? Yeah, because I'm really bored. So there is uh, there is a speedrunning record. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's on GameCube, and that's that's a bit of a trend, especially for the reviews. There's, like, nothing on the PS2 version. So the, there's a GameCube speed record. Oh, it's held by... How do by I climb the ladder? Oh, Gina, Gina Lee. Gina Lee. Lee. Underscore. Gina underscore Lee. Gina Lee. What do you reckon the speedrunning record for Charlie's Angels is? I reckon it's... Look, I, I reckon that she's not touching any of the rungs. She's not at all, a is she? Well, she sometimes is, but sometimes not. She's doing her best. They've not lined up the ladder texture with the animation and the uh, divisions between limbs therein. She is proving that it is purely mind over matter. 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 Um, I think, God, it's a long old ladder, isn't it? Isn't it? it? I think most of the speed Bearing run mind, is... this is part of the speed run. Yeah. So you got to do this. Um, I think the speed run took that person whose name I've forgotten. Gina Lee. Gina Lee. Uh, 44 minutes. It took them two hours, 28 minutes and 25 seconds, which is probably one of the longest speed runs of these games that we've ever experienced. It is. Ever. You trying to kill yourself? It's annoying because I know that there is a... No, we wanted to dance. She looks we? like Michael Jackson, doesn't she? A little bit with the glove. Oh, that's not a flattering angle, it's is it? It's not great. Her torso is so strange looking. There's an out of, out of bounds glitch in the second level. Is there? Oh my god. <laughs> Where, what are you going to get a clip from there? I don't know, it's Which all just still? blurred. It's just going to be like still after still of like... Oh! There was a, a fortunate little freeze there where I might be able to get one. I don't actually know where to go. I can't oh, progress. Please don't go down the ladder again. Please don't. I can't. 
Is there a button you have to press? Oh, oh okay, it's fine. Dylan, immediate boarding. I'm sorry? Hey, can we really go in? Cool. Cool. So I kind of want you to get to the second level just so we can do the boundary break. Right, okay. Do you know how to do it? Is it easy? Yeah, vaguely. It's just jumping on a, on a, on a staircase. Okay, let's do that. And then we can basically take the camera anywhere we want to find new secrets and discoveries in one of the worst games ever made. One of the worst ever games. Oh, we were nearly done with her. How big's her phone now? Sorry, what was that? Well, it's the 90s, isn't it? It was pretty big back then. It was early 2000s, actually. It was the 90s. It was the millennium. Oh, she's in. She's gone in that crate. This is it. This must be the end of the level because Natalie's just gone. So we're going to drop her on the boat or what? This seems like a in very the sea? convoluted... In, into the void? That's it. Oh. We just got dropped into the void. We didn't see the bit where... Press that a button. ...sank. My God. Oh, that's ugly. It's mm. really horrible. Mm. Great. Is this level two or are we just still going? Oh, know? this is it. It's right there. Start going up that, that staircase. Yeah. And then keep going. And you basically just want to go near the top and then just jump to the left. Or go back down. Go back down. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, you've broken it. Can I restart mission? I hope so. Quit. It's really not that exciting if it's just at the start. You basically go near the top and then just jump up and to the left and you can just get on the roof and run around. Oh. Where you're not meant to be. Oh no. Load. You did save, you did save. Okay. Mariner. Mariner sauce. We've got that great, uh, it's one of my favourite sauces. Yeah. We've got that great, great music as, oh, again. Really yeah. good. Okay, if you just jump to the left now, that's it. Oh, I see. We'll basically take the camera anywhere we want and find new secrets and discoveries in one of the worst games ever made. You did it. Welcome to Boundary Break. We made it to the roof. Can you fall off? Can you walk inside that thing? Can I walk? There might be no collisions in this. There's yeah. no collision. There we go. We did it. Hey, guys, we're just going to look inside here and see if they've left any textures lying around or something like that. Have Don't you come full circle? It. You come all the way around? Yeah. You might now be trapped up there. Well, let's find out, shall we? What fun, eh? What fun. Real fun. Charlie's Angels, Peter, yeah. was brutally panned by critics. It, Good. It received an average score of what at game rankings? Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm back. Oh, uh, wow. An average score. If it was brutally panned by critics, I'm going to say it got an average of 30%. at game rankings and an average score of what at Metacritic? Um, 20, 25? 23. <laughs> 23. Well, 23. I'm glad. I'm glad it was lower than both of my estimates. I was trying to be a bit generous. Bearing in mind the time period this game is from, as yeah. I always over-reviewed stuff like mm -hmm. this. Games Radar ranked it as the 50th worst game ever <laughs> made. Oh, my God. I don't know if it actually is. It's, it just doesn't have anything to it. The staff commented that the... Uh, yeah, that the game was even worse than the movie it was based on. Oh. I don't know anything about the movie, I must admit. On game rankings, the GameCube version of the game holds the lowest score on the site. Wow. And that's still true now. So we start off with the lowest review score, Peter. Yeah. This is from... I'm in a bar. This is from Into Liquid Sky. Haven't... Don't know that one. Okay. Never heard of that one before. What score did they give it? the lowest score? Um, possibly a sick-making zero. It's a zero! <laughs> they said, extremely easy, even on the hard difficulty, and can be beaten in around three to four hours. That is, of course, if you can stand the insipid story, script, and overall delivery of the game. Fighting your way through dumb as dirt enemies only to find a switch, computer, or really long ladder climb is your goal. Does not a good game make. Oh, does not a good game. They must be does German. Does not a good game make. Got the verb at the end there. Next up, Peter. Oh, I've got. Oh, no. Oh, you thought you finished it then, did you? No, I thought I got Who my. Who are you fighting? Jared? I think it's. Um... He doesn't look like a Jared. I think it's uh, Lara Croft's butler. He's oh, escaped another one. from the freezer. Somewhere. This one's Jared with a different spelling. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Not sure that's right. No, me neither. Next up is Game Informer, because of course we don't count zeros, because no. no game can truly be a zero unless it's a block of wood. If you can play it, it has to have a score assigned, and zero is not that. You can't divide or multiply anything by zero, Peter. I've changed old. Oh, so you have. Oh, you unlocked a real. Game Informer is the next lowest. What did they give it? Um, Game Informer gave this... We know that one. We do know that one. Uh, 5%. They gave it 20. Oh, okay. And said, this game is nothing short of an embarrassment. Mm. 
Nothing that, short. That really is gratuitous, isn't of it? Of an embarrassment. They... Do they do that in the film, guys? I don't think they do, no. IGN. We know that one. Uh, just IGN? Just IGN. Oh, my God. Gave it God. the highest review score. What score did they give it? 35. They gave it 40. 40, and, and that's the that. highest review, which is still very low. Can we have, can we have, a, get, can we have a, a repeat of that F there? 30. See, I said it. You did say it. This game is simply bad. In just... This is really weirdly written. This game is, comma, simply, comma, bad, comma, in just about every way. From the uncomplicated, dated control system to the limited play boundaries surrounded by invisible walls, the poor camera, and unsatisfying play mechanics, and the sometimes disturbing graphics. That is the worst sentence I've ever read, IGN. Yeah. That's really bad, although I do agree with the sentiment. The disturbing graphics one in particular. IGN, well known for not being able to write properly. Um, they actually meant to call their brand Gin. And then they got it but wrong. They just made a mistake, yeah. yeah. They really did. Oh, where did that guy come from? They're just the moon. <laughs> just came from the moon. However, I promise. it wouldn't be worth playing a game that's been panned by critics without first hearing from the real fans. People who love these games. The Charlie's uh, Angelets. Yeah, the Angel Lail. Uh, the Angel Maze. So we turn to Josh. What oh, is that? I found a T pose. Is that a life? I think that's a life. They couldn't even bother posing the life. It was in an actual T pose. That was rubbish. Oh, another CD. Oh, another CD. Great. So, Josh, what do you think Josh gave it out of 100? 100 out of 100. This game is so sexy. I love the bit when Natalie shakes her, her bum right in your face. It is disturbing how close you are oh, to no. reality. Josh S. gave this game a perfect 100 score. Oh. Saying, this game is an amazing show of how games can be made in the next generation of gaming. It is better than many games that I have played and had a great RPG feel to the whole game movies. I love watching the girls as they are on screen playing with their toys. Wrong version of their. It gets me dot 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 dot. Well, dot 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 dot. Let's just say a better feeling than what I get with my copy of Global Operations. I recommend this game to anyone that loves a hardcore RPG action tactical based <laughs> adventure. What? A hardcore? Sorry. Tactical hardcore. RPG. R RPG action tactical based adventure, Natalie, really? I think hardly any of those, hardly any of those adjectives actually count. It's not hardcore. It's, it's not an core. RPG. It's not an RPG. There's no action. There's no tactical base. There's no tactics. It's not an adventure. No. It's not even a game, really. Maybe it should have had a zero. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Those are all the reviews. The damage is done. Let's have a real nice close-up dance for uh, what's his name. God. And then we uh, can Josh. For Josh. Josh S. Josh S is in the comments. Sound off. Yeah. Show yourself, coward. You, you dirty... Uh, perverts. Dirty pervert. Mm. Oh, the camera does not know what to do. It pans away. Out of shame. And you should be ashamed too. You done? Yeah. We done? We are done. That's it. Hello, and welcome back to Worst Games. Worst Games. Ev the, 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 but oh there's an echo Peter's, in here. Oh, I thought you were glitching out. No. I thought I was going to have to control, alt, and otherwise delete you. No, ne please never do that. No. That sounds frightening and painful. Um, I'm Ben. I'm Peter. And I am today's Games Victim. Which means that I get to play, I get to play as what a privilege! A what a privilege. A terrible game on this show, Worst Games Ever, that Ben has brought along because Ben, you're the game's master. I certainly am, Peter. I've got the game right here. Yeah. Before I reveal the video game, mm -hmm. let's talk about our friends here. Oh, let's. Just a little bit, starting from Right to left, but also left to right at the same time. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Steven Seagull, Jean-Claude Van Lam, Dick Meisinko, Science Fresh, Fresh Bucks, 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 Bucks. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Uh... Oh, for God's sake. It's Scandal. Scandal confirmed the video game. It's a really bad game. South Park. 
featuring authentic voices from South Park. I know this one. A giant comet is heading towards South Park and Good. it's up to you to save them. I refuse. Beware of anal. Is that what it says? Probing enem aliens. Uh, enem aliens. Well, that's not much better. Big, ev big evil clones and demented turkeys. I mean, I don't even like regular South Park, so I'm I'm really going to enjoy this game, aren't I? It's the only game big enough for Cartman's big fat dot dot dot. Should we play it? Dick. Oh. Uh, I don't I don't like it. God, can you sorry, can you read that? A claim Oh, it's gone. I would. Uh, wow. Go they on. Put an advert for their show on their game. They have. Most people don't do that. They just. The idea is that when when you put the game out, people go, "Oh, what's this thing? Oh, maybe I'll check it Must out." You don't have to say, related. "Watch our show." Well, the actual. I don't know if you can see that in the spine there, but it's actually got the Comedy Central logo. It has for the name. Oh my god. Uh, not on the front, but on the spine. It is on the front as well. Is down it down there? Oh yeah, a little one. But actually on the spine, sort of just before the words. So, oh, here we are. Here they are. And their heads came on. Is that what happens in the intro? Um, I, I don't even know what the intro of South Park looks like. They're usually sort of assembled out of... Con they've had various intros over the years. They're usually assembled out of construction paper, because, you know, it, it, it used to be... And they probably... Mm. I don't even know if it is anymore. Hand animated uh, to an extent. So this is... This is horrific. <laughs> Mercifully, it wasn't long. Once in a great while, the malevolent forces of the universe combine to form a force of evil so concentrated. What's that? A force of evil <laughs> so con. <laughs> it hurls through the universe toward its destination. Oh God! It was on a collision course with Earth. I mean, it, it's made contact at that speed. Before we start, would you like a science fact? Yeah, I'm, I'm going sorry. To see what cheesy happens. what? I'm going to see what happens if I put a swear word into the cheat menu. Okay. This seems like the kind of game where they might have put more effort into. You know, Cartman saying, hey, hey, good good word, or whatever, than, you know, the actual game. Brr. Nothing. Nope, nothing for you. South Park was originally developed by Iguana Entertainment and published by Acclaim Entertainment for the Nintendo 64 in 1998, <laughs> before later being ported to Microsoft Windows in 1999, in, and on, on PC it was only released in North America. <laughs> but the PlayStation port was developed by Appaloosa Software. Interactive, God, soft interactive mm. in 1999. Apple, loose, loose, uh, loose, interactive. Yeah. Who, of course, brought us the likes of Golf Construction Set, Water Polo, and Power Rangers Jigsaw Puzzles. Whoa. The company ceased operations in 2006. I like the idea that there's a game that's not even. Oh. I didn't press anything. Oh. It's not even called like the Power Rangers Fun Pack, and it's mostly jigsaw mini games. It's just called the Power Rangers, Power Rangers jigsaw. jigsaw Puzzles. Yeah, that's all you need to know. No, we don't. No wanna... spoilers. I mean, I have seen this first we'll, level on YouTube before. We'll get right into this. We will. Um, oh look, I can play as. There are the boys. Cartman. Look Cartman's at his. got some. He's got a chin strap. Yeah, what's going on with his facial hair, oh, my dude? Oh my dude? god. Kyle. Kyle's hat seems a bit too tall. It almost looks like an army uniform hat. Here they, here they are, all, all your favourites. All the favourite boys. Yeah. The weird thing that Carlton, I don't like about it is... Kenneth. The, yeah. And then the two in the middle who are the same character. Stanley and Parable. Right. Uh, what is weird about this is that they're sort of... You know in 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 primary school mm. where, you, where you would be given arts and crafts to do and sometimes you'd have to, you know... On one occasion we had to make like a doll or a toy. Right. But it was just two pieces of fabric that we then stuffed, we sewed together the outside oh, and yeah. stuffed it with um, with sort of cotton like wool stuffing, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And so it was 2D, but just sort of yeah. just sort of like buff, but still really thin around the edges. That's what this looks like. And sometimes there's sort of weird lumps in it where yeah. the, the, the cotton wool is very dense. It's like that bit in Toy Story 2 where, where Woody gets a bicep because he's not been, uh, yeah. he's not been healed properly. Um, what should I do here? Who do you want to play as? I'm going to be Stan. Okay. It's my turn to kick your ass. Count to the kick your ass. Operation Turkey Butt. It's a fair game. Find your friends and go enjoy the Renaissance Fair. Why do they call it Renaissance Fairs? Because it's not set in the Renaissance period. No, it's not. Oh, boy. Hello, children. Did you hear the news? A big comet is headed our way. It's going to cross paths with the Earth. You may notice, Peter, that it is an incredibly foggy day in South Park. Yeah. Something, something to do with uh, technical limitations. 
No. But You're also, kidding. I thought it, they'd done it on purpose for atmospheric purposes. Well, this is this is what the comets caused is is an abundance of fog. Is that what it actually says no, in the law? No, it doesn't. Oh. But if you, I'm just making it up. But if you go anywhere, you'll notice that you can't see anything. No. Well, uh, yeah. At uh, all. I have seen footage of this, as I say. I thought that they'd actually explained it away in that. No, there it is. There's there. that fog. So I've had a little play with this. Um, the controls are interesting. Square is attack. Uh, it's tank controls. Yes. Everything, you're turning and you're forward and backward momentum is all done with the left stick. Mm -hmm. The right stick does nothing. How do you look up and down, Peter? Left trigger and right trigger, L2 of and course. R2. Classic, like the old first person shooters on PC with page up and page down. Yeah. Wow. Who... Because the right stick is completely unmatched. They could have literally just done it so that if you go like that, it goes like... Oh wait, no, yeah, up and down or whatever. But no, they well, haven't. South Park is a first-person shooter adventure video game is based it? on the American oh, adult animated sitcom of the same name. The oh. turkeys are coming. They went there. You've got little uh, goops in, the, in your bottom I left have. there. Do you, want to, do you want to hear the noise that these... Sorry, oh, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't act like I know. I should try and oh, maintain... Kenny. That's not the noise Kenny makes. Oh my... Great, okay, good. The game's single player mode places the player in control of one of the four main characters of South Park, Cartman, Kyle, Stan, or Kenny. Mm. The player must defeat a variety of enemies using the various weapons found throughout each stage in order to reach the exit point at the end. In addition to completing levels, the player must also prevent large enemies in the stage, dubbed tanks, from reaching the exit before they do. If they fail to do so, they will be forced to defend South Park from the tanks in a short minigame called the penalty round after the stage. What? You have to stop certain enemies reaching the end? Big I enemies. Really so. Oh! You got him! Oh, oh my gosh, Kenny was murdered. You've collected That's that him. catchphrase, isn't it? Oh! Oh, there's a tree on Kenny its side Kenny was murdered. There. Is there? Go, uh, go to the left? Oh, yeah, oh, just yeah, to stop just... you from moving, they just... They... Oh, he's turning. Oh, that's good, isn't it? It's interesting because, obviously, with the new games, they've had to... Actually... You can sake. just hold square and he just... Throws them forever. You've got no ammo counter. They've said a couple of times... Now, when they were putting together the new games, uh, the Fractured Black oh, yeah. Hole and the Stick of Truth, that they actually had to sit down and map out South Park for the first time. Oh! But clearly, they've. it's happened before. But this geography is completely different from the version that they put in the in the PS4 games. Well, I guess they didn't feel the need to sit down and map. Well, map I mean, out. they all end in a dead end, most yeah. of them. So. Oh, it's it's the other one. You Ky met Kyle. Kyle. Oh. Oh, that was an audio. There's one behind you. Yeah. It sounds like someone's put a turkey under a cushion and is sitting on it. Right. The is South the Park Fair? Renaissance Fair. That's what they say, isn't it? Renaissance. Renaissance. Oh, chop, chop, oh, chop. Oh, here they come. Choppy chops. What are they running from? All the Turks. Oh my God, not the Turks. No. Maybe they're angry because oh, one the of them was frame being rate. cooked. What, hello, what was that what, noise? Was some sort of sheep or... Maybe that's the tank enemy. So much. It's clipping now. There's too many turkey noises it's going. <laughs> God, here they come. That's it, use aim up. <laughs> Page up everyone. Excellent. Oh, the Hello? world just ends up oh, there. Oh no, there's oh, no. some more. Oh my Christ. Here they all come everybody. Jesus. I think they're all stuck in some sort of bottleneck down there. Some but not that you can tell where that, look. Yeah, where's the You wouldn't the know that there is. Hello? That one can get you. Oh, oh the noise! Uh, you would, I'd, uh, you'd be secretly thrilled, though, right? That you were having to kill this many turkeys because you'd, you'd eat for, for years. On well, the, you, there's too many; they'd go off. On all the turkums. Well, not if you have a freezer. Oh my god! No one has a, a freezer this big. These turkeys are big lads. That's for, that's for true. I'm following the arrows that they had to put in their game because you can't. See. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, hello. Doe. A deer, a Kill female it. deer. That, oh my oh god. My. 
Oh, oh no. it's presenting. No, it's not. It's uh, gone now. I don't like the. Hello. That's the game noise. That's not that we don't know how to treat audio in our edits. Ding 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 ding. Oh, oh there we does go. It... There's a billy goat. Big horn, big horny sheep. Kill it. Hello. Hello. Oh. oh, there it goes. Okay, that wouldn't didn't have as as much of an exciting death. Did no, it? it did. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's that? Dodgeballs. How do you switch weapons? Oh, here Fine. we go. You got a, a finite number of those. A double-handed weapon. Oh Christ. Oh. Oh, that was really good. Why does the dodgeball sort of splat? Get off Hello? me! Oh my God, they're really hungry for, for, for people. This seems like a, a waste. When I can one-shot all these turkeys with a snowball. Infinity snowball. Which has a faster rate of fire. And you're also going to encounter some kind of tank enemy at some point. Well, yeah, sounds maybe. like it. You know what's most upsetting about this? What? Is that there's going to be some people in the comments that say, I loved this game. I loved this game as a kid. <laughs> Bloody really? Really, though? Bloody Did really. you? Bloody really? I so nearly swore. Finish! Sorry. <laughs> Finish! Yeah! I wonder where oh. the end of the level is. Oh. And maybe it's maybe maybe it's me yeah. Finny. Oh, there was some oh, sort of love house there. Sex. Oh, hello. Tank destroyed. Tank destro okay, there was no tank. It seems mm. minions crushed. Ninety three. Jesus. Two innocent creatures innocent. needlessly butchered. Two. Brilliant. New head to head character available. Mr. Mackey. Code. A cheating's bad. A cheating's bad. A cheating's bad. Uh, a uh, cheating's bad. Oh. Oh. Operation to oh we're still doing turkey. Oh for God's sake. Okay, all the turkeys must be destroyed. Find chef for more info. Okay, we can do that. By which I mean you. You can do that. Look at that little rabbit. It's having a, a really fun time. That raving rabbit. Can't go without finding the others first. Hey, hey, you son of a bitch. Okay, so you've got to collect your friends again, but it looks like they're all here. You have to do it every time. Yeah, they're all here. Is it just an arena level? Wow. S stop. The hardest part about that is not finding him. It's once you find. <laughs> Okay, don't you just run him. into him? I think you just run into him. No, you do, but oh, okay. but um, before I was trying to run into him before the, the previous guy, whichever one right. he is. Wow, look at that Ryan. Tree. And uh, yeah, the the well-known South Park character Ryan. Yeah, there's a different fork in this level. It's slightly yellow. Yellow. So I think was Chef's house there. There was a really interesting looking house. Okay. I must oh. know. Oh Christ! I must know what it is. You got to go around the front and slowly turn. Oh, oh. cut scene. Chef, chef, you were right. The comet is doing crazy, spooky things. We're being invaded by mutants. They're doing that video game thing where they all have to just sort of rock, so that it looks like you know they're alive. Yeah. It's not e so the tank isn't even an interesting new enemy. It's just a big turkey. It's just a big turkey. Oh crap. Missed that. I'm oh. sure it was hilarious. Oh though. crap, L. It, I think it just said. Oh Christ. Well, one of them's got you. Die, evil turkey, die. Oh, oh wow, they were all stacked on top of each other. That's a little turkey stack, yeah. I could go for a turkey stack. That sounds like a really <laughs> sounds like a really nice sandwich. Yeah, it does. Oh, there's another arrow. Good. Just pointing. Up that sheer cliff face? Well, there's one coming. Oh, there it is. It's a tank. <laughs> Have you got the... It, it poos it, eggs it at you. Eggs. It poos eggs. I'm assuming they just instantly hatch. Yeah, look at that. Do you have the dodgeball? Oh, look at its butthole. Oh, it, oh it's got a health bar. Oh, it doesn't like that at all. Is that, its, is that actually its bum hole? Yeah. Or its clo cloaca or whatever it's called. Clo cloaca? What are you yeah. talking about? That's the thing that... Sounds like a slur. That's the thing that they lay eggs out of. Is it? It's like a chicken vagina. Cloaca? Something like that. I think burbs have them. Don't How know do for you know... sure. Where did you prick up that piece of trivia? Where did oh. I prick up that piece of trivia? Yeah. It's an internet learned thing. Right. It's not a school learned thing. No. You didn't go to school with, like, cloaca, did you? No, I didn't. No, no. No, no not yeah. at all. I'd have to stick my, <sighs> my balls, my snowballs. Yeah. Stick my balls in a cloaca. I wouldn't. I would. Oh, you can oh, walk up that one. Fine. Yeah, that it's okay. about as steep as all the others that you, you can't walk up, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. 
Here we go. There's there's not a lot up here, is there? No, oh, just oh, a it's tank. another one. Oh, oh my Christ! That was way more graphic than it needed to be. Why is it? Is it wearing tartan? I think it is. Yeah. It's a Scottish turkey. One of its eyes is like it might be robotic or something. Yeah, Doctor Robotic. Yes, from Sponic. Yeah. This is. I'm already really bored. <laughs> I don't want to play it anymore. It's a very tedious game. They've learned how to light fires, which is a, a worry. Well, they can cook themselves up and make a nice Thanksgiving meal. A turkey D. A turkey D? A turkey T. A turkey D. Turkey, turkey T. Stick that in the, what was no. it called? The cluck hole. Yeah, the cluck hole. The clacker. Yes. <laughs> the maraca. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. Here we bloody go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh it really doesn't like I you. I was stuck between a... A rock and a hard turkey. <sighs> Here's another science fact for you, peeps. Yeah, let's get through them as soon as possible. This game has multiplayer. Does it? On PC, you can play online. I don't know why you'd want to. In head-to-head -head mode, the player selects a level, characters, and game style, those being time-limited, damage-limited, or unending. Oh, please uh, no. Uh, Codes unlocked in the single player can be put into the Cheesy Puffs decoder. No. Cheesy Linear's decoder yes. to unlock additional characters for head-to-head -head play. So you unlocked Mr. Mackey, but you, all you did was you got, a, you got a code. I hated, I really hated games like this. Yeah. And you could just look up all the codes, especially games that didn't have a save feature and instead gave you codes for levels, like the Thunderbirds game on Game Boy Color. And you just thought, what's the point? Because I can just look up the codes and just go straight to the last level yeah. and finish it. Crash Bandicoot 1 uh, used to have codes for levels. Can you make that? No. I'm definitely going to clip this thing. Okay. <gasps> oh. oh, the speed strats. There was a really big super password on Crash that unlocked everything. So that was really? good for if you wanted to cheat. Hello? Can you drown? Can't even go in it. Oh, great. Fantastic. Well, that was worthwhile, wasn't it? Yeah. Just the void there. Just the, that takes you to the nether. Avoid the void. Hello? He ruins pizzas. Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, below you maybe is where they are. Below? Below? Deep. I can't look down any further than that. Deep, deep. 30 degrees. Deep underground. Oh, I'm... Oh. Oh, my God. The noise. <laughs> It's okay, you were fine. That fall was okay. There's a ladder there as yeah, well. Yeah, I landed on a turkey, so... This this level is way too big for my liking. Let's see how it handles ladders. Oh my god, you stick to it immediately. And you still juggle the... Juggle Don't. the snowball. Are they waiting for me at the top of the ladder? I think they are. They, oh. they knew as soon as you got on the ladder, this guy's coming. Right, let's see if I can get off this ladder at all. Barely. They're not even hitting you. What a bunch of idiots. Let's climb up onto this Christmas pudding. Would you like quite an interesting science fact? Yes. A Game Boy Color version developed by Crawfish Interactive was in Hello, sorry, I can't hear you. A Game Boy Color version developed by Crawfish Interactive was in development, but it was eventually cancelled due to South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker stating that the game would not be fitting on the Game Boy Color as that console was marketed towards children. <laughs> and of course the PS1 wasn't owned by any children. No. Uh, so that's fine. However, they held on to a few copies implying ah. that it must have nearly been finished, and a ROM image of it was leaked online in 2018. Oh, I wonder who had, oh, who had that. Here's what it looks like. Just, Am just I... quite, it's quite unremarkable, really. Oh, yeah. It's just a screenshot there, look. Dull. Yeah. A lot of games on PS1 that used this fog effect mm -hmm. uh, used it to, to great effect, like S Silent Hill. Silent, Silent Hill, yeah. In fact, can we get a little bit of footage of Silent Hill up, but with the sound effects and music of this game? Yeah, that would be good. Because I think it, it just goes to show, if all they did was change the music and the sound effects for this, it would become way more ominous and spooky. Uh, if the wait, so what? You want Silent Hill with South Park sound effects, or, yeah. or South Park? I with... want Silent Hill with the South Park sound effects when the monsters come. Okay. That's what I want. Right. <laughs> way better, mm. obviously, way better. There is a speed run for this game. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, saving requires one block. Clear out the turkey lair. Eliminate the leader. Kick turkey butt. It's actually called a clacker. Yes. I think you'll find a little, a little black hole. So the speed run is the N64 version, and I know there are definitely differences that we'll get into when we get to the reviews. Mm -hmm. But uh, speedrunner 
Cracker Bean ran this game on Nintendo 64. How fast did they finish it? Well, I think you'll find it's pronounced Krakobian, like the architecture. An hour and a half. 57 minutes and seven seconds. Yeah. Seven seconds, and that's it. Found one of my friends. There's another one of you. Found a second friend. Why was this bit, mechanic? It's a bit unnecessary, isn't what? it? What? They're all just here. Why is there a plunger? Did we miss some important context? I've a got a... plunger launcher. Okay. What does it do? Does it pull you towards something? I've got one. Rubbish. Can I reclaim it? No. Yes. Yes? I just did. It said plunger. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Right. We'll see, we'll see how it works. I'll take that as a piece of music. That's like, that's not bad. Dan, if you were a superior marksman like me, maybe you wouldn't have a Dan, if you were a superior marksman like me, maybe you would be good. It's so dingy in Chef's Shack of Love. Yeah. It's not very bright in there. His lava lamp is pretty unhappy as well. Remember the lava lamps? I do, I had one. I had one for a time, yeah. I think I had them way after they were popular because then they were cheap. Yeah, I me could, too. I could afford to buy them. Like, did you ever have any of those inflatable plastic aliens? Inflatable. Oh, uh, I've seen them now. There was... Yeah, I had a, I had like three of those. They used to just sit in various corners of my room. Really? Yeah, I don't really know for oh, what purpose well, or what end. There goes my plunger. They just slowly deflated over the course of several weeks. And then you had to blow them up again. And you'd be like, yes, that's my inflatable, that's my balloon. That's my adolescent balloon. My my plunger is gone forever now because I fired it forward. Into the fog. And I don't think there's any drop off on it at all. So it's just gone. <laughs> it just went forever. Yeah. Would you like a, a review? I want to get through this as soon as possible. South Park's reception depended on the platform. <laughs> Overall, the game was met with negative critical reception on PC and PlayStation. Has it got louder? What, sorry? The game. While the Nintendo 64 version generally received mixed to positive reviews from critics, the PlayStation and personal computer versions received poor reception due to the bad graphics, poor visuals, which are different apparently, <laughs> and bad voice acting. Is that it? Not not the... Not the terrible gameplay. The slowdown, the useless controls, the dreadful audio quality, which for PS2, for PS1 era should be better. Will you wait until we hear the... The, the quote that comes with the uh, the lowest review. They don't mention any of that stuff. Really? Which is weird. I don't know why. They're just like, oh, I'm really mad that they didn't include the storyline from the episode um, Hitler's bumhole lovers. You know, that famous South Park episode. You, you, you absolutely got them there, Peter. Yeah. You told them good. That's what they do on South Park. They talk about bums, Hitler's, and, Hitler's bums and famous people. And fetuses. Like Hitler. I like South Park. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Ag aggregating review website Game Rankings gave the Nintendo 64 version what percent, Peter? Uh, N64 version probably did okay, so... Oh my god! <laughs> 60, <laughs> what was that? 60% maybe? 67.11% on, on N64. The PC version got... Uh, more. It got um. It got more. Sixty-eight. You weren't paying attention to what I said. No, I wasn't. It got fifty-one point seven two percent. Okay. And the PlayStation version got. Is this an average? This is an average. Um, thirty-nine. Forty-one point two two percent. Both. So the highest review score came from PSX Nation. Uh, there is unfortunately no review online that oh. I could find, but it is still listed in the aggregator. What percentage out of 100 did they give it? 60? 63! Oh my god! Not bad, not, 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 too, not too far. The lowest came from IGN, we know that one. Okay. What is that sound effect in particular? <laughs> The worst one. What did they give it? Well, if it's IGN, they won't have given it zero, even though they should have done. Um, they may have given it 15%. Um, they gave it 20%. Oh. And they said, South Park is by far the most frustrating game experience I have ever had. Oh. Not because of the quality of the game. What? Not because of the quality of the game, but because it combines a phenomenal license, a respected publisher, and one of the world's best developers. That should have been more than enough to create a brilliant game. Instead, we have utter proof that everyone is capable of having a bad day. Well, it's more than a bad day, isn't it? It probably took them months and months to make this. Not because of the quality of the game. 
and then goes on to say, isn't it a shame that despite the good license and the good publisher and developer, this game is of low quality. Yeah. So that doesn't really make any sense. And that showed up in the in the PlayStation review aggregator as well, but it's clearly referring to one of the best developers, so I'm assuming it's not the people who ported it to PlayStation. Mm. So this that sounds like a review for the N64 version. Right. It sounds like many people didn't actually want to touch the PlayStation version. Yeah. It came out a few years later, and it was not as good. Okay, well... I'm just chasing this... Yeah, well, you have to, don't you? Otherwise, you get a penalty. And I don't know what happens in the penalty round. I think they all just sort of sit on you with their big black, Maracas. blacky maraca holes. Yeah, they And, and there's like this deals. weird sort of first-person vor scene where you go up inside a no, cyborg. No, that's not what vor is. Cyborg, cyborg that's, toiki. That's not how vor works. Yeah, it you is. You don't go up inside. You go through the mouth hole. Well, it doesn't matter how you get in there. You could get in through any hole. I don't want to think about it. I don't really want to look at that 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 pink ring anymore uh, either. No, me neither. But you know, it's the game. The sound quality. Oh, get out! I'm in the hole. I got inside the turkey for a minute there. <laughs> you actually got bored. That's it. That's enough. I'm calling it. Okay, let me just see if I can revore myself, and then and then yeah, we'll call it. Just kill this turkey. I think he immediately becomes non non collidable. What is... I'm in it. Okay, well, that was worth it, wasn't it? What a... what a fucking mercy. That was. That silence. Really bad. Really bad. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Worst, worst. Game Guess Ever. Ever? Best game ever. I'm Ben. I'm Peter. And this is a show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. We've got loads of them, Peter. We have. We've got a whole spreadsheet full of them. So when we say they're sent in by you, we mean in the past sense. They were. Because you did send them. We put Every game we've played so far has been sent by a person. Mm. Just happened to be last year. We, we yeah. will let you know when we're accepting entries for, for more terrible games. and. Oh boy, we're sure you won't disappoint us. Oh, Nelly, people have been messaging saying, hey, I've got this bad game, can I send it to you? you? Not yet! Why do, do I take it to CEA? Dag flipping do do? trumpet. It's just taking up loads of space. It's mm. propping up my, my, my coffee table. Keep it, just... You just keep it. Just keep it. Kiss it gently and tenderly before sleep time. Pop it under the doormat or... No, don't do that. Why would you do that? That would just go crunchy. Yeah. That would be crunchy floor pasta no. for, the, uh, for the postman. Macaroni. Ooh. Hey, macaroni it would be. Exactly. The basic gist of this show, Peter, is that not only do we play terrible video games, but we try to learn as we go. Mm. Uh, I am this week's game's victim. Yes. Which means I played the terrible video game this week, but you... I'm the game's master. Which means it's my responsibility to bring a terrible game for the game's victim to play. And with which to be victimised by... with... And also science facts. And also science. That is the box of science facts, and in there is nothing, it's just a prop. No. What we actually do is we put the science facts on our phone no. to read off, and no, then no, we no. put the phone inside the box. It's, it's 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 hot and fresh. The science facts are hot and fresh. Be careful. Oh, oh blimey. Whoa. So while it, it, it's not a prop, it's a metaphorical gateway to a universe of knowledge. Knowledge. Uh, would you like to know what terrible, yes. terrible, terrible, terrible game you'll be playing today? Remember, sometimes in this show, the games aren't the worst games ever, despite the name of the actual show. They're just, just worse, worse than, than most. most. This is worse than some. Okay. A p potentially a bit of a tenuous one. A crowd splitter. We're playing today. Rugrats Studio Tour. Oh, it's, what does that say? Brand, brand new, new release. Brand new release. And it's got a little product code underneath. Do you want to read that for people? R-R-S-T hyphen P-S-X. Fantastic. Oh, Rugrats Studio Tour P-S-X. Oh, okay. Well, oh. Maybe that was just used internally in the shop to right. identify it. Yeah. Oh, that's not as exciting. Even though it says it all over the box. I can't wait to play this video game! Well, uh, some people at home will have played this and they know... 
and they know what you're about to experience. Yes. Would you like to experience it now? I would, but I'd like to experience it with my friends here. Oh. Is that okay? Well, I think we'd better introduce them though if they're going to be in this video. Let's start from right to left to left to right. We've got Billy Ray Warris. Steven Seagull. Billy Ray Dolrus. John claude Van Lam, Scandal Penguin. And Dick Mychinko. Let, let, let's go. Let's go, son. How are we, Wilbur? Nickelodeon! Nick, 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 Nick. Where Nick. are we going? What? Oh, I used to have a game with this intro. I can't remember what game it was. But. N Space. N Space! I don't know that one. I'm don't afraid. you? No, I don't know. That one. I wonder what game it was. I might have to look that up now. Oh, it was probably the original. There's, there's more games in this series that I did have. So maybe it was that. I forgot how hideous the, the baby baby was. What, Dill. What horrifying proportions it has. Yeah. This splash screen's pretty naff, isn't it? It is. Why is they've only done... I think they got I mean, someone it... to do the art for them and then they realised, oh, God damn it, we gave them the wrong <laughs> dimensions. We've got all this dead space around it. Oh. Welcome to the Gigantamongus Studio Tour, everyone. Ah! Why do they look like that? Why is he cross-eyed? But we're not going there till later on in the tour. On your right is the hot set area. Rugrats Studio Tour. Everyone looks like a pile of poo. What's his hand doing? Look at the look at Stu's hand there at the bottom. I think he's hot. Oh no. The exact likeness of Angelica there. This is fascinating. I can't look away. There's a look man behind hands. there. Or a woman. Or a woman. <laughs> or it could be a woman. It could be a woman. There's a very good chance it's a woman. It's Reptile. Just actual Reptile just walked past. No one's phased by that at all. So has this got all the voices in? Yeah. Wow. Look, guys, I make it scary monsters. <laughs> I make scary monsters. I am one of them. We're starting the game, I suppose. Wait. Rugrats Wait. Studio Tour is a 1990 PlayStation game based on the Nickelodeon television I'm series. Sorry, Rugrats. a 1990? 1999 PlayStation game based on the Nickelodeon television series Rugrats. Right, thank you. You're welcome. Why does... what was his name? Dill. Dill, with one L. Why does Dill have... the top of his head looks like the top of a Lego figure. Oh yeah, why like is it you smaller? Could, like you could put a hat on it, like it just goes... Well maybe, I think when babies get born, sometimes their head can get squished. Yeah, it's very malleable. Yeah, and then it slowly, I think maybe he's at, this is Dill only weeks after his birth, I think we've confirmed here. Right. And as he emerged from Dee Dee's vagina, which is something we've all thought about before. It's, it's science, it happened. Look, uh, it, look it up. He got a bit, he got a bit Dill formed, I think. Peter is a Rugrats truther. Face it, Dee Dee has a vagina. <laughs> We should have stayed on that hot old studio tour. But what? Oh, here we go again. Hey, <laughs> like how his eyes went What's... totally 2D there. What is happening? Sorry, little guys. You can't go into the top secret filming area. I have the only keys to the high tech space. <laughs> Don't you come and get them, kids. Oops. Oops. Oh, no. <gasps> ah, my keys. Oh, the baby. My my ease. Double oops. Great. Double now oops. Now I gotta find the other keys, unlock this door, and rescue that key. Exposition! Oh, Is he just gonna leave oh the baby? Oh my god, the baby's in there! Guys, we got to search this whole studio to find Oh, the look at his gums. He's got no teeth. Imagine having that kind of security where you needed nine <laughs> keys. Right, Captain Cookies. Right, um, Lazy Sam. while on a trip to a movie studio, Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Angelica, Susie, and Dill venture away from the grown-ups, but in the process, Dill gets locked behind a door, and the security guard loses the keys to the door thanks to Dill himself, forcing the others to venture throughout the studio and explore various film sets okay. in search of the keys to free Dill from an adventure film set before he is harmed by the props. Oh my god. Dill is going to be harmed. I don't want Dill to be harmed. Maybe there's Playmobil in there. Yeah. Perhaps he's not compatible with his Lego. The player completes various mini games on the sets of four fictional movies. Captain Cookies. Yeah. Lazy Saddles. Yeah. Exit to options menu. Yeah. Outside space. And the dive. And find oh, them. Find it. Well, that's where you go. And the Dipers. Dipes of Thunder. Dipes of Thunder. Dipes. 
Um, so I recommend you probably just bop straight in with uh, Captain oh, Cookie. Captain Cook. Oh. What? I just pressed select. Oh, okay. That was weird. You just did a little accept. All the HUD stayed up on the screen there for a second. Yeah. How Play strange. Captain Cookies. It's showtime, oh baby. Ahoy, matey! You're lady. The Captain Cookies crew is ready to set sail. Film crews don't talk like everyone in the film that they're making. So a, a child walked in and he said, "Oh, this must be our our lead. Our lead has arrived. This is her, the three-year-old." Uh, okay, so there's no camera controls. The camera just goes to the whichever way she's facing. Slowly. Great. So, this is some kind of platforming, maybe? No. This is a hub world, Ben. No! How many le- Oh my god. Lots of the same level. Oh, it's Minecraft. Make way uh, oh my Jesus. god. Is she, did you go in and she's just saying stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, there's a lot of barriers for entry to playing the game, isn't there? Uh, well, do you know who you have to thank for that? Who's that? The game was developed by N-Space and published by THUK. I'm sorry? THUK. THUK? THQ. It's not... Did you just go up to eight? What? Why have you got nine of them now? Ten. You what? only picked up four. Eleven. Is it going to make that noise every time? Yeah, I think so. She jumps in the direction of whichever the camera thinks you're meant you're trying to face, which is not at all helpful. I also don't know where any more are. This is a mimic. Oh no, it's a key. The blue key. Oh my god, game, please, game, please. Ahoy, a vast me mateys. Un unlike what you would imagine, when you hold forward, it goes forward where wherever the character is facing. So, when the camera starts moving, it's all but impossible to... It sort of changes what to navigate. forward means. Yeah, exactly. You have to sort of move your thumbstick as the camera moves it's, in order to keep going in the same direction. You just have to stop playing sometimes. <laughs> right. Oh, oh! Oh! You got crabbed. What? So I lost the key because I got attacked. How Did you lose I... the key? That's what I just said, you lost a key. Oh my god. That doesn't seem right. Oh, it's time. It's time for one of my facts. Oh, is it? Yeah. What is that thing? What is that? The game features several references to actual Rugrats episodes and supporting characters, <laughs> such as the terrifying Mr. Friend robot. Oh, yeah, I don't like it. Uh, it's even more terrifying in the actual episode. Um, it's unclear, though, in this case, how the studio ended up with a bunch of Mr. Friends, as they were built in Stu Pickles' basement and subsequently destroyed by the babies. Right. But now really... there's a bunch of them here in relevant costume walking around on a film set. So I think this game is non canon. I'm gonna. You're gonna say a bold, it. bold claim. Yeah. I think this is non canon to the Rugrats continuity. I don't know that I, I, I can accept that. Okay. In fact, I might go to war with you over it. Well, there might be some sort of expanded universe material, like a novelization or a, a graphic novel that we have to read. <laughs> I mean, why would there be so many? Like, what? Oh, it was a special one. What does it say? Oh, get up! Let's hear the noise. Oh, it just does it slightly deeper and does the ba ba. God, even the music just sets the tone for how tedious it. Listen. Oh, there's money. Money? Is it? Yeah, I think I it's think it's like some sort of mold. <laughs> it's money. You need to s stop the infection. Hello? Please. Oh, thank God. The prettiest you haven't you have enough reptile bars to The reptile bars, I thought they were cookies. They're reptile bars. Well why did it say cookie cove? I thought I was collecting cookies. What's happening? This game's making a mockery of no, me. No, I think there's reptile bars for the entire game. I think this just happens to be called Cookie Oh, Cove. Christ, now it's this ginger idiot. Oh, for God's sake. What's he, what, what new fresh ideas is this? Oh my God. Bring? Yes. What's that jump? This is the speedrun strat. Here we go. He's like a frog. Oh, what's up with his eye? What happened? What happened, Chucky? Come a little bit closer, son. It's an eye patch. Oh, okay. But his eye's poking out from under. That's actually touching his eyeball. Yeah. What is that? It's a purple key. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Blah, blah, blah. What's that noise? That's Mr. Friend. There's a Mr. Friend somewhere. Can he come through the long grass? I don't know. What, like, it, the lost world? Huh? Huh? 
Huh? I know he's gonna get you. You can try. Speed strat. Huh? 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 All this music sounds like it was played in one take because occasionally there's a rogue note. Yeah, where they press it twice by accident. Yeah, and they're like, screw it, that's fine. Well, yeah, we don't have enough. Uh, it's like Resident Evil 1 with the voice acting. They only had enough budget for one take. They did. You should watch our video all about things you don't know about Resident Evil. To yeah. Oh, the camera. There we go. I'm so glad that the four other movies are unlocked because there's just not enough content <laughs> in this. It's just hunting for reptile bars and keys. Rawr. What, where's the last chest? Good find, Mitty. No, 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 no. Chucky, no! Hey, kid, feel the part. Shut up. I'm not old enough to be employed. Rugrats Studio Tour is the second Rugrats game released on PS1. The first being Rugrats Search for Reptile. I had that game. I liked it. Did you? It was no different to this, it was the same engine, the same sound effects, mostly the same music, this same is, voice actors. This is not fair. There were reptile camp. bars in. Oh, oh. You had to collect like puzzle pieces instead of keys. It was stupid. Um, I hated it. Actually, I hated it. Actually, actually I, I really hated it. No, I really loved it. Is that the big reason. chest over there? No. <laughs> that is the big oh, chest. Oh, it is. Okay. I lied to you. Would I lie to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more coming soon. Can it come later? Uh, can Should it, I just back out? Can we cancel it? Can we? Yeah, that's it. Ahoy, matey! You're forgetting your P45. Come back if you dare! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's the same guy. Oh no, he's dressed as a cowboy now. And he's talking like this. Yeehaw, partner. Step up and get ready to ride. Oh my god, what? His thumb. Did it just make a bird unconscious spinning noise? It kind of did. Oh my god. Cows don't look like cows on film. You have to use horses. Oh my god, look at that pig. Is it a pig? Is it a cat? I don't really know what it's meant to be. I can't do anything to it though. Well, I don't think you should. This is as close as I can get to the sheep. Really? It's got a sort of anti-buggery shield. It's got an anti- it's got a bugger barrier, yeah. unfortunately. Oh! Oh! A buggerier. Help! What's happening? It's got buggerier, yeah. is what we're saying. Don't go near that sheep, it's got buggerier. Yeah. Oh wait, no, this is not what I thought it was going to be. There's another le There's another minigame later that is not this. What is that? Is that- is that meant to be a chick? I think he said you have to pick up animals. Hello? Uh, chick? Okay, I got it. Oh my Christ. Where am I in? In here? She's holding her head quite far back. I think she's a bit... Oh, that was it. I don't think, I don't think there's a yeet button. No, you should be able to yeet Kobe, the bunny. Th those chicks could get out if they wanted to as well. It's Why are the chicks all hunchback like that? It's Look at it walk. It's hot. It's hot. Look at it. It's not even moving. It wasn't even moving. Look at that one. That one there, where the fence is. Look at the sort of battery, battery rabbits they've got over there. It's horrific. Let's have a let's let's take this one back to its battery home. Mm. Wow, it looks like they've got loads of space to run around. Yeah, these are free-range, organic, corn-fed rabbits. They look really happy. Mm. Great, but you're not done yet. That's probably the that most like threatening a threat. <laughs> video game has ever been. Yeah. Don't threaten me with a bad time. Is it just going to be this the whole way through? Possibly, but just there is. Spoilers, there is a minecart minigame in this Lazy one? Saddles. Oh, okay, so should we persevere? You might have to finish this. Hopefully there'll only be like three stages to it or four tops. Now there is a cheat for big head mode, which is horrifying. It works in diapies of... Di diping with death or whatever that level Sorry? was. The one, <laughs> the Phil and Lil one. Um, but I don't know if it works in these areas, but you can give it a go if you like. Okay, I'd love to do a cheat. All you have to do is pause it. Circle, square, circle, X. Yeah, I think it only works in the kart racing level. Whoa, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm on board for that. Oh my god. You are playing as Spike the dog. <laughs> oh my word. Why does his head look like a ding dong? Well, you're walking. Oh no, that's there. the that's the. Sorry, we're segregating, aren't we? So he can't go over there. Yeah, no, you have to separate the black sheep from the white sheep. That way. Oh no, he's going. Oh, bloody boy! No, come on! 
I don't want to. I don't want to tell tell my grandma how to suck sheep. But I'm sorry. I. You might want to just focus on one sheep at a time. As well, tempting as doing. it is, yeah. No, I know you are now. As tempting as it is to try and do two in one. They don't behave. No. Bastard. Bastard. No. Why? <laughs> it's because they're basically. I think they have they a really wide like, turning yeah, circle. Yeah. <laughs> they control like tanks, so they can't do. Why? They can't turn on the spot. Where are you going? Look at his dick nose. Shut S up! Spike has a dick nose. Bye -bye. Search the rest of the area. There might be another door to go through now. I'll, I'll have a look. Oh, they were. Oh, it was we just on the other side. To this side from the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely missed all the controls there. Well, let's just. I'm, I might just watch you. It started backwards and bounced backwards. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> help! Help, Gromit! Speed run straps. It's gone. Tilt left and right, and apparently it speeds you up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's not how minecarts work. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh no, oh, you've been derailed. How, can, how much can I break this game? <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh Susie. <laughs> Speed strats. Why does it let you come off the road? Oh, ah, Susie, she's really come off the rails, you know. Oh my god. Oh, it always finds its way back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you've made this game look bad because it is bad in, in many ways. Oh! Hey, give me that what was that? Mr. Friend was in a minecart. Oh! oh. <laughs> Help! Because this is objectively not a good game, um, but, you know, as, as I've alluded to earlier, it. Bad ghost. Did I just oh, it's Pac-Man. He's dressed as a ghost. Oh. So this is basically Pac-Man. Do you get it? See? Yeah. Ba -ba. Well, I guess I'm not going to see what's coming then, am I? Oh, God, so help! I if you... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what do you think this game averaged? This is according to Moby Games for actual critical reviews. Um, um, I couldn't... It's oh, not on Christ. Metacritic. It's not on Metacritic. No. Uh, okay. How, oh, God. How about... Uh, I'm going to say 53. You're very close. The average review, according to four critical reviews on Moby Games, was 55%. Oh, wow. That's a oh. oh, all of your nugs have gone. Oh, God, they have. Oh. How about the best three out of two? Right, time no, for the car racer, No, I wouldn't I think. like to play again. So, average 55. Average 55. That seems about fair. What do you think the highest score was? Again, this is from a crit an actual critic. 79. 78. You're very, oh, you're guessing very well today. I'm on the bow today. The highest score was from 78% uh, by Mega Fun. Now, unfortunately, Peter, at this point, we uh, we had a bit of a camera malfunction. Catastrophe. Oh, dear. Uh, we lost some footage, by which I mean it corrupted. Mm. But fortunately, the footage aspect was the only part that we lost. We managed to recover the audio which I think we're going to roll now. We are. We're going to do that. We're just going to carry on. You just won't be able to see us. But maybe I'll maybe I'll just put a still PNG of What if us we in. just, what if we do this? Dan, ready to be, we're going to be shrunk down. Yeah. We're going to be shrunk down with the miniaturizing worst games ever, Ray, in three, two, one. Ah. And then just frozen here in and place. Then, that's it. This is where we are now. Good. Enjoy the audio. Go, everyone. It's by Mega Fun. Uh, it's a German company magazine or website, I don't know. Yeah. I was going to bring the German and just sort of try and translate it on the fly. Right. But then I ran it through Google Translate and it was an amusing Google Translate, as it often is when okay. we do foreign so reviews. It's definitely on. worth it. I thought I would just read a verbatim. Hit me. For the youngest gamers, this skill cocktail is oh, great. Boy, race car drivers just keep getting younger and younger. The crew's ready to film the big race scene. Yeah, I don't need any ID. You seem a bit young for our film. You've driven before, right? But it's fine. Has he got breasts? No, it's just poor, poor contouring. Oh, I think. A... Sorry, please repeat your... Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's what I had to double take at. Oh, even I just... don't like Yeah, it. that. Oh! <laughs> that's what a thumbnail. What happens if he Oh, that's <laughs> way worse. Oh, the wide eyes. Burning, Burning like, like fire. fire. Sorry, I'm just looking at the... Uh, the spiky cone. The death cone. <laughs> For the youngest gamers, this skill cocktail is great. The all, skill cocktail. All baby missionaries play... 
<laughs> All baby missionaries play flawlessly. The variety is high and the presentation sugary. <laughs> I'm sorry? In German, they have this word called Zuckerzus, mean, which means sweet as sugar. Right. Sugar sweet. So it literally, there's but two it, ways to go, by the way. Right. Uh, sugar. And the presentation, sugary. For me, one of the most successful children's games for the PlayStation, and from this point of view, is also the rating to see. <laughs> Better yet, the, Better le yet. the lowest... No, this is me now, I'm talking okay. actual sorry. English. Better yet, the lowest score comes from a French website which I've translated and is also amusing. Is this your video? It's not your video, uh, okay. it's Conso Plus. Conso Plus. Conso Plus. Before we do anything else though, Ooh. Oh my god, as if this weren't bad enough, but anyway. Can you try and get him to face the camera, possibly? It's just Crash Team Racing. Well, without the drifting mechanics, yeah. <laughs> Go back, what? Uh. <laughs> Hello, us again. Um, actually, we didn't we didn't recover all of the audio from uh, that small segment. More like worst shoot ever. Well, right? it, we've not lost yeah. too much more though. Basically, uh, there's a tiny bit missing, but here, uh, in place of that, is a dramatic reading of that lowest review from uh, Console Plus. Console Plus. Console Plus. Who gave the game thirty six percent? It smells sloppy, fast, badly done. Several small games allow you to get into the skin of these ragooing little brat. Platforms, race cart, all genres, or almost, are represented. But it's far from convincing. Poverty graphics and animation, very low game interest. To forget. Wow! Us again, again. This is the last time. It's good news, though, this it's, time. This is great news. Yeah. The rest of the video is intact. Yes! But the context that, that lets you understand what's going into it was lost. So right. now we're here to give you context about mm -hmm. what's going to happen now, and that is that Peter Austin is going to read a terrible user review that's sort of in, in kind of a weird poetic style. Yeah, it's all rhyming. So, so uh, we can enjoy that and no more, no more issues for the rest of the video. Unless I make one. <laughs> Explosions! I couldn't call this one a bad game. At times, it's a delight. But there are certain elements about the tour which really are a fright. <laughs> It's best to leave this one to the kids. I did just swear, I'm really sorry. I just it's swore okay. under my breath, but I haven't realised it. It's best to leave this one to the kids. It's a matchup from above. Immature games and immature minds are sure to fall in love. Things like the mini golf will keep you wanting more. But play this game beyond a week and it'll become a bore. Not really good, nor really bad. A nice inoffensive mean. But one of the best out there for the kids amongst pickings that are lean. What's this guy's name again? King Broccoli. I hope you've passed away. The final line, if I were to give it a score, I'd say six and I'd say no more. He even had to rhyme his score at the end. And he actually said more. Yeah. You could have just said, I I'd say six. And I'll say no more. Ah, oh, definitely worth 60% for... And he spent a long old time... For sure. ...writing a poetic review that no one read, but we have now shared with Several thousand people on YouTube. Rubbish, didn't like any of that. No. No, it's not for adults, but you know, sometimes kids' games can be good. It really, I think it really peaked towards the end there, though. That was quite the experience. Right now, we've got a manual. Why not post this video in the subreddit for the Rugrats, which mm. I'm sure is thriving. Um, I reckon they would love that. Why not post this video in the subreddit for um, Jackie Chan? Yeah, just that's why, probably, just why not, not? probably not very busy in there. Rugrats, though, really yeah. busy, won't get seen. Mm. Jackie Chan, though, mm. he could do it. Every day when you're walking down the street, every game that we play is worse than most. Hello and welcome to Worse Than Most Games Ever. I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, and uh, this is the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Uh, today, I am uh, going to be playing a terrible video game that's been brought by Ben, which means that I am the game's victim.
And so that means that Ben, who's really quiet today, is the game's master. That's right, Peter. Um, so I've brought the tip. along today, and um, I'm going to provide you with some... We go, and uh, it's it's gonna be super exciting for yeah. everybody. Uh, today's terrible video game, Peter, is... Yes! Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley Sweet 16. Oh, I thought uh, it was that. Licensed to Drive. X-Men. It's They've not put the whole title on the, um, on the spine. That's also not official PlayStation spine font, I don't think. That's illegal in most countries. Uh, 50p. 50 pence. 50p from CEX, who haven't bought this. Look at the back there. Get ready <gasps> for the sweetest birthday bash ever. Sweetest? Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley are licensed to drive and ready to hit the road. Is Presumably, that a threat? That's some kind of uh, sort of health and safety thing, public awareness kind of deal because they weren't wearing their, their belts. <gasps> and so they flew through the windscreen after a collision and then they hit they the hit road. The road Jack. Hop in and drive into excitement. <laughs> okay. With over 30 party style mini games. Those are all in, in caps. So you want to get that last one there? Miles on fun lie ahead of you. Full stop. Not an exclamation mark, it's just all caps, full stop. It's a statement. Yeah. Miles of fun lie ahead of you. Wear your seatbelt. Think. Think. Think bike. Think stroke. Think stroke. They look really bad. You ready to experience it firsthand, Peter? There's so much, even just to go through on the back of the box. Like those, the wheels aren't touching the ground. The weird bits are. They aren't. Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Dull. Oh, dual star. Dull star oh, interactive. Dull star interactive. Oh, the page there it is turn again. transition. Oh, it's such a rapid movement that it closed my science box. Then. Oh, it's a claim. In space! In space! They did the last game! They, they did... did real games for real girls! This is Rouge Rats. Oh, we've done real games for real girls as well before. We have. As a it's Barbie how one. You play. How many logos? I want you to pay attention to the lyrics when we get to this first thing, okay? Ignore that one, that was me. <laughs> Sorry? Testing. Peter, you're a. an idiot. Well, you're a great big. What a load of sh <laughs> How fast can I press it? <laughs> okay. P. 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 Game successfully saved. Yeah, now, of course, Peter, this Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley game is all about becoming 16 years old. A sweet 16 years old. Sweet 16 year years old. Gaining your independence. Mm. Getting out there into the world, which is horrifying that Americans are allowed to do that at 16. Got to learn, got to be 17 to learn to drive in the UK. Oh yeah, I thought you um, meant to go and live alone. Well. You can do that in the UK. I mean, you leave school at 16 if you want to. Yeah. But it's the driving aspect that scares me, which is what this game is all about. I want you to pay attention to the lyrics of this amazing song that I have no idea if it will be copyright stri struck oh. or not. We'll find out. <laughs> I can't really hear the lyrics. Independent. <laughs> she was just turning it. She wasn't doing anything. Qu Pay close attention to the words at the back as well, if you can. Trial right? Rapids. Tag, you're it. So that's just the name of the 30 mini game. Yeah. Sweet 16. Da -da. Now, you may have seen those words scrolling along the... Jesus! Turn it down! No, it won't go! They're just in the edit, can we just get a... 
Mute. Okay, so uh, you may have seen not just the names of the locations scrolling along in the background, but across the sort of fake TV, there were various buzzwords going along. Mm. I freeze framed and made a note of all of them. Oh wow! They're quite enlightening. You ready? Yeah. We don't start a game while you're saying that. Or... Uh, do, well, I have more to give you. A option then. Here we go. Cool cars. Crank up the tunes. Cruising. Dance. Dating. Freedom. Friends. Hit the beach. Hit the open road. Independence. Licensed. And then the number two, drive. Oh. Major drivage. Major drivage. Nice ride. Drivage. No backseat drivers. <laughs> road trip. Genocide. Well, this is running well, isn't it? Look at them go in the background there. Oh. <laughs> is, there, uh, uh, is there a way you could edit our silhouettes? Oh, you know I will. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so you've got three different modes here, Peter. Yeah. I've got a science fact for you about it. In adventure mode, players go around the selected region for three laps by default, but players may choose to extend the game up to ten laps. Wow! <laughs> As players go around the region, they land in spaces where they can pick up friends, receive coins, or participate in challenges. After each lap, players compete in one of the 30 mini games to earn points. God. You ready? Is it Mario Party? Is that what it's it is? It's basically Mario Party. Yeah. Do, so you do not want to tell me about the other two? Are they not worth No, playing? they're not. No. Bring it on! Region, beach mountains, beach mountains, beach uh, Well, what mountains. do they say in the intro? Uh, Probably hit the beach, independence. There's, yeah, there's hit the beach, Yeah. hit the open road, and obviously major drivage and genocide. Yeah, yeah. Um, choose. I suppose, yes. What? Oh, yes. You've got to choose which person you want to play as. What? In Mary Kate and Ashley Sweets, sorry, Mary Kate and oh, Ashley. Oh, they're down here, are Sweet they? Sweet 16, licensed to drive. Players can control one of four characters Mary Kate, Ashley, Tiffany, or Claire. <laughs> Players can choose between two regions, beach and mountain. <laughs> oh, there's not even more unlockable ones, that's just that's all it. there is. Beach and mountain. Should... What a nice a, character select that's screen, That's a huh? beach and mountain. This is half the game time, it's just moving the cursor to the, to the corner you want. Who should I be? One of the. One I of the Mary Kate and Ashley twins. I feel like Mary, Hyf uh, Mary Hyphen Kate is the most powerful one. She gives off the biggest. Anything. I don't know which one's which. No, I don't no, know. No, I... I had so. I thought that when I pressed one, a character model would come up. No. 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 This is a bad game. No. You've already had to walk all the way up there to select it. Oh. Beach birthday! Well, come on, did you pass? We're licensed to drive. Oh no, we get off the road! Cool, where are you guys going first? We're planning a big Sweet 16 party tonight, and we could use some help. Yeah, we'll need cool music, food, and awesome birthday cake. Boys, don't. One of them said food, the other one said, and awesome birthday cake. <laughs> We've got work to do. The one who can get the most friends to show will be the queen of our party. Was that? Count me in. <laughs> Just call me your highness. Because we're sweet 16 and licensed to drive. Look at those fake-ass licenses. Oh my god, they've all got a car. Stop the spinner, Peter! Oh, first boy! Yes! Uh, spin. Oh, oh off you god. go. There's no way you've just passed. Oh! The wrong side of the road! God, it is, isn't it, for America? For Americans. She was driving... Oh! Bleh. What? What was that? Earthquake? Now we get to watch this. While we're watching this, though, I'll give you some more information. Mary Hyphen Kate and Ashley Sweet 16 Licensed to Drive yeah. is a party video game released for the PlayStation 2 on the 20th of November 2002, mm -hmm. the Game Boy Advance, and GameCube. <laughs> All three versions were developed by N Space and published by Club Acclaim. Right. <laughs> Club Acclaim. I think they drive on the other side when they're overtaking. Oh, I see. And then when they, even though there was no one for me to <gasps> overtake. Oh, oh something, that, watch. something that we're not involved in. Oh, fantastic. Claire wins to... Okay. Oh, so they fought each other for their right to go. Right. And Claire won. Off she goes. Good for Claire. Wrong directions. Lost for a turn. I mean, I, I imagine we're just going to be going clockwise around this entire... Or anti-clockwise. Surely, who, right? Who needs directions? Free for all. Is this a mini game now? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Controls, move cursor, take picture. Snap a picture of the model that matches the displayed pose. Oh boy! 
New York City and Times Square. New York City and Times Square. Two different places. Yeah. We're just watching the sick cutscene. Here we go. Oh, who's doing that pose, Pete? Sorry, what's happening? You've got to select the, oh, the pose at the bottom. The pose. I see, I yeah. didn't see the pose was down she's there. She's in the middle. Is she? Oh, she no, was she's not. for a second. She did it for a second there. Oh, there she is, bottom right. Oh, uh, yeah, sort of. Did you get it? Why is it all skew with like that, though? You're doing great, Pete. They're not matched up properly, really. It's because you're looking at it from an angle that yeah. isn't representative of, of what they're That's doing. That's what I mean, it's quite. It's quite off-putting. Is Which that is, is that, that it? Bottom le left? Well, you got it. Uh, no, I didn't press it though. I wasn't confident enough. You know, sure. Who's sure. doing a stretch? That one. Are you blue? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were red. Okay, this is the confusing thing about having twins, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Now you're flying. Yeah. Now he's flying. No, I missed that one too. No, I know it's a mini game. Hmm. But when it's oh, there we go. But when it's grounded in the reality of. Let's put together a sweet 16 birthday party. What are they doing at the fashion show slash car dealership? What are they doing? I'm not sure. I'm not one to judge people's decisions regarding cosmetic surgery because I ha I've had a lot of work done. Yeah, yeah. As of you, mm -hmm. a lot of vaginal rejuven rejuvenation, a lot of people getting it done this day, these days. You shouldn't though. You, Your vagina is beautiful. Yeah. Science fact? Your vagina is beautiful. It's beautiful. There it is. But those two 2002 PS2 models of Mary, Kate, Mary Hyphen Kate and Ashley look an awful lot like the current day Mary Hyphen Kate and You're Ashley. right, the, yeah. Can we get a side by side quickly? I think you're No correct. judgment, it's, it's just, just an observation. Yeah, that's just what they look like. It's just an observation. I wonder what uh, the modern day Janice and uh, uh, Marie sorry, look like. Tiffany and Claire. Yeah, Tiffany and Claire. Tiffany and Claire. Your turn. Oh, two. two again, oh, rubbish. That's not great. But now we're gonna find out what happens if you land oh, you in the same go... square. Oh. Right, so how are they going to pass me? Travel Trevia. Choose the correct answer to earn... The loading times are pretty good, I'll give it that. Yes. Oh, it's in the same studio again. Wow, look at these. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, so you you are Mary-Kate, although um, it looks like it says Mart Cart. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's driving. Mary-Kate in the Mart Cart. Why am I allowed to just avoid the flat, t the flat tire event? What? Spare, Spare tire? tire? I think that's in this game. So this is a trivia relating to this game? Yeah. This is weird. How do you get your rents to give... The, your rents to give you the car Hold keys? Hold your breath! Help around the house. Help around the house, for sure. What? Why should... What? Why do they keep pressing it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really confused. I think you have to buzz first and then press it again. Oh! You ding your parents' car. You ding car. your parents' car, what do you Pack do? Pack your bags! Tell them. Uh, oh, we're both voting on an answer, I think. Okay, so last time you buzzed so in. So is there a correct answer to that? What to do if you ding your parents' yeah, car? Yeah, this is basically a Will Smith rap, isn't it? Yeah. Like, make sure you respect your parents. How many players can play in Extreme Climb? Four? Probably four. Right. Which direction do you drive when going from Florida to New York? Uh, north. North, yeah. Yeah. Where's north from here? Whee! I'm not really sure why I can press it twice, because we're not buzzing in. I think we both answer and we get points. The name of Mary Hyphen Kate and Ashley's animated in series. It does, it's not even a question. The name of Mary Kate and Ashley's animated <laughs> series? Uh, maybe in action? Seems like Cartoon Party is too obvious. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it was in Yeah, action. it was in action. I got it. Which name is not Crush a Mary Kate course. and Ashley video game? Uh, Must be Crushed Course. Surely. Magical mystery more. Me? Oh no, so little time. So little time. Oh darn. So there's a film, uh, there's a game called Crush Course. Can we get that one? That sounds way better. Oh. Australia. The Bahamas. The Baha men. <laughs> whom, whom, whom let the dogs out? Oh no, did I lose? No, you won. You got the most points. She's applauding your... What? No, I was blue. Oh no, how did she get so many points at the end I there? don't know. Congratulations. But I lost. To the red one. She's really good at that. Would you like another science fact? So this is something we've actually covered on a previous episode of Worst Games, mm -hmm. when we played another Mary-Kate and Ashley game. Uh, this was the last edition 
actually, this game, to the Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley video game franchise. Although another game, Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley in action, <laughs> was to be released in 2003, but it was cancelled. Do you remember why it was cancelled? Uh, no, I've forgotten. Okay, here's here's the here's the juicy goss. Mm. The Olsen twins sued a claim because they claimed that a claim had not made payments on a settlement agreement. Oh, no. The settlement agreement came about because of because an audit of a claim's books showed that royalties due to the twins had not been paid. Oh. The lawsuit included a letter from the twins' attorney, Martin Singer, that stated that a claim had taken the franchise of the Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley brand in video games, which had flourished and has now run it into the ground. Green has only just got off the line. Oh no! Uh, so a claim did such a poor wow. job with not only paying the royalties but also making Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley games that they uh, they had the license taken away. God. And there was never another Mary Hyphen Kate and Ashley game after they were this that bad. one. This was the last one. Tropical winds! Ooh. Oh, look out. There's tropical winds afoot. This looks fun. Be the first person through each gate to earn the most points. The most Play points. with the most points at the end of the course is the winner. Of course is the winner. Let's do it. This looks great. Yeah, it does. Let's see if green is not crap. Hey, they're never going to get this Sweet Sixteen party together, are they, are they, if they keep stopping every 10 feet? Oh. What? Oh my god. I got shoved. You're going way faster than everyone else, Peter. Jesus, slow down. The turning circle is dire. Diarrhea. Is there an acceleration button by any chance? I'm holding, I'm holding up. Why are you so fast? I can barely see that. You're so much quicker than everybody else. I'm actually being held back now. I'm being sort of rubber banded. Oh, you missed the key. Uh, well, did you get it? It's really slippery. Oh, God, look at... Oh. oh, what? No! Oh, no! It's honestly so hard to control. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, ooh, you got the 50. You got the 50 there. 50! Oh, you got that one, maybe? I don't really know. Oh. Swoosh, oh, I missed that one. Oh, my God. Mary hyphen Kate, slow down. You are smashing this at the moment, Peter. You're a good 500 points clear of everybody. Good. 16! 16! The best music that the early 2000s had to offer there. 16! 16! Oh! You can do it! You sort of ping off if you're not careful. Oh, it's the finish. finish. <laughs> now! 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 Yeah! See you later, One, idiots. Two, two. That Simon says. Three. three eat four, my dust. Five. Six. six just Sarah Payne there. Seven. Eight. seven eight, eight. Shush, you got far ahead. Oh. Eight. What? Choose direction. Pr pr oh, go the other way. You can go your own way. Go your nine. Ten. ten. Who's Roll that? again. Who's Recycle. Reshuffle board. Oh God! What does this mean? Are you going to get put in last? No, it's changing oh, all the icons. <laughs> One loser, still in first. I'm the best twin. What can you buy with your coins, Peter? What would you like to buy? What can I buy with my coins, Ben? Do you have a science fact for no, that? I don't. Oh. oh, okay. I was just asking generally, if you I had 64 you coins, in, uh, what would you buy? Uh, friends in this game. That's what you're supposed to do, aren't you? Yeah, get you're supposed friends. to collect people, sort mm. of like Pokemon, but... If you collect people for people. money, isn't that just human trafficking? I think it is, That's yeah. That's what that is. It is trafficking, yeah. yeah. They've yeah. got a bit confused with when they read the highway code and learned about traffic, traffic, traffic yeah. laws. They like, thought, well, oh, I've got a license to traffic now. I've got to move as many of these people from their home to someone else's home mm. as fast as possible. Make your way down the rushing river. Whoa! Click power ups before entering gates to earn points. Stay sharp. Sure. Roll river. <laughs> oh, are you on teams? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm away. I'm away. She's off. Oh, key. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Don't worry, your teammate picked it up. Oh, did she? Yeah, either Claire or the other one. Hannah. Hannah? No, it might not be Hannah. I don't know. What? What's going on? I'm zoom, so zoom. confused. Zoom, oh. zoom. Oh, you're supposed to collect the colour correspondence? No. What do these mean? Are we supposed to get... Am I supposed to get the blue ones? I or? don't... <laughs> you don't know. You're winning. By there was no way. mention of that at all. No, here's some confusing things. Have fun. I'm serious. Are you? What are you serious about? About not getting copyright struck on this video. We'll upload a test version, shall we? Yeah. See how it gets on. 
It's not even a river, is it? The rushing river. It's artificial. No, it's not a river at all. Oh, oh, what's oh, on oh, earth? oh, Peter. <laughs> what was that? Oh, no. The invaders nobody, came. Nobody got through that gate. Would you like a brand new copy of this game sealed? No. Well. Oh, my God. For argument's sake, let's say that you would. Right. You would go to Amazon and you would pay how much money for it? Oh, sealed? I bet it's stupidly expensive. I bet it's like... Twenty-five pounds. It is twenty-eight pounds and seventy-four ah. pence. I don't know who set that pricing, especially the seventy-four pence. I think um, Martin Singer or whatever his name was, the age, the attorney. Yeah. This game dragged. Well, then... remembered Martin Singer. That was. Well, it's name. quite a memorable name. Rememberable name. <laughs> it's a very rememberable <laughs> name. What is with the UFOs? Help. The Triforce there. These games just outstay their welcome, don't oh, they? Oh, they're not really? in the air. They're, they're on the surface. They just but the shadow. Right Bad shadows. On the base of, the, on the actual underside of the pool is really confusing. Baddos. They look like they're hovering, oh. don't they? But they're not. They do. Ah, oh. 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 Are you winning yet? Oh, you, you've been winning for a while. God, not by much though. No, it's close. Close. Beachside Hang Galleria. On. Hang on a minute. What? Let me, just, let me just remind myself of the rules of this. In adventure mode, I've got, uh, who's got Beachside Galleria? Diarrhea. I think you, there's you a pill it. for that. Can, yeah, that's an infection. <sighs> Simon Spares. Oh no, that's a breakdown time. What? Apparently. I'm having a breakdown. Are you? Yeah. You're doing very well. It's really weird that they just drive on the left side of the road all the way down if they're in Americorn. They've literally just passed the, <laughs> They're supposed to have just passed their driving test. Yeah. Shopping, here I come. Shopping, okay. here I come. How do you pick up people? I don't understand. Oh, here we go. Just sort of hang around on street corners and this wait for them to jangle their keys at you. Cup, cup. I'll, I'll, I'll honk in. I'll honk in there. Uh, decorate cupcakes. Here we go. Press the correct button to decorate. A cupcake when it reaches you. Good this cupcakes sounds riveting. Earn points. Bad ones get tossed. Oh yeah, they do. Toss me. <laughs> oh no, it's a rhythm oh, game. Oh look at them! It, they're worse looking up close. So it's like a terrible. It's not even a rhythm action game. It's just. It's not even in time with the music. I'm top right for those who want to know. This was inspired. Um, this this inspired Guitar Hero. This game. Did it? Yeah yeah. That's it. Oh no, your score's going down when you do that. Oh, it's gone down by a lot. <laughs> oh no, Peter, your score! Your poor partner's like, slow down. Look at all the blood. Someone fell into the machine. <laughs> Cupcakes were made out of children. Well, it's not going great. Uh, they're on 460 now. Oh, I didn't realise my partner was putting patterns on them. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? She's missing some of them, by the way, look. <laughs> Occasionally, she'll mess one up. For some reason, just, just to make it look like a real person's doing it. Oh, it's actually getting a bit tough now. I've, I keep forgetting which button corresponds oh, to. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! X square, triangle, circle. Oh, oh boo! Piss to you, sir. Uh. There is a speed run of this game. Of course there is. The current PlayStation 2 speed running champion mm. is Jesse Lee. Jesse underscore Lee. Two first names. With the time off, how fast? Easy. Um, given that you have to do three laps minimum, I'm gonna say about half. Oh my God! There's a man what? in the car. He is way too old. Twenty-eight minutes. Forty-seven minutes and twenty-six seconds. That's a speed run. Pow! We should play it. What? Oh. Did he just give her an E or something? What? I don't know, but that whatever's going on there. It's not appropriate. No. It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Be the first player to complete 10 laps to turbo win. Turbo boost. Cycle camera, turbo boost, steer, brake, reverse, accelerate. Okay. Oh my so God, they're all look at you, wearing the up. appropriate safety gear. Yep. The, the beat, the water shouldn't be that close, probably. You ready, Peter? Micro machines, go. Oh my God, it looks bad. How does it control? <laughs> the turbo boost is quite turbo. Turbulent, turbo then. That's it. If I do a wider camera, then I can see all that. That's the... easy. Oh my god, yellow is going for it. You're gonna make yellow make you look like a chump. You're gonna let yellow make do that to you? No. Oh god. Ah. It gets confused sometimes. Who's who? It keeps flipping. Ah. Ah. it in. Oh. oh. Can I drive into the sea? Oh, no, I don't think so. There's some barriers. There's a great barrier reef there. All right. 
Yes, oh, you did it! She only drove into the wall then. Look at this lady. Go around the corner. Yeah, I did, I did! Congratulations, Peter! What, what on earth have they done with the shadows there? Look, that does not make any sense at all. It doesn't even line up with the wheels. No. Peter, would you like some reviews? Yes, because that means we're nearly done. Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley Sweet 16, sorry. Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley. Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley, is it, which one is a colon? Is it two dots or is it semicolon? It's colon, colon is two dots, semicolon has a comma on Thank the Thank you, bottom. Peter. Mary hyphen Kate and Ashley, colon Sweet 16 hyphen license to drive, received generally unfavorable. Some of my chair just came off. <laughs> The little handle just popped off. If you stand up, are you going to get shot into the scene? <laughs> it's possible, yeah. Received generally unfavorable She reviews. was really confused. Sorry, carry According on. to review aggregator Metacritic. Okay. Uh, we actually get to see an AI cycle through the oh, gift shop. <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's what I wanted. She's just driving along with, you know his name is either Chad or Brad. Gin, kind of Ginny. Friend. Hey, Ginny. Ginny. Crab Shack. Oh God, make sure make sure Jenny gets checked first. Yeah, she's she's been at the Crab Shack. She's been got crabs at the Crab Shack. Peter, what do you reckon the Metacritic score for this game? Is? Oh, 50. 49. Oh, okay. 49 percent. Close. We're getting good at this. You're pretty good at guessing Rugrats. I was. Oh no. We just stopped the camera. To, to restart it, and I realised that the passport was on the floor. Oh no! I don't know how long that's been there, but... He'll never he, get out of Russia now. He does have his papers, we assure you. Stephen Seagull. Uh, incidentally, when I stood up, my chair did not explode, so... No, it was just the handle of the handle yeah. came off, so that's fine. Peter, mm. what do you think the highest review for this game was? Mm -hmm. Oh, game over, apparently. Oh, Ashley wins. Mercifully, it's, it's done. Uh, why? I don't know. We didn't do three laps. There you are, look, loser. She's not even watching the road. She's not. She's too busy ogling Dennis. Uh, what about, um, I bet there was one high one. I bet it got like 60. Me. Bang on, it got 60! From All Game Guide. Suffers from the same problem found in other games in the genre. A lack of detailed record keeping or performance statistics to encourage replay value. Not the fact that it was just crap. Right. Just not enough statistics. <laughs> statistics would have made this game. Here's another statistic. What was the lowest? Um, oh my Christ. It is a cool cake, to be fair. What do you think it's a row frame there. They can do anything. Because we're sweet 16 and licensed to drive. That was only oh one of God, them speaking. Oh my God, their eyes from that angle. Only one of them was speaking then, but their mouths were both. Because we're sweet 16 and licensed to drive. Executive producers, Mary hyphen K Olsen, Ashley Olsen and Robert Thorne. Let's see if uh, Martin Singer. Martin there. Singer, what? <laughs> I don't think they credit Mary Kate and Ashley's attorney. Jamie Gunter Bowlware. And Jim. <laughs> Brian Wesley Bacon. These aren't real names. Oh! <laughs> Look at the letters on the bottom. <laughs> What's happened? I swear, I swear. <laughs> <It's getting faster. laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, so the lowest review. Yeah. Um, what do you think it was? Um, I think Athena Schultz rated it um, 10%. Uh, it's 33. Okay. From game now. Repetitiveness and poor controls ruin the girly goodness. This is pretty repetitive. But I think this is the best part of the game. Yeah. Oh, God. Right. Let's see if... Can you do anything? No, we're properly locked. Okay, I'm just going to press... I thought the music was changing it. I'm just going to mute that. Um, up comes the regular background screen there. I do have a little user review quiz, though. Oh! I went to Metacritic. There were a handful of user reviews, okay. which are predictably awful. Yes. We're going to start off with, uh, in no particular order, we're going to start with Ryan M. Mm. 
What do you think? Actually, I'll read you the, this is the quiz part. I don't know why I'm about to ask you. I'm going to read you their review and then I'm going to ask you what they gave it. Okay. Okay? I see. I get, I understand the quiz now. <clears throat> no matter how hot they are. <gasps> Sorry, they're called Sweet 16 in this game. Yeah, they're actual babies as well, so dis disgusting. Oh. No matter how hot, hot they, are, they are, their games will never be will never be nothing more than scrap. Will never be will will never be nothing more than scrap. Yes. So that means they are something more than so they're all right. <laughs> they're fine. Yeah. But my little sister loves it, so maybe fun for little girls. What did Ryan M give that out of 10? No matter how hot they are, their games will never be nothing more than scrap. Uh, did he give it um, 6.9? He gave it 6. Oh. So pretty close. Next up is Hotsuma21. Mm -hmm. This game rules! I love stealing cars and killing hoes! Right. Is, was he not? Maybe he was playing GTA 3 and might he been, might have been playing it. didn't realise. Yeah. What did uh, Hotsuma21 give it? Uh, 8. 10. This game rules. I love stealing cars and killing hoes. No matter how hot they are, I love killing hoes. Super awesome Dan is up next. The game feels uh, slower than other party games at times, but it's more than makes up for it in its unpredictability. The game offers little direction, which may turn off some players, but it strengthens its ability to perform as what it truly is. A party game. Ugh. The game wasn't meant for 16 year old girls, it was meant for 22 year old guys hanging out at 4 in the morning, and there are few better games for such times. What did Super Awesome Dan give it out of 10? I think he gave it. Turn it off! I can't stop Turn it! Turn it off! Out of 10. 9. Oh, okay. This game wasn't meant for 16-year-old girls, it was meant for 22-year-old guys False. hanging out at 4 in the morning. 9 out of 10. No. Final review from Dwight T. They are extremely hot, so the game gets a 10 out of 10. I think he might have given it 10 out of 10. He did give it a 10 out of 10. Did he? Also, hot was spelt with two Ts. Hot. They are extremely hot, so the game gets a 10 out of 10. Hello everybody and welcome to Worst Games Ever. Yes. This is uh this is a this is a show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Remember they're not always the worst games ever. Sometimes they're just worse, worse than, than most. most. I am going to be playing the terrible video game this week, Peter. What what you have chosen and provided it which makes me the game's victim! Any name's Ben Potter, which you didn't actually... Did I not? No, but That's it comes up on the thing. My name is select. Mr. Victim. Mr. Victim. Mr. And Victim. my name is Mr. Master. Ma my name is Master Austin. And I'm going to be the game's master today. Peter. I'm feeling under the weather. Yeah. I am ready to be plunged to a new depth of despair I didn't know was possible. Mm. Um, so uh, I've brought a game for you. Yep. And in here I've brought some relevant skionts facts uh, about the game. Yeah. Today, Ben, you'll be playing a bit of a blast from the past. Don't Tonight, know if, you, if you're aware of this. I think you are. Okay. It's Ace Lightning. Oh, there he is! Do you remember Ace? I do remember Ace Lightning. Ace Lightning. He was I used on to quite enjoy this show. UK children's television for a while, wasn't well, he? Well, I'll tell you all about him when we get going. For, when I use my science books. Science. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's from CEX. Does it have a price on it? It's got a trademark. I know the price has been removed, but oh. this sticker hasn't. So I don't know why that's happened. Okay. And um, it was free. There's not much more to say, but I hope you find a way. Was that a th was that something I should know? No, not really. It was Anastasia left outside alone. Oh, then absolutely not. Yeah, I'm all about Nickelback. Oh well, fair enough. Ben, ben is all about Nickelback. I think it's up there, isn't it? No, it's come from this side this oh, time. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Ah, ah kids. Oh. 
It didn't have the usual flowing ribbons. No, they couldn't be bothered. And also the BBC logo is all kinds of distorted. BBC. So I didn't know, I know you're going to tell me, I didn't know this was a BBC show because it was set in America, wasn't well, it? Well, I'll tell you, yeah. Well, that is We're about the sixth dimension. Oh, that's a bit loud. To the Lightning Knights. The Lightning Random Knights. Virus. Sparks. Oh, don't spoil. Oh, these are my facts. Uh, that's okay. I'll just, I'll just talk over it. Do you want to read your fact now? How does that sound? No, nah, it's, it's like fact number four. We'll wait. It's fine. I remember Skeleton Man. Yeah. He used to make sort of creaky, crunchy noises with his bones when he Ooh. moved around. It it's like me, nice. isn't it? Just getting up. Yeah. In Fear's foiled attempt to steal the amulet, it was shattered to pieces. Oh dear. Lightning Knights swear an oath to protect the amulet. Well, they failed, didn't they? Yeah, well, you let it be split He and up. His, his pointy crotch there. Yeah, and his weird symmetrical fringe. Right. Oh, that's a bit loud. There's a hero in us all. Remember the theme tune? <laughs> Not really. Ace Lightning is a third-person action-adventure game released for PS2 and PC in November 2002. Mm. Immediate second fact. Beep. It was developed by Games Lab and or Absolute Entertainment. I just I can't oh. I can't tell. This game hardly exists on the internet. Okay. And published by BBC Multimedia. Mm. And the credits also state that some of the copyrights are owned in part by Criterion. How how peculiar. Which is strange. I guess one of the developers is just a like a subsidiary of Criterion, maybe. Maybe some engine stuff. Or yeah, there. they just like borrowed some some criterion. I can make the icons turn around and then and then they stay there, look. They just stay where I left them. Oh, I see. Look at that. Yeah, we played a game that was like that. I can't remember which one it was now. This is half the they budget here. Blend into one. When you change left to right, it, it keeps the rotation it of remembers. those. We seem to be... Why is zero an option? I don't know that they know how numbers work. <laughs> What? That's really weird. A, B, or C, or type zero, type no, one, or mean, type two. I think you mean Z, A, or B. No, you're right. Yes. Um, or the phantom letter that exists before. Yeah. Absolute. Space. The nothing letter. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Ace Lightning uh, yeah. is also a TV show. It's not just a video game. Video game is based on a TV show of the same name. Uh, it's a British Cana British slash Canadian children's television series co-produced oh. by the BBC and Alliance Atlantis, right? Okay. Now, weirdly, yeah. Um, so it was originally broadcast in the UK, but also aired in other countries, including the USA, Austra Australia, Australia. Uh, New Zealand, and South Africa. Uh, but the show was filmed in Canada as part of a UK ca Canadian joint venture, but was set in America. <laughs> That is confusing why would on they, many levels. Why not just make it set in Canada? I don't know why they chose to Canada's do that. Canada's not as glamorous. They've got healthcare. Uh, can you help me decide, Peter? I can't work out if I'm, if I'm an extreme lightning knight. I don't know how hard it is. Maybe just put it on medium. Because that's elk. I don't think I'm an elk. No, that's a Canadian thing, isn't it? An elk. Would you like me to lick you, <laughs> Lieutenant? Lieutenant. Elsie. Uh, I might be a look. Elsie. Hello, Elsie. Not you. How have you been? Oh, Christ, here we go. Oh, he could fly, couldn't he? <laughs> yes, here he is flying. But it'll take more than some warped carnival to stop Ace Lightning. Yeah, it all took place in the same carnival, didn't it? It did. There was some petty... We'll get to that. Petty high school drama during the day. Yeah. With this, with this kid that no one cared about that we were meant to relate to because we were also children. We were the kids that no one cared about. And then there was, there was just this carnival that somehow was closed but was never demolished. Where the, the... What am I looking at? A piece. Is this some kind of bottle opener? It's just showing you. It is, isn't it? It's like the Ace Lightning official bottle there opener. There he is. He saw it. Oh. He's got some, some kind of spike. I can't rotate. He's going he's gonna to pin the tail on the donkey, I think. I oh, I can't really... It, it, it's fighting back. Is it? Yeah. Now I'll, there oh, he look is. at that face. Oh, look. I'm not touching anything. Wee! Weird. Oh, it's still trying, but it it's can't get through the wall. Uh, so I'll give you some carnival Ooh. context now. Oh my god, what great light lighting, lightning lighting. You are Ace Lightning. That's me. The foremost of the Lightning Knights, on a mission to defeat the evil Lord Fear and send him and his gang back to prison in the sixth dimension. Okay. The only way to capture Lord oh. Fear is to collect all the pieces of the magical amulet of Zor, which was what that bottle opener was. Right. Uh, which he has hidden throughout the Carnival of Doom. A scary yep. place full of exaggeratedly imposing tents, rides, and sideshows, 
with distorted geometry and disturbing lighting effects. How many? Dis- I don't know if that's just an excuse for how bad and the game looks. And distorted and disturbing and distorted. You must guide Ace Lightning around the eerie halls of the carnival and into its four zones: the ghost town, fun park, the oh. circus, oh. and the house of horror. Oh! Uh, so that's the synopsis of the game, yeah. which doesn't feature. <gasps> oh! Oh! What was that? That was weird, wasn't it? Can I get him to do that to it? Nice! Oh, no. He opens his mouth! Oh! <laughs> uh, the game doesn't actually feature... A fragment of the amulet of Zor. Let's just autosave real quick and take up the whole screen. Save successful. Mm. And you're back in. The oh. game doesn't actually... Fe- oh, there's his head. <laughs> there it is. It's like Doom. Uh, it doesn't actually feature any of the human characters from the TV show. It's just about the character in the carnival. I don't know that I want to enter Google as Big Top. Do you want to enter Google as Big Top? I don't want to, go. I don't want to enter Google as Big Top. Google wants you in his Big Top. Okay. Oh, oh whoa! He's really keen. <laughs> he wants to go into Google as Big Top. Google. Where is my clown of mayhem? Google. Oh, there he is. Sorry, you were saying, Peter, I cut you off. So I wonder if, I think actually, I've just suddenly realised that I think this game that we're playing is meant to be the game from the TV, so I'll get to that, but from the TV okay. show. So this isn't set in the TV show where the game had come to life in the real world and there were various high school hijinks. I think this is meant to be the game that the boy was playing right before it came to life. I I've suddenly realised, because there's no humans in it. Also, can we all just take a moment to appreciate just the amount of the absolute... The trampoline. Well, not the locked trampoline, <laughs> which is fine. The absolute <laughs> BS HUD that takes up so much screen yeah, real estate. it's enormous. And just doesn't mean anything. You could have just squeezed it into one corner. Definitely. What am I looking at? Help me, Ace. Oh, absolutely nothing. Okay. Is so, this the way out? No, uh, uh, don't go through the big vagina. Oh, actually, yeah, do go go through the big vagina. I think, oh, no, where did I come in? I must have seen some strange vaginas if I think that's what one looks like. D- well, I mean, it's not a vagina. It's called the Ring of Fear, so... Well, I mean, I Wrong call them... Hole. That's the same thing for me. I'm in pole position! <laughs> what girl noise was that? See you later! Not... My mum does that. When she says something sarcastic or ironic, not she adds. She adds. She doesn't say it quite like. She just says not, but she adds it in as though I don't understand sarcasm. So she'll go. That's great. Oh, it's a nice day to go out for a walk, and then I'll sort of laugh, and then she'll go, not. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay, mum. That's great. I do. Yeah, sarcasm is good. a thing. That's a good mum. Yeah. So the TV series, just to clarify for everyone at home who's really confused, what I was just talking about about what this game is and isn't, the TV series follows the life of a British teenager, Mark Hollander. Oh yeah, he was, yeah, he he moved to America. He moved to America in a Canadian TV series. One stormy night, Mark plays his favorite video game, the fictional Ace Lightning and the Carnival of Doom, which I think is the game we're now playing. Right. But it was released after the TV show. This is just called Ace Lightning. Yeah. Uh, and he stumbles across a mysterious seventh level, which is not meant to exist. Oh. Is it Googler's big, big tent? Uh, his Googler's, Googler's clown's pocket. Yeah, Googler's trouser tent. A lightning bolt strikes yes. the antenna on his roof, and through an electrical surge, the characters of the game come to life! I don't know why the antenna is linked up to his yeah, console. That's, that's weird, isn't it? Ace hires Mark as his sidekick to fulfil the game's objectives in the real world, and Mark's life is turned upside down! No. His duty as a lightning knight uh, affects his school grades <laughs> and social life, often forcing him to make excuses to his family and friends. It was like Peter Parker, except he was just going to school and fancied the cheerleader, rather than was actually saving all of New York. And with the sort of levels of BBC production that one can only expect from not only the BBC, but BBC children's productions. Yeah. Which were always a bit wonk. I don't know what this means. Yes. Does this just give me... Am I meant to go that way, or am I I I meant to go that way? Oh, we've got some more. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, a double jump. I mean, a no, triple jump. No, triple jump. There is, just to set your mind at rest, there, there will be combat in this game. Fantastic. It's not just going to be you platforming from place to Ooh. place, collecting okay. gubbins. But I love gubbins. Yes! Yes! 
What? Oh, you can't climb on the rigging. What was I meant to do? I don't know. So it was like a door open now that you've collected all the coins or something. Well, I think said, that might be how it works. He said catch me, but there's no, he's not gone anywhere. Uh, Colour me confused as, as, as confused all Confused underscore dude. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's open. Oh, there you go. You Kill all baddies to make five coins. <sighs> okay, time to do some murdering, five I suppose. Coins? What? That, oh, that slow motion lie in there. And, right. oh, oh my god. Wow, look at that guy. A big sexy man. And a bear on a ball. An even sexier man there. Yeah. This is now no longer an accurate representation of what a circus actually is, because you can't do animals in circuses anymore. In the... You can't do animals in circuses anymore. Well, no, not in circuses. No. Just backstage, you can do them. What's this stuff that I'm picking up here? Uh, what, what, what it? Oh, it's gone. No. Okay, well. My, oh, I'm, uh -oh. I'm out. You're going to have to punch the lion to death now. That's fine, I'm ace lightning. It breathes fire and throws its teeth at you. Get him. Oh my god, its teeth fell out. Oh my god. Oh, the, oh. oh why did that happen? <laughs> That's horrible. Game? Yeah, you can't have lions and elephants and stuff in your circus. Isn't it? Oh, What's hello. His, oh, was, oh no, he fell out. His little he feet died. went, did a he dangle. He did a little wiggle. But you can still have like horses and dogs and, and stuff. I went to see a quaint little sort of countryside Victorian circus once. Oh yeah. Uh, about a year ago. Um, what, what did that entail? In fact, a fan saw me there. It was oh. it's called Gifford Circus. It happens Gifford. every year, or maybe I think twice you mean a year. Gifford. Circus. Gifford. Sorry, you're absolutely yeah. right. Uh, a fan saw me and said, "Did I just see you at Gifford Circus?" I was like, "Yes, you did." Um, and it's all kind of quite old-fashioned and like traditional. Yeah. Apart from the fact that there's no huge lions in it and they have like a chicken that like runs around the ring and does like clever things Aww. or clever dogs that can do stuff or Cle Shetland ponies. Welcome to my clever dog circus. Yes. Am I allowed? Where we have uh, clever dogs. They're the cleverest of dogs. So it's nice because you know that they're sort of, you know, domesticated animals slash mm. farm animals and, you know, they're easy to look after. They're not feeling like, why am I not in the jungle? I don't why are you understand. poking me with a chair? Stop poking me with a chair. I will eat you. Stop. God. Leave me alone. Stop it. Peter, I'm having um, I'm having a difficult time. You and your heart have got issues. He, yes. Oh. Oh, it's not very <laughs> It's one of those games. <laughs> it's one of those games where they just decide. You have to give it three weeks now. notice before you jump. Yeah. Here we go. I intend to jump game. Oh, that's hard, because he just... Oh, I, I can see the way he moves in the air, just the way... I you... stopped pushing forwards, because I was like, well, I'm on top of it now. I think he just stops instantly. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Oh! Yeah. Well done. Okay. This way now? Yeah. Oh. My... <laughs> <laughs> we need a closer look. And run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in, run in. God, that's not right. This is why we're not allowed animals in the UK. So, well, hang on, what am I doing? <laughs> oh no, Ace has done a poo. He was scared of the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hang on, what's riding it? There's some little ferrets on a on a. There's no one riding it, that's just a spin cycle. Those are boots. No, this they're where ferrets. They Kill it. Kill it. Oh no! I don't know that I want to. You do. Look, there's ferrets oh. riding it. So am I technically rescuing the ferrets? Yeah. They want to get off. Look at that buckle. No! How many? Oh no, the ferrets flopped. Oh, I and literally, one fell off. literally killed everything. Well, I've started, so I'll finish. How close can I get to this elephant? Oh, I punched it to death. Oh, the flop. Just what I just needed. Just what I needed. He said, having murdered the. Oh my god. Oh, someone just. Oh, I'm just gonna go get all these coins because I'm assuming that's the. That's. Oh god, the monkey kicked. <laughs> oh, me. look at it. It's really involved combat, this. <laughs> Sounds like someone getting into a hot bath. <laughs> oh my god, the exorcist is coming at you. Oh, I don't like that. Quick, go, Ace. Ace, run. 
<laughs> no, it's fine. Oh. It's actually quite nice, actually. Yeah, oh, it's relaxing. Mm. Bit of radox, muscle soak. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, hello. oh hello, Ruth. Can we get out? Welcome to Boundary Break, guys. Come on. Let me out, game. Just like the TV show. Oh, let me what out. What was that through there? I don't like it. I don't like it either. This makes me uncomfort. No, there's just no, there's no way. No. Well, I guess find the coins. This is fun. A move on. I'm having fun. Oh, he's invincible. Some kind of invincible monkey. Invincible monkey. An undead monkey. An undead monkey. Which invincible. They are very good. I like that. Invincible. How do I? There's got to be. Oh, oh, hello. <sighs> this is the other area. Oh. Uh, characters yeah. in the TV series include fellow lightning knights called Random Virus. Yeah, that's a bad name, isn't it? Yeah, that's the kind of thing that you get when you click on a here we go a tab on a video downloader <laughs> yes. page. It opens a new tab. And Free says, download. Caution! You've got Random Virus Porn Virus detected on your computer. We've gifted you a free porn virus. <laughs> also, a character called Spark, spelt with an X, much like the much loved bug of the same electrician. name. Electrician. Bug of the same name. Is that all one word? Bug, bug of the same bug name. Bug of the same name, yeah. Piss off. Um, as well as Fear's carnival henchmen, including Kilobyte, Ooh. Staff Head. Oh, I forgot his one left. Oh, there's a still an elephant, the last elephant <laughs> in the world. The last one. Uh, Staff Head, which is just a head on a stick. Staff head. Yeah, staff head. That's, That's stupid. Pig face. Who had a pig face? Right. Googler. Googler. Uh, Rot gut. Oh. Duff Kent, which oh. is just two Simpsons words that have been mashed Duff together. Duff Kent. Yeah. Duff Kent and Giant George Wayne. <gasps> Giant George Wayne. That might be the the weightlifting man. Well, he's dead now. We killed him. We've killed Giant George Wayne. Oh. <laughs> Oh, maybe the elephant was Giant George Wayne. Oh, well. Oh, no, know. I don't like that. That's horrible. I haven't got much health, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Careful. Careful, Ace. Got him. Who's this Oh, fella? hello, Tiny Tiger. He's frightening. I can't get a better look at him. Come jump. a little bit closer. A little jump. There he is. Oh, he's got oh, a horn. He's got a... Oh, he's a hat. Mohawk. Oh, hello, that's moving. Oh, you have to go up into the... I've killed everyone here, so now I'm allowed to... Hello? Where are you? Has he got the Illuminati symbol on his back? Yeah, he has. No! I want to believe. But I can't. No. I hope there's an elephant up here. Oh, more coinage. Oh, oh I can't see a bloody thing, oh. game. Oh. 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 It's fine. I can't. For oh, God's sake. The great, isn't There it, it is. Oh, you got a new gun. What's that? Why? Oh, he's not happy. Oh, you've zapped him. It's a stun gun. Oh, well, that's it's a taser. What I wanted to do. Oh, his face. Oh, he's dead. Now. Uh, do I take full damage? Oh, I've got 61 coins. Great. Oh, no. There's nowhere else to go. Try try the doors now, I think. Okay. You've... Wee! Yes. It is slightly troubling that you've only got six that you've got 61 coins and it's not weird. 60. It's a weird amount, isn't it? Oh. Oh, oh. oh, thank... oh off he goes again. Oh, Goodness me, it's more. So the whole game is set in this environment, is Wait, it? Wait, what, what was that? Is it some sort of elephant? No, there. <gasps> it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. What's he going to do to me? This one's a biped for some reason. Look at his weird eyes. Is he wearing a nappy? How close can I get to this elephant? Will he punch you with his big cherry hands? <laughs> Oh, oh my he god, will. he really hurt. You're not aggressive though. It's like God of War. You're going to pull his head off. <laughs> Come on then. The elephantors. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you stab them with their own tusks. Oh god, I oh, skipped you something. Skipped something I very about, important. I'm I was sure. about to fire at this boy. And we have got a fact that it's probably best kept until the next cutscene. So oh. I kind of want to keep it until the to to the end of the level. Do you know when the next cutscene comes? Well, probably the end of the level. To be honest, but I don't know how how far away. Oh, the platforming is not good. God. Here I go. I'm a lightning knight. Yeah, look at me. I'm a What? Wife. Is he just launched his fake teeth at me? Yeah, they shoot their teeth at you. I needed that. I didn't. I needed that. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's all the coins. 104. Okay. Seems Is that a bouncy thing? Oh. 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 oh, great. 
Oh, great. This one. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's the horny it. boy. Excuse me? The horny boy. With his horn. With his head horn. Head horn. Head horn. Head horn. Oh, here's another one. Oh, it's Curious George or what's, whatever. What's his attack? <laughs> oh, I love it. Great stuff. Sit down. Biff, baff, boff. Uh, I'll what take do you think it. this game averaged? Hmm. I'm going to save my other fact until a cutscene. Or if not, uh, it'll just go at the end of the end of the gameplay. I think this game averaged... Uh, 51%. Oh, well. Ooh, ooh. Oh, just boundary broke. Never mind. I mean, you're kind of close. Yeah. But then again, the average score I've got here is from GameSpot user reviews, 19 user reviews. Okay. This game averaged, according to 19 user reviews on GameSpot, 55%. Oh, that's high. It is pretty high. Top. But this also included the PC reviews they just bundled it all together because you know that's fine yeah sure why? um and they didn't say which ones were which so i oh a bear now a ball bear a ball bearing got the ball bears yeah so you've got 150. oh yeah so i have so that's good that that bodes well it sounds like it might be you Unlocks. might now be going to the final area unlock a special cutscene. oh yeah that would be good oh, well, <laughs> <if you> guys... <laughs> gotta go gotta go to goober's big Big dick tent. Google's Google's asshole. Yeah. This way. Oh, defeat the baddies in the cage. But, okay. Billy. Oh my God! It's Billy. A, it's an actual bit. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just get rid of the the chads first. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake, Ace! Now's not the time. Jesus. Don't die. You've only got one life, apparently. Oh no, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Oh, it th they throw juggling. Oh my like god, you. they are actual billies. What they're, are they on? They're even the right colour. Some sort of platforms. They're just big jab of the hooks. Oh no. Really? I didn't know you were in the game. Billy! Ooh. Oh. oh god. Sorry, Billy. But you've gone too far. Oh! Oh! Oh, too fast. Boo! <laughs> 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 Out of play. Oh, Billy Ray Walrus there. Fantastic. The I'm highest so glad review. Of uh, those uh, user reviews, uh, what do you think? What do you think the highest score for this was? Probably a perfect ten, right? Surprisingly, no. Oh. But three users gave it ninety percent. Nine out of ten. That seems about right. Oh, oh my what is God. happening? Just getting... I can't see anything. It's not good, is it? No, it's, it's just very repetitive. So isn't three it? users. Oh God, I ran out of light in my Ace Lightning. I'm dead. Oh no. Three users gave it ninety percent. Just right. what I needed. Just what, what I needed. <laughs> What did you think? What did you think the lowest score was? Was it a zero? Was it a sick making zero? No, it was a one out of ten. Oh. Like zero. Maybe zero is not an option on GameSpot reviews. Okay. So ten percent. That was by one user. Mm -hmm. uh, however, on GameFAQs, I did find a user review uh, that actually had some some text with it because all these others were just scores. Just scores. Uh, so, and this was for the PS2 version, confirmed. Oh, you found a bottle opener, have you? Yeah, got another bottle opener. Fantastic. Look at the shadow, is just a ball yeah. on the floor, that was good. What? That's a great angle. So is this the end of the level? Please. Please let it be the end of the level. Now, if a cutscene plays, I want you to listen to the voice of this man. Yes, another fragment! Does that voice sound familiar? I'll get onto that review later. Does that voice sound familiar? A base lightning? Yeah. Um, not really. Ace Lightning in this game is voiced by Tom Clark Hill, who plays Cortez and the multiplayer announcer. Oh my goodness! In Time Split Street, he actually does. It does sound like Sergeant Cortez. It's not actually him. It's not him. No, it's a lie. Oh, that's what? a lie fact. That's why a hot and fresh science lie. Why would you say that? Just because I thought it sounds so much like it doesn't sound like him oh. sometimes in the oh. cutscenes. Actually, uh oh. Oh, but uh. The actual multiplayer announcer in Future Perfect yeah. sounds just like this guy. I'm going to do some side-by-sides now. Okay. Yes, another fragment. Killing spree. Just what I needed. That's gotta hurt. This place has Lord Fear written all over it. Open head surgery. But it'll take more than some warped carnival to stop Ace Lightning. Chimpicide. Chimpicide. Exactly there you the go. same. Exactly the same. I'm, I can't play any more of this. I don't, no? want, to, I don't want to play anymore. Right, okay. Well, um, the game pa game facts review from one user said, even though the characters have the Sims face look, bad, even though the characters have the Sims face look, they are still have good designs. Oh my God. 
The most interesting thing of the game is, comma, is that the story events are in comic strips, which is entertaining, and also give a hint of what you can expect during the upcoming level. Oh. Ace Lightning is available on PC and Game Boy Advance too, but PS2 has the best version, I think. Ace Lightning is quite fun and challenging, and suitable for most ages. And the score was 100%. Of course. Flawless. Of course. Even though, even though there are these issues, even though there's the all these issues. Game, clearly, that person has played the Game Boy Advance and the PC versions as well, a real scholar of Ace Lightning. Well, as far as I can tell from the Ace Lightning wiki, which does exist, the Game Boy Advance version is completely different to this and the PC. I think the PS2 and PC versions are basically ports yeah. of each other. Uh, but the Game Boy Advance is totally irrelevant. It just happens to be a game called Ace Lightning, and so I don't know why they're making the comparison there. Oh, okay. But uh, there it goes. Okay, fantastic. Well, just hide that there. That's the TV remote. Shh, don't tell anyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Worst Games. Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games that are all been presented by you. you. Hello, I am Peter. And I'm Ben. Yes, uh, part of the show is that we have two roles that have to be filled by us two people. Yes. Uh, I am this week's Games Victim. Which means you're playing the terrible video game, Peter. What oh. I have brought yeah. as the Games Master. How frightening. How are you today, Ben? Well, I'm a bit I'm a bit terrified, Peter. Right? Because there's there's two handsome mans mans trapped in that camera. Do you see him? Oh right, that I see him. You see the two handsome mans? Looking back at us, yeah. Look at him. What they how are we gonna get him out? Um I uh ooh, I dunno. What's how, up? It's us, the handsome man from have, inside your TV. Do you have a suggestion for how how we're gonna get him out? I think we turn it off. Oh. I think we just turn it off. No, but then the yeah, it's only we've only been running for one one minute and something. Well, that at the end okay. of the episode. No, they won't. There's loads. There's Some loads people of pay them. for this for two days, two days early on Patreon. Well, then they'll get this two days early on Patreon. True. They'll still have it. They'll still have one and a half minutes of footage earlier so, than the other people. So you know what's That's the problem? Fun. We've got some friends. We have got us. some. I was just about to say. Should we start from left to right to right to left? As yeah. Well? Okay. We've got Scandal Penguin. Steven Seagal. Billy Ray Dolores. Uh, John Claude Van Lam. <laughs> and Billy Ray Walrus. And Dick Machinko. And the Science Facts box, which I'll open in a minute and uh, and pump some hot fresh Science Facts into the world. All pump about them. the video game we're playing today. Yeah. There's a prop. There's a prop. I don't know how, what this is going to do to the green screen, but can you put that on for us, son? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. No questions asked. Is it? And I could wear it as a beard. You a could. Beard. A great big bushy beard. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh. I feel sexy and free, like, that it's raining on me. Those two handsome men have got even more handsomer now. Look, oh. look at this guy. Party on, Garth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Today, Garth, you're playing VIP starring Pamela Anderson as Valerie Irons. Pamela Anderson? Oh, because I do, because with the glasses, it is a bit Garthy, isn't it? I it know he's a square. You're also they? so much taller now because of, your, because of your volume. Yeah. You, well, slump like me. She had slump, quite slump down. voluminous hair. I say had, she's still alive. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but certainly there was an era where her hair was about. You know, it made her a 10% extra extra tall. Yeah, extra 50s worth of hair. Yeah. Um, so here we go, lock and load. Here's your shot to team up with bombshell bodyguard Valerie Irons. Valerie Irons? Valerie Irons. Valerie Irons. I mean, Ver Valerie Irons. Jeremy Irons. Valerie Irons. Valerie Irons. Valerie Irons. Valerie Irons. She's just got quite tall hair. She's got big hair, yeah. I don't, I've heard of this actually, this game. I may have even seen a bit of it, but uh, I don't actually know what VIP is. I've never heard of it outside of the context of bad video games. We'll learn all about it soon. It'll be right in there. Yeah, it is. Should we, should we go? Let's pop him in. Where's he gone? Oh. Whoa. It's Ubisoft's grungy phase. Hey, we can be never soft. We'll put a, a nail right through this eyeball. Watch, watch me kickflip, Peter. Wh Whoa! Still doing it. You st you st I'm still d under and the table. I'm still land it. Oh, oh, oh! God, I look just like her, don't I? Do some poses. 
<laughs> oh, That's man. what she does. Look at this fella. That guy. With his JPEG face. <laughs> he wasn't in most of the bottom left. He's one. got he, tiny arms. He rolled out of frame immediately, and what's he does the, have tiny what's arms. With the tiny arms. Yeah. Oh, and she, her top has just been painted on. It's like one of the early wrestling games creation suits. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Clothes is just, it's just a it's just paint. Skin. It's just paint on their skin. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, what was in there? I think it was a petrol. That's not how you spell Valerie. Well, the music's gone very quiet. Shoot him. Mr. X. Oh, God <laughs> damn. Did that man just explode? I think so. Can we just get a zoom on that boy in the background just firing indiscriminately? That was awesome. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's fine. He's okay. Oh, oh. what is that? <sighs> <sighs> so even though she's the sort of the hero. Yes. P Pam 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 Land Pam Pamela Anderson. Pamela Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. She still get caught gets caught by the man because she's she's still a woman right so she's, she's still a woman yeah. uh, no there is a reason for that we'll get to that in a bit okay. vip is a video game based off the television show of the same name starring pamela pa Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. Yeah. It was published by Ubisoft in August 2002 for the PlayStation 2, PC, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. There was also a PS1 version of this, which okay. is what the majority of the facts are for, because this game is sort of a ghost in that I can't find it on Wikipedia. I can't really find any information anywhere. I had to look all over to discover that there was apparently even a PC Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance version. And even then, that line doesn't list the fact that there's a PS1 version, which I know there is, because we're going to be reading the reviews of it later on. Oh, okay. So science facts were a bit hard to come by, so I've got various sort of product descriptions from Amazon and so on, because there's no definitive... There's just no definitive post about this anyway. Well, there's something about this season, if you like, of uh, Worst Games Ever. You know, we those of you been following us for a while now, we've done this across several channels mm. at this point. Something about this year in particular, where every game we do just does not exist. Either, you know, Wikipedia-wise or review-wise, the number of times we've had to just do user reviews is crazy. Yeah. It's uh, it's been a tricky one, which is why we're going to be oh, oh. It's why we're going to be, I think, reopening submissions mm, soon, yeah. albeit for a limited time. To stay, stay, play close attention, y'all. Vip office. This is Doctor Kindle. Doctor Kindle. I'm in the middle of an operation. I have to finish reattaching Mike Ruthless's nose. Mike Ruthless's nose. Ruthless. Yeah, sir. Stay calm, sir. Uh, protect you, Mike Ruthless, and his nose. Oh, look at them in the background. <laughs> bit of bit of levity there in a very this dangerous situation. How do I look? What? What? He's got his, his nose isn't on at the moment. He's got no nose, and also you're just wearing a night. Are you not wearing a nightgown? Is that not what that is? Oh God, it's is that very. Not what that is? Yeah, I don't know. It's very angular. It's very well. No, I was going to say grainy. Everything's oh. all. It's like the pointer list movement. Oh yeah, look at those, look at the lines, they're all jagged. Yeah. Oh, God, so, so grainy. You might as well call this Uncle Ben's Pamela Anderson's VIP for all the grains <laughs> that are in it. Sure, whole grains. Look at the busyness of the rope damage. Just, oh! A heated fight is just a blink away. To unleash your fighting... A heated fight is just, just a blink, blink away. away. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, look oh. at this, look at this agent man. I hope you're excited to see more of this agent man, Peter. That specific, yeah. Look it, how much money you're making, holy boy. Oh my God. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if this is the agent man who is in the entire game. He just looks, <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped. He just did a pirouette. Yeah. Oh. It's an emergency situation, Peter. I'm pressing it. Oh, oh you got to press X first. X first. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, quick, fill it up. Excellent. E, excellent. Wow. Oh, the trouble roll. Oh, we've they're made still... 36 grand and we've not even entered the, the premises yet. They're still firing though. Ready to kick some serious butt? Well, while you do this, would you like the... <laughs> oh my God. Would you like the Amazon product description? Yeah, sure. Because there's not much else to talk about really. Well, especially given that you can't hear Pamela over so, the hello? sound. Hello? The, the electric guitar that she sounds... She said, now let's rock and roll. It sounds exactly... <laughs> Like the same riff that's in, um, you know, King from Tekken, Leopard Head Boy, oh, yeah. Jaguar Man. Yeah, yeah. His music on like Tekken 3 or maybe Tekken Tag or something sounds just like that. Here's a little side by side. <laughs> Told you. Wow, look yeah. at that. So you got a fact, have you there? In VIP, players take the role of Valerie Irons and are equipped with an array of exotic weapons, each more outlandish than the one before. 
Is that what it says? The yep. one before. Than the one before. Not the last. Valerie's objective is to protect the rich and famous of California. A different movie star calls upon the player to utilize Valerie's special skills in each of 30, 30 rigorous missions. Got this him. isn't going to be a rail shooter the no, whole time. No, it? it'll, yeah, it'll be fine. God. Assisting Valerie are other members of VIP who appear as non playable characters and offer specialized advice in their respective fields. I think I just gonna... maced him. Uh, who offers specialized advice in their respective fields. Brains and beauty intelligence agent Tasha Dexter, live wire explosion specialist Nikki Franco, muscle bound Johnny Lowe, weapons expert and fashion maven Quick Williams. Fashion what? Maven? Fashion maven. That's a word I've not... I've heard it like once in my entire life, I think. As in maybe the short-lived wrestler from the early Oh yeah, 2000s. I think that's probably that is what I've heard it from. Also, his name is Quick Williams, which is great. And computer whiz Kay Simmons joined the mix. The game offers, are you ready? Yeah. Complete freedom of movement and no. the option of a third person perspective, as well as a subjective view depending upon gameplay. And Valerie packs specific weapons for each missions and permanent weapons for close combat fights. So we are gonna... There will be some mixed gameplay. What's she doing? Where did that go? Is that a grenade? She got a grenade. Throw it. What are it. you doing with that? Whoa, where did it go? It just you... flew off to the oh. side. Wow! They were blown towards the explosion. That's not how... That's oh. why it's called an explosion. That's we... not how it works. Oh! Whoa! She's too fast. Oh, oh the snapping into place. <laughs> oh, we're in the clinic now. Ooh. Oh! Oh, he stood up real quick. Spooky. Uh, happy October, everyone. Look at that spooky boy in the back. Oh, he died. Ha happy October, everybody. Yeah, welcome to the Halloween special. Spooky boy Can't even see the skull, just the hips. What? What's happened? Did she just get shot twice? Yeah, I think she got shot in, right in the implants. Sorry, hang on. What's happened? How, how is she moving? Everyone else is stationary. What's going on? I'm, are we missing something? What the hell is happening? Is she a time traveler? What? 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 What is going on? I don't understand. What? <laughs> she just kicked it at Pamela. Oh, I, I think Pamela had her hand in the air. I think that was the point. But it, everyone was so frozen as a statue that it looked like they were... We gotta check out this guy's whole crib. Not even moving through space time. Oh my god. Oh my... Who okayed these walking animations? Look at that! What the... F they're not even, they're being shot at and they're still... <laughs> this is ridiculous. They're awesome. so big, those guns as well. Get them, get them, Pam. Bit like, bit like these ones. Oh, you got to... All right, oh. <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah. You could, you could carve a president's head in these. What does that mean? Whoa, look oh. at him go. Oh, he's gone. Oh, we don't get to watch all of it. I think he'll have made it down the stairs. No, he's gone. No, he's, he's gone. gone. He's just gone. <laughs> Where is... This my my promised free complete freedom Com of movement, complete freedom of movement, and subjective camera. I swear to God, if like in the next level or the oh, next. Oh no, she's got another grenade inside the house. Whoa! She didn't even throw it. It was just there. It went off on his face, and he was just <laughs> clutching his nose. Oh, his nose fell off. This guy can reattach it. Doctor Mantis Toboggan. Here we are. Yeah. Look at his horror. What is a man <laughs> in a tree? <laughs> no. If they wanted him dead, why didn't they kill him already? Or maybe they don't. Were they, are they shooting at the yeah, he's shooting at the ladies? They've just planted man.png in the... Wow, well, <laughs> now we can't get you. <sighs> oh my god. Damn it. Oh, I guess because he doesn't want to shoot the hostage. You made it. Nice to meet you. Where is that babelicious Mike Ruth? Oh no. Get your mind on the game, Pamela. Pamelon. Pamelon Durson. It's his nose I'm worried about. They took him before I could finish. Oh, he's got no nose. How does Still. he smell? We've got company. Awful. Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the goddamn car. That was the front. Listen to the engine. Hit him. Whoa, hang on, they're not... <laughs> God! So that's the end of the level, and there was no freedom of movement whatsoever. Absolutely... Bugger all. Would you like another science fact? You're off. It's there's no there's no stopping it. Oh yeah, they change come. gear for God's sake. They look like from the the Matrix. They do look the like Matrix. It. There's neon and what's the other one called? Uh, Gemini, Mercury. Yeah, big Papa Smurf. Yeah. Well, she, she's in the car. Her hair's just going through the car. Throw a wheel. Where did you get that? It's the spare. 
I hope it blows up for some reason. How did she get it out though? There's... They're so heavy as well, she would not be able to lift that over her head. There's a... There's... Not because she's a woman, just because no one can. Just because she's weak. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Didn't even break his windscreen. Oh, now the, now the Jerry Here can. we go. She's, got, she's thrown it and now she's going to shoot it in... Oh, no, she's not. She's going to look at it. Okay, okay. We'll get would you like there. to learn about VIP the TV show? Mm -hmm. I'm going to learn you about VIP the TV show. Okay. No question. Yeah. VIP was an American action comedy drama starring Pamelon. What's happening? A man threw away his Uzis and pulled out two more Uzis from his <laughs> pocket. <laughs> <laughs> starring Pamelon Durson. Created by J.F. Lawton, the series aired in syndication for four seasons from 1998 to 2002. Anderson stars as Valerie Irons, a woman who accidentally... A woman? Who accidentally <laughs> saves a celebrity and then is hired by a real bodyguard agency, VIP, a.k.a. Valerie Irons Protection, as a famous figurehead while the rest of the agency's professionals work to solve cases. So she's actually just there to be famous. Right. And uh, and the other people do all the work. Although she's done a fair, fair work here. Uh, her yeah. lack of investigation skills end up defeating the antagonists in every episode. Oh, so she wasn't... Oh. So she's not meant to be good. Oh. She's meant to be bad. So that's why the man caught her. That's why the man caught her. So she's not meant to be like breaking the mold. <laughs> oh, breaking the mold and being like, hey, this woman can be a cool action hero too. No. Don't, it's not just your Arnold, your Arnold Stallones out there. Is that the sound of furious typing? Slip out and join me. We're going to Venice Beach. I think it might be. So do you reckon these are glamour shots or like actual shots from the show? I mean, they, they say VIP on oh. them, but it's hard to tell with pa 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 Pamel and Pamel and Pamel and Derson. P Pamel and her son. It's perfect. They'll never think to look at a gym. Oh my God! Look cool. At I can work my abs. <laughs> Oh, what are Whoa. we doing? Is there's another guy oh, in a another tree? tree, man. What's he got? Is that listening device? Oh, the blocky Humvee. The, uh, the what? He's so small, I mean. Shoot the car's tire to stop it. Shoot Do him. You think you got the spot? Use you know, yeah, tire. I'll shoot him. Copy that? I copy that. Hello? Oh, you missed. He's now getting in the car again. You idiot. idiot. There's just random moments where it it's, it sort of goes, Whoa! but it stays Whoa! really still for her, most of the time. Is that her taking a breath? Whoa! <laughs> oh, for God. Welcome to, for God's sake. Look at this clown. Has his hat still on? Uh, oh, here he comes. Come on, quick, William. No, this is muscle bound Johnny Lowe. Muscle bound. Yeah. Oh. Get it's a it. lot of quick time events just to dodge one leg. Oh no, there it, that's what it all translated into. Look at his bad face. He's got a knife. Oh. He got him. Oh, he's in he here now. Him. What does Don Macabre want, Mr. Bad Guy Mobster? Don Macabre. He wants Dr. Kendall dead. What language was that? He blackmailed Macabre's nephew. <laughs> no one messes with the Don's family. Kendall is marked for death. Bad, Dr. It's like Nathan Ackerman. Nathan Ackerman was raised in the West End. Anyway, here's a here's a science fact for you. Mm -hmm. uh, here are the Amazon product dimensions for this game: uh, 19 centimeters by 13.6 centimeters by 1.4 centimeters. Uh, it weighs 113 grams. Mm. Uh, so there you go. So there you go. It's it's 1.4 centimeters thick. A PlayStation box. That's a that's a, an actual fact. There. That's an, a real fact, and it's repeatable for future shows as well. Yeah, we could probably include that one in almost every mm. every show that we do. How, how wide is it? Oh, it's 1.4 centimeters. Oh. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of uh, bollocks going on there's right now. Real, there's a load of bollocks. Yeah, Come on! I'm just going to skip it. La Convention Center. Oh, that's E3! Yeah. It's E3! There it is, everyone! It's actual E3! Yeah. I don't think you could get anywhere near E3 with a gun, to be honest. <laughs> Well, it's not E3 all year round, is it? No, other times of the year it's gun. Shoots the dustbin. Do they say dustbin in America? God America? knows where this was. I mean, it just says Ubisoft. Who knows where this was developed? Why don't I just shoot the man? Pew. What was that noise? Huh? Someone shoot. <laughs> Wouldn't he be more interested in the sound of the gunshot rather than the small sound of the ricochet? Or is it like a silenced <sighs> sniper rifle? I, just, I don't think it is. I just don't know with these guys. So he heard... And then he had a little 
next to him. And what was that noise? I'll investigate the bin first. Here's another science fact for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Crappy Games Wikipedia gives many reasons why it sucks. In fact, there were eight reasons. <laughs> Is that, is that an actual section on the page? Yeah, why, why it, it sucks, sucks. yeah. Okay. Uh, including the lifeless graphics, awful music, the fact that sometimes the enemies will stare straight at a wall, and false advertising. The front cover has Pamela holding a gun, but in the manual it says that she hates guns. False advertising. Which is why she doesn't use guns. I don't think she uses guns in the show either. Oh. Or or in the game, for that matter. So everyone else uses the guns. But she's posing with a gun on the cover. Strange. <coughs> I'm That's allergic to false allergic advertising. Allergic to false advertising there. Her face. <coughs> I'm allergic to her face as well. Yeah, all ah. these allergies. It's all kicking off. Get him. Uh, you have to be so... You have to be pixel... <laughs> for God's sake. Jack Napier is really, like, filling me with lead right now. Please! Are you actively fighting against the controls there to get it in the server? Yeah. It's God. way... Because it's really oversensitive. So the moment you move it towards the thing, it overshoots. There he is! Ah! Oh, I'm blind! It's an actual E3 attendant there. There's a proper neck beard with the... With the fedora. With the fedora and the ponytail. And the photophobia. So Why where's the Last of Us 2 booth? Can we... Can, can we go play the Last Can we play that? Can we go play another game from 2002, please? Oh! Dead. Oh, I deaded him right in the, right in the dead face. He's really dead, yeah. though, to be fair. I've never seen a more dead man. No, I don't think I have. Oh! Lights oh, are. here they are. Fragile, there's copies of The Last of Us 2 in there. Very fragile. Fragile. Oh, it's slowed down. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Why is it slowing down? So oh, this is. Oh, is this a slow? Is this a slow mo bit? Because you're so good at shooting and not getting shot. No, I think it's just there were too many. Because now it's speeding up again. There were <sighs> just too many men on screen. I think in those fragile boxes it just contains copies of Time Crisis oh, Two. Oh, well, you just knocked off a bit of plant. I did. Time Crisis Two, a better one. Yeah, because this is just such a one. Hello, uh, pre -comes? They come. Uh, they will come. Oh, there's a keyboard on the screen. That's not. What? Someone's put accessibility mode on. Would you like another science fact? Yes, I want this to be over as soon as possible. Uh, so, the uh, this is its Amazon's bestseller rank. It's 46,992nd <laughs> in PC and video games. Really? Just in that category? And uh, it's, it's number 2,125 in PlayStation 2 games. Mm. Now, bearing in mind the amount of PS2 games, that's a really bad place to be, probably. Yeah. I mean, tenuous, I think, at this point. Oh! How are we going to get out of this one? This is going to be a really you difficult one. You have to be the, oh. the quickest William of all. <laughs> Come on, William. Show them why they call you Quick William. How are we, Wilbur? Oh, this is great. Oh, he's so quick. Smash a bottle on his face. Oh, he's got you. There's Pam just... Oh, no, she just threw him at Pam. Ooh. Hit him, Pam. Oh! God. She Jeez. hates guns, but she's happy to... Break a bottle over a man's whoa, face. Whoa, whoa! Stamp. Elbow. Mace. Perfume. Purse. What, what do you reckon she's got in the purse? Um, Johnny Ruthless's nose. Oh, oh no. Bit of clippage. Is he going to be a bad guy? Oh <laughs> no, he's very surprised. Right, well there's the thumbnail. The froggiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, and so... And we played Crazy Frog Racer. Game Facts hails VIP as the 16th easiest PS2 action game, the 20th shortest PS2 action game, and the 4th lowest rated PS2 action game with a score of 1.05 out of 5. Oh. There was There is a Metacritic. Okay. We'll go to the PS1 version in a minute. P? I just have to press X. Oh, miss. You missed it. Oh. oh, oh, I see. Is it when the square goes in? Huh? No? What? I think it's when it's beeping. Okay, I haven't got long left. It is, it's when it's beeping on the second mark, I think. Oh, well, what are we looking at? Well, there was no nothing telling me to do that. Who's this guy? I just thought that was the timer ticking. Beep, 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 beep. 
This is how I earn those medium-sized bucks. I'm not sure if there's slowdown because there's four people in the room. I think, or... it, I think it might be four people in the room, and she's getting so excited thinking about those medium-sized bucks. Look it up and hit the corresponding button that matches its color. Okay. Oh, so oh my god. So because the it's the PlayStation colors. Oh no. So that's is that a D? So D is triangle. Yeah. G is square. Oh, that's oh, a circle, circle, isn't it? Yeah, because of the pink. Uh, R is X. That's a stupid, stupid, stupid X. thing. Uh, G is circle. circle. There we go. We get to look at this again. Uh, S triangle. J circle. N circle. One more. L. Bingo, bingo. You made it. Peter, what score did VIP starring Pamela Anderson as Valerie Irons get on Metacritic? Oh, is it on Metacritic? Oh, yeah, the PS1 the version. The PS1 version is on Metacritic. It might almost have been better because people were more forgiving of, you know, because it was a, a console that you know, had more limitations. But That's maybe it was even worse. Works. Well, no, yeah, because there wasn't even room for this garbage on no, the there disc. No, there wasn't. So uh, I'm going to say... On average, 25%. Ooh. And that's generous. 33. Shut up. And I won't. No. I won't shut up. Well, I bet the high score is a pretty high one. It's a disgustingly <laughs> high one. Yeah. It's I'm really... going to have to do the, the Pac-Man vomit just because it's such a high score. Maybe. Okay. It's from PSX Nation. Yeah. What score did they give it out of 100? I really hope less than 55 it's a 75! No! It's a 75! <laughs> and the lowest score came from Game Informer. We know that one. What did Game Informer give it out of 100? Because we know that one, they hopefully didn't give it a zero because, of course, there's no such thing as a zero review. If it has a menu, it's not a zero. It's not a, but before we get to that, I didn't actually read out the PSX Nation review. Oh, yeah. An easy learning curve, competent control, and some neat CG movies share space with outdated graphics, bad music, and childishly hilarious sound effects. 75%! What? How does that... Oh. 75%! So anyway, Game Informer, out of 100. Uh, 10%. Bingo, bingo! Yeah, bingo, bingo. Are you ready to get drop kicked backwards into the early 2000s with this tagline of a review, Peter? Absolutely. It looks worse than Pam's new boyfriend, Kid Rock, after <laughs> a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> got him! Oh. It's 2002 and we got him! Yeah, MTV. Oh no, oh. the grenade is being grenade. Don't escape. Shoot it out of the sky. Oh yeah, don't escape. Oh, no, it's, it's not going to play any death it's animation. It's going to make you there. do it again. It fades out, doesn't it? B.S. We can't even get any entertainment out of that. Crap. Shoot it. She did. Oh, the explosion was behind the window texture. <laughs> was so it? The texture, the window is in front of that. Anyway. Also, shooting that in midair as it's coming towards you, you're gonna get hit by all the shrapnel. Pop those there, Peter. You don't have to keep playing. I don't. Oh! Oh, look at the size of that <laughs> fire alarm. <laughs> Woo! Well done, Peter. Yeah, thanks. Another great game. We're back full screen now. I hope, again, you know, the, the green screen might not like the edges of this hair, but we'll see. The visage. We? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it, and I can only see the preview window. Hello. Hello. And welcome. I can't really spit. There's a lot of glare there with Welcome my glasses to the spook. Now I'm just holding my phone up in front of my face. Yeah. I mean the spook light. The spook. Oh, welcome to a spooky episode. The first of two. Tukey. T no, that's not, you. is that a thing? Tukey? Spooky. Spooky. It's not wonky or spooky. It's two, we're gonna, oh. there's another one next fortnight. When I blink, I'm seeing weird, weird light shapes. Can you see your own? Oh. Um, Oh. Like blood vessels and stuff. No, it's just like, I, I think I'm doing retinal damage. Oh no. Th which is the spookiest damage there is. It is? Well, I don't know about that. I, I think it's pretty If spooky. you put it in a certain place, my optician told me about this, you get a reflection of like all the blood vessels on your own, on your own eye. It's horrible. 
Well, everybody sees floaters sometimes, don't they? Everybody's got a floater. Yeah. Everybody has a floater. Not after Domino's. Try eating more, uh, more fiber. Domino's. Yeah. They, then I'll clean you right out. Shall I turn on the big lights? This is getting a bit, I'm actually, is, yeah. hang on. I've got to turn off the torch um, setting. Okay, hang on. Can you, can you shine a little, can you shine a little light on me, please? Are we ready? Yeah. Here we go. Hey! Hello. Hey! We, do we need the overhead lights on or is that all right? Hello and welcome to a spooky episode of Worst Games Ever. It's the spookiest one we've ever done. Yeah, I should hand over to you really because the victim's first to introduce the show. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot that. Welcome everybody to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. I am Ben and, and I'm I am... And Peter. That was pretty spooky, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. I am this week's game's victim. And I am Peter. And, and I, I am Ben. Oh, that was pretty spooky. It was spooky. It happened twice. And I am this week's Fortnite's Games Master. Which means I brought a spooky game for Ben to play. Oh, terrifying. And when I say I brought it, I mean Ben's brought I it. I brought it because it's actually we, one of his. We don't have any spooky games at home, but what could it be? Even though the title's below us currently on the, yeah, on the on web YouTube. browser. And well, stuff. you know how at the beginning we had all the lights off? Yeah. And there were two of us sitting in here. Yeah. If it had just been one of us sitting in here. Yeah. And that person was also on fire. Yeah. That person might have been alone in the dark inferno. No! Yes. 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 No. Alone in the dark inferno. Oh. It's for the Puzz 3. Mm hmm. And uh, it's a spooky get. It's not. Well, is I it? I mean, we'll find out. I think it's. It wants to be. It's comically not spooky. Yeah. That's, that's part of the reason. But not intentionally comically not spooky. We're absolutely not alone though, Peter. Not only do we have one another and you at home, but we've also got all of our friends. Should we give them Twitter Halloween names? You know, that thing that you oh, love that people that. do at Halloween. I mean, they've already got, they've already all got pun names. I know. We'll be here forever. We will. Um, Steven Scream Girl. Oh, it's not even that God. good. God. Or maybe even Scream Scream Vault. Scre scream Jean, Jean, Jean Claude on the on the lamb because he murdered his uh, his his significant other. Silence of the Jean Claude Van Lamb. See, that's significantly better than or others. Maybe uh, uh, Jean Claude Van Damned, like in Hell. I don't know if I can compete really. Uh, my brain is not on. Billy Ray scrawling on the walrus about <laughs> spooky things. Yeah. There we go. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, dick, dick my uh, uh, clink, clinko, because it's like jangling chains. Sure, no, that's, really a good, that's a really good one. That's yeah. a really good one. What about the penguin? Ah, she's just called the penguin. Scan, scandal. Uh, Batman's, DC's Batman's the penguin. Yeah, that's oh all, yeah, that he's all. a villain. And there's Billy Ray Dolorous, but... Oh, well, dolls it? are creepy. Yeah, Chucky. Just we'll just call Billy, it Chucky. Yeah, Chucky. Chucky, the, the walrus. Right, we sorted that. Excellent, that well, was really good. You started off very strongly, and then it sort of devolved to about the level I was expecting anyway. Well, I used all of my juice. I'm sorry? Yeah, oh, I did. Oh, oh well, that's, oh, that's just, the scariest thing so far. We should start. What, what's this spooky logo? Oh, oh, oh. Nearly singed oh, me. Was really quiet, actually. Flaming E Studios. Oh, it's Eden Games. Eden Games. An Atari studio. Are Atari still kicking? What are they up to these days? Yeah, I think so. Big yeah, they are. video. God, look at that little spooky boy down oh, there. Oh, it's a little unknown. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like an unknown from Pokemon. Yeah. Does it want to be loud or quiet? What are you doing? Alone in the Dark, 2008. Is it... A survival horror video game and the fifth instalment of the series. A fifth instalment of the series under Great. the same name. That's a slightly weird wording from Wikipedia. You might be a bit confused as to why I called it Alone in the Dark 2008 and not Alone in the Dark Inferno. Okay. Immediate bonus fact. Whoa! It was, well, actually, no, it comes after the next one. It's the third fact. You'll find out that later on. Oh, stop teasing me, Peter. It's, it went away, there was nothing on that. Oh, it was just blank. Call 911. Call 911 now! Right. It just Okay, shows well, you... it looks like I'm now jumping to fact number four. I'm sorry, why can I just, can I pick any of this bit of the game? Yes, but don't. 
Well, you can if you want. The, the gameplay gate. in Alone in the Dark differs greatly from other games in the series. It's set out through a DVD-style episodes menu, oh. where the player can choose to start the game from the beginning, or choose to skip to a section if they get... Skip a sec... Well, no, it says to a section. Skip a section. Skip to a section if they get stuck. If they choose to do oh. so, the past events are recollected in a previously on Alone in the Dark cutscene okay. at the start of the episode. That's a weird thing that I'm glad has never followed in any game since. Well, I saw one website saying that it was actually originally intended to be an episodic game. You know, like right, as we know like them until today. Dawn. Yeah, mm. but I don't know if that's actually true or if they were just speculating. I'm immediately very excited because there seems to be some kind of tie-up with System of a Down. Wake uh, me tie up. Tie-up with a tie-in with System of a Down. Wake up. Wake up. Vertigo Fire Escape, escape Don't Look Down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just new game? This seems... Yeah. Like the logical place to start. But it wasn't supposed to just... <laughs> what? Look around. There's a person. Ah! Oh! Look at me. <laughs> Was that your penis talking? Look at me. I don't want to look. Look at me! Look at the shadows. Look at my... I said look at me! Look at my jumpy jacket. Oh, it's making me look at uh, I said... He's fooling us! He's fo Whoa! Whoa! Right, well, you've been shot. Wow, that's it. Thank you so much for was watching. Was that game over? You didn't... It was! Oh, wow! Because you didn't look up. Okay, fine. Oh, hello. There you go. Went straight past you. Oh, look at your... ugly man. Ugly face. Blink with... What? With R3. Understood. Press R3 Press... to blink. Hello? <laughs> I can just walk around with, with my eyes closed. <laughs> what the hell? Hang on, can I put on subtitles? Because I've got... It's... Fact. Hello? The game does not have subtitles. No! Yeah. This Which isn't one very of the reviews, accessible at all. Yeah, one of the reviews said it had a really low accessibility rating. When you were looking the, at Oh, side. hello, is this my oh. gun? Is this for me? He's giving you an us us. A smug. I just have I just have no idea what's going on because everyone's... Yeah, I can't really... And we don't want to turn it up too loud because then it's going to come back through the microphone. I've got to blink again. Hello? Did I just get... Hello? What's happening? Is he kicking me? Because... Yeah, he's saying walk. But I can't because he keeps kicking me. I best... I don't think it's all in first person. Is it? Oh! No, it's not. That's how... If you if you get knocked in... If you get a head injury, just blink. Yeah. That's how it works. Stop hitting me! Oh my god! Oh god! Try not blinking next time. Just see how blurry it gets. Okay. Oh, we're not in the dark. Nor are we alone, but... Oh, look how blurry it is. Jesus, what? It's getting blurrier -er and blurrier. -er. Where? Move where? I can't see. Oh God! It... Blink! God Hel damn it! Hel Blink your eyes! I think he killed me oh, again. For God's sake! He killed me again. This game was developed by Eden Games and yeah. published by Atari for PC, PS3, and Xbox 360 in June 2008. Okay. A different version was also released on the PS2 and Wii. Wii. Oh, the Wii version must be amazing. Okay, it's really dark though. So Turn right. Uh, Turn oh, right. So he's telling me. <laughs> Keep moving. I'm going. Oh, what um, language? Oh, there's a big sort of ceiling oh, vagina no. there. Not a ceiling. What? Your ceiling vagina is beautiful. What's happening? I'm being pushed into the pipe. Really? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I pushed you out of the way. <laughs> oh no! The oh, his rucksack ate him. This is one of those early PS3 games where it's just everything's really dark all the time. It's a bit Clive Barker's Jericho, isn't it? Yeah. Can we call in some warrior magicians to help us out with this? I think I might be a warrior magician. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Stop making me blink. <laughs> it's God's so sake. strange. Who chose that mechanic? It's so Come on, there's got to be something we can do. It might be on the recording that it's not that dark, but... Yeah, possibly. The brightness is... <laughs> it's pretty high. Mm. Getting all blinky again. Here I go. That's a normal, Look at that that's walking a normal animation. animation there. <laughs> doof, doof, doof. He has Hello? just been punched in the back of the head several times. He has. Oh, can oh. I? Would you like me to lick it? That's no. not how electricity works. Um. Oh, that classic sound effect oh, oh. from the intro of uh, Medieval. That one. That Is sound it? effect. Yeah. <laughs> we found our way to. Hello. Oh, the special, what? the special mirror. The sharp mirror. Can I still blink? No. Uh, uh, who am I? My name is Jonathan Alone in the Dark. 
and this is my story. But which one's the real me? Are we in the mirror now? Oh, we're on the other side of the mirror, I think. Is that what just happened? I'm very confused. Oh, yeah, you're in. Oh, oh, it's not fair, oh he's but... so fast now. Yeah. Okay, so I can switch to... I can switch to first person and out again. Let's see if you have to blink in first person still. Yeah. I'd Alone... Do this one. In the Dark Inferno... Yeah. ...is a special PS3 exclusive version of Alone in the Dark. Ah. Oh. 2008. ...that addresses a number of gameplay issues found in the Xbox 360 version, such as the additions of full 360 camera control, a more zoomed out third person camera, a more user friendly inventory system, and tighter driving mechanics. It also includes an exclusive new gameplay sequence found in episode 6. Oh, great! So basically, this is the best possible version of this game. This is the best version of this game. And also, we're playing it unpatched as well, I should say, if there are any patches. Right. The brightness is. It's on, on 50, 50, which seems about right. The contrast was very high. Oh, it's making no difference. It's no, just that's... making what's visible really. It's just making the black go grey. I'll just leave it. You're then. not meant to be able to see any of it, it seems. Press X to. I mean, it's not called Alone in the Visible, is it? No, it's not, but I mean, it's got to be playable. Well, it's not called Alone in the Playable either. I... Well, you got me there. Yeah, I've got you right in the. Repel down. There he goes. <laughs> I think it might be the building vagina again, but I just don't... Yeah, that, that, that was the building vagina coming down the wall there. What is going on? Okay, here we go. Is he over it? Is, uh, is he above it? Oh, this is the real... There speaking. we go. Okay, we got in. We got in. That was so difficult. You can move the camera around freely. Whoa! This game is breaking all the... All of the rules. All the rules. <laughs> would you like to know a bit of a plot synopsis to kind of... I would love to... ...begin to understand what the oh. hell is going on. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to. Who's this? It's not going to help. Can you tell me who this is? <laughs> That's uh, J Jemima. It's Jemima. What does she think of my eight-foot vertical leap? She Look how big I can be. Look how scary I am to bears. Yeah. The game begins with a disoriented Edward Carnby. That's him. There, That's Edward there's Edward. Waking up from an exorcism. And oh! Not remembering who the people in the room are or his own name. I hope it was made apparent that we were in an exorcism because we couldn't tell either from the voiceover or the or what we could actually physically see. I don't know if it is made apparent at this point. I think he's just like, where the hell am I? What's going on? Uh, he's taken to the roof of the building. Oh! Uh, oh! Be... Oh! Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that's, well, that's, oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, it? well, it's a go he's a ghost. Woo! I said I could grab the furniture and move it around, it's and then it just episode. lost all... Co oh. What? <laughs> I, I think, think it's broken. Let me just... Just walk through it. I, I know I can walk through it, but I want to see if I can just... He grabs it. Oh, no, now he's got it. Okay. I think it was like sticking in the wall and then the, the game's only option at that point is to just be like, oh well, we better turn all the collisions off because otherwise this will be a problem. Turn them oh, all off. Oh Christ. That's fine. It's so glitchy. What the hell? So this must be the... This is what you were talking about. The DVD menu. I thought you'd just let you pick <coughs> chapters, but it seems that you can just rewind to various, spe very specific. This must be great for trophies. Yeah. Just various specific that. areas. Okay, here because we are. I, back in the dark. Yeah, I thought it was that. Yeah, that's the that's the sixth game in the series. Back in the dark. I thought that it, it just meant that chapter selection menu is a bit like a chapter selection menu in a on a DVD, but it's also in the pause menu. Smash. Hang on. Oh, he just swapped it for another chair. Oh, God. It's on fire. What's he meant to do with it? <laughs> why, why is this man holding... Oh, there you go. To spray. Holding a, f a fire chair. Oh, there we go. First person spraying at Don't you. forget to blink. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this game? Whoa. Ah, it's a ghost. Ah, oh, get him. Right, there's a lot more. I, this, this is a big old synopsis. This is the... Sorry, I mean, you say a lot more. This is the biggest... <laughs> fire extinguisher I've ever seen. Yeah. Look at his weird glowing eye. Did you see that? What was the just went past his face? <laughs> oh, he didn't <laughs> like it. Stop. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Use the extinguisher to break the door. Spray it. Oh. What? Why do you put it down? <laughs> How do I pick it up now? There we go. Is there a, like a melee no. button? No. Smack. 
What? <laughs> Help. No, was he's that trying to down on the right stick was to smash. <laughs> right, lock. Oh, you sort of swing it. With your right well, stick. Well, then Show we the lost a little what bit you're of the doing door. right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. We take a real run up. <laughs> So he's, he wakes from an exorcism, he doesn't know who he is. Yes, sorry. He's then taken to the roof to be killed, apparently. Yeah. Taken to the roof to be killed. That would have been merciful, wouldn't it? The guard who's taking him there is killed by an unseen force. It's not unseen, it was a big backpack on his back. Oh, Jesus. I'm, just, I'm back here again. So the guard is killed, allowing Edward to escape. He has amnesia and doesn't remember anything. As he wanders the building looking for a way out, he witnesses several people being killed or possessed by, in quotes, demonic forces. Okay. During his search for an exit, he meets Sarah Flores, okay, an art dealer, but then in brackets it says, except she's a city planner in the PS2 or Wii version. <laughs> right. Just changed her profession for some oh, so reason. Oh, was on PS2 as well? Yeah, I said earlier, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you may have done. Yeah. Together, they make their way to the parking garage yeah. where they find... Theophile Paddington. Excellent! He loves those Theos. Oh, he's a Theophile. What a great guy. He's an old man who claims to know what's going on. He says the chaos in the building was caused by a stone that until recently was held by Edward. It had been taken from Edward by a man named Crowley, who released its power. Crowley from, from what's it called? From, that Terry Pratchett book? From Alistair Crowley. Oh, uh, yeah, or that one, whatever that is. I guess the one in the Terry Pratchett book is based on Alistair Crowley. It's entirely possible. He's a famous man who, uh, I've got a fact about him later. <laughs> oh. oh, he's jumping at a weird angle. Oh, easy. Oh, the wall vagina. Oh, that man just came out of the wall. He's been birthed. Oh, no, he's been taken. Oh. What's the opposite of birthed? Um, Death. Yes, he's been deafened. Yeah. Oh, what? He just switched the animation angle. He was trying to open the door and then he was trying to open the air. Open your jacket. Oh Christ, I've seen this before. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. Ah, what a, what is this UI? No, that is ridiculous. I see that they were trying to be really interesting in doing that, but that is bad. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What vagina? Oh, come a bit further close, this one. What's happening? What am I looking at here? A bit of wood just went right through, yeah. Oh, I just got flame gra- And it spat me out, but I'm not phased. When injured... You need healing items to treat your wounds. I would love to be able to see the healing items. I'm sure they're in, <laughs> sure they're in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> come what, on! What is going on? <laughs> okay. There is no official confirmation that Crowley is based on British occultist Alistair Crowley. Oh. But the first game features the diary of an Alistair Bowlskin. I'm which, sorry? Which specifically mentions Alistair Crowley and Alistair Crowley's villa in Scotland called Bowlskin House. Oh, interesting. I watched, oh, I watched a really creepy documentary on Alistair Crowley pretty recently, actually. Did you? I don't want to hear about it. Did you not? No, not really. No. What did he do? He was an okay, occultist. Uh, he, in he inherited... That is not safe! There's a man! He's climbing a live wire! Watch out! Watch out! So he inherited loads of money, yeah. which basically meant he didn't ever have to work again. That man died. Well, rip for that guy, yeah. I suppose. So he then just dedicated his life to like learning about occultism, and he became obsessed with like demonic forces and stuff. Oh. And, oh! Sort of Egyptian... Uh, what? Mythology and things. Kiss, kiss. Yeah, just a little... <laughs> Why did it go so high in the air? I don't know. It's strange. Ghosts. And then he got. A, he eventually ended up addicted to heroin and he just died. Oh, that's that's a shame. Blink. <clears throat> no, 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 it's, it's not just that. Blurry. It's just I was going to say... New York looks great, doesn't it? Oh, it's sharper in first person. Yeah. It's a weird look, look, field of view. Whoa. 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 Where are you going? <laughs> None of that's right. <laughs> why is there a big Wilson there? There is a big old Wilson why is there hole. An actual, why is there a Wilson hole there? Is that a hole in the road? Can I... Oh. oh. What are you doing, you lunatic? Oh, oh. A loon in the dark. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really spooky, it's a really spooky one. It is one of the spookiest. 
I've only got reviews left. Have you? Yeah. I'm actually kind of enjoying this one, I must say. Yeah. Like, from a it's so bad, it's good kind of way. Oh, now I'm trapped. Uh, there we go. Let's try it again. <laughs> edge, edge. I'm edging, I'm edging. No, uh, he just does, he just does a cartwheel. Oh, oh. Uh, no, well, he just, he takes so long reacting to the being hurt that he gets hurt again. It's yeah. like the beginning where I got punched all over again. Let's just, you know what I'd quite like to do in these, in these dying moments? Not. Is go to a different. Not climb live wires. Go to a different level that's like, looks really spooky. Okay, do it. Oh, that looks like a, some kind of boss fight. Should we do that? Yeah. This game is dumb. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder what he's got in his inventory. Oh, well. Uh, oh, hello. Where is it? There's a so some sort of. Oh, oh god, here we go. Zomboid. Blink. Oh, oh, oh it's my god, flipping. It's a, it's a ninja zomboid. Uh, do it, son. Oh, ah, get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can pick up some. Oh, should I try it? Here we go. Oh my god, look at that. This is where the real Dark Souls. Hello? This is where the real Dark Souls begin. Biff. L1 is lock on. That's not it at all, is it, though? What's Biff? It's That's... back and forth on the. Oh, is that a lady one? Yeah, we can do. We can do. Or a, woman. We can do a side swing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. What? Dodge with your blow, and then what? Why was it like focused on him? Like the, the whole camera went. <laughs> this is so. This is so dumb. Help! Oh, come got, on. He's got a tracksuit on. Where's he going? He's on. He's going on a jog. Leave him alone. Look, he's got go faster stripes on his arms. I'll get you. <laughs> Woo! He's spooked. I'll get you. Ow, he hit me. <laughs> the delay. It's like they don't want to fight me. Well, I wouldn't want to. I don't want to fight you. Oh! There's a weird shape, that man. <laughs> Hang on, I've just got to put some more bullets in. Oh, he's telling me all sorts of nonsense. I don't care. So he's just waiting while you're like... Yeah, hang on. Sorry, let me just... Hang on, Time mate. out. Can just you right. set him on fire? With your oh! <laughs> That's the danger of first person, I suppose. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you were saying. Uh, right, so... Oh, the... Christ, I'm all the way... I'm just going to skip ahead again while you're reading that. The PS3 version, uh, Alone in the Dark Inferno, received far more favourable reviews than other versions. So according to Metacritic, the game's average score across its three platforms was what? So this is including the even worse ones than this. Alone in the Dark, this game on PS3... Is called Inferno. Yes. Oh, the driving. Yes. Uh, and then it was also on 360 and uh, uh, PC. But it just wasn't called Inferno. But it was basically the same game, but just worse. So, uh, oh. Hello? <laughs> someone just fell out of a tree. It's like a drop bear. It's a scary drop bear. I think, um, I mean, this is awful. Right, I, but I, there's a, there was worse versions of it, apparently. <laughs> Where are these people coming from? And I, apparently the driving mechanics are improved in this game. This is one of the things they improved upon. Yeah, it's really good, I yeah. must say. Um, 57. You're spot on. Am I really? Exactly. What? 57%. <laughs> but what do you think the PS3 version alone got on average? Oh, that's so weird. What's his end goal apart from <laughs> leave footprints on my car? Yeah. Um, I think the PS3 version, if this is meant to be the best one, mm. God, it's got to be, it's got to be over 57 then, so it must be maybe 60? 69! <laughs> nice! It's got to turn, hang on, sorry, hang on a second. Oh no, he's got me. <laughs> I just want him to keep doing that, to be honest. <laughs> that was like a gymnastics dismount, that, that was amazing. I'm just going to go a bit closer to some light, so we can get a better view. Yeah, oh, oh there he's he is. come with you. Oh, <laughs> what do you think the highest PS3 score was? This is the best version of the game that there is. It's got to be a 70. It's got to be appalling. Uh, 80. It's got to be even appallinger. 85? More. <laughs> <laughs> the music, he's not going to make it. <laughs> The music, as though he was doing his moment. He's his looking out the window, moment. just going. Da, 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 da. It's higher than eighty-five. It's higher than eighty-five. Yeah. You're not going to make it again. Your nose is dipping. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you just made it. My heart was in my mouth. 
Ah, oh, um, that's the most thrilling part of this game so far. Eight, uh, 90. Higher. No! Yeah. What? What is this mechanic? What was that? 90. It's higher, higher than, than 90. 92. Higher. 93? Higher. It's not 100, is it? No. Okay, 95. Yes. 95! <laughs> this comes from Game Critics. Sure. You know, there's yeah. that one. It sounds like it. This new and improved iteration of Eden's initial release rejects playing it safe with the usual developer shortcuts in lieu of being experimental, forward-thinking, bold, and genuinely innovative. This is exactly the kind of stuff that people who really care about video games should be rewarding. And it's truly heartbreaking to see a game as superb as this get the cold shoulder. Do we have any name? Do we have a name for the writer of that? Oh, I did, and I didn't I didn't note it down for You some should reason. be ashamed! I'll look it up. I'll just do these other reviews. That is honestly the worst take I've ever heard about yeah. a video game. Ever. The lowest review score comes from Cheat Code Central. Oh god, I'm getting beaten up by the vagina I've been oh, got. You've been Hello? It's it's the, that it's got the cold shoulder is disgraceful. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go Here we the go. Wall. Yeah! Hey! What do you think Cheat Code Central gave this game? Lowest review. Um Cheat Code Central gave this game 35. It, it's appallingly high as well. Really? 48%. That's this is almost high. half perfect, apparently. Do you wanna play the last bit of the game? Yeah, okay. A lesson in good intentions gone awry. Nearly all of its novel ideas misfire. What's so interesting about Inferno is the mentality that a patch was all that was needed to make a better game than the Xbox versions. Is that all it was? It was just a patch? Well, that's what this. Yeah, th like, Inferno is the same game, but just with a few fixes. So it's essentially right. a patch. The original was defined by a lackluster story, which they've spelt wrong, lackluster. Mm -hmm. Awkward controls and merely okay gameplay. That's not a formula that needs a few tweaks. No. It's one that should be scrapped entirely. Yeah! 48%, half half spot on. That is nearly perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I nearly interrupted you there, but mm. I didn't. Uh, there appears to be um, our first triple jump video for uh, for worse games. What was his name? Um, here. 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 here! What was he called? Uh, the mummy, Imhotep. Imhotep appears to be in the car. Rikokonol. Oh, in the car. And I don't want to alarm you, but Imhotep is in the car. It is him! He's wearing just pants! What's the... Is there a timer? There's some kind of timer. It's already started. Look you, at that You've phone. only got 55 seconds left for whatever is going to happen. From what I've read, you need to get here, or millions of people will regret it. Will regret or it. <laughs> or the millions stakes. of people will regret it. Drive off the edge. <laughs> Imhotep, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, millions of people regretted that. Ah, oh, they regretted it. PlayStation Official Magazine gave this 60%, would you believe? 60? And said, it's not scary, full stop. It's not, I mean, look at this. At octane, all. This full high stop. octane action. Oh, oh, that was scary. Oh, no. Wear your seatbelts, kids. So normally we end on reviews, but I've got one more thing, one more fact for you that's about yeah. the game's reception. Okay. After several European websites had given the game's average or lower, uh, low ratings, yeah. publisher Atari threatened the responsible websites with lawsuits. What? Claiming the reviews could not have been based on the final version since it was not available by the time they were published, and Atari themselves had not delivered review versions to, uh, to those people. Oh, so reviews, it suggested reviews were actually delivered on the old build. The but it's still crap! The publisher suspected the reviewers to have used illegally down... This is not even... They're not even talking about the PS3 version here, they're talking about all... So, it's right. not even like it was out on 360 already, it just wasn't out. The publisher suspected the reviewers to have used illegally downloaded versions of the title. However, review website Gamer.nl yeah. claimed that it was in fact sent a legitimate copy of the game prior to its release by Atari executives. And after the review was published, quote, they explicitly told us that they only let high-scoring reviews b break the post-release embargo date. Wow! Gamer.nl still has the offending review posted on the website, despite Atari's wishes, and Atari did not follow through with any lawsuits. Wow, that's crazy! So what it sounds like is, they yeah. reviewed it badly, and Atari said, no, this review's too bad, you're not putting this out before embargo, you better not. And they probably did, and they said, Oh, uh, you've used an illegally ver a legal version of our game because we didn't give you one. So they just lied. Wow. Allegedly. Allegedly. 
Oh. oh, better driving controls though. Yeah. Oh, this bit is this is the last bit of the game. A high octane thrill chase through central what remains of Central Park to get to whatever the whatever stupid fart is on the other side of the island. And it's dark. And it's dark. You can't, you can't control see anything. It. Oh. You can't follow the roads because they're all blocked by stuff. The the trees and the the lampposts are invincible, immovable objects. Yeah. And you have to go off road. And the car. And there's big spikes coming out the road. The car all the time. can get destroyed. Apparently, can I go round? Yes, I can. I'm just going to find that review for you because I did. Okay. I did see the guy's name. What the for the really hot 95. The guy wrote 95 percent. Alone in the dark inferno review. The second time's the charm. Is his subtitle. Mm, yeah, is it? Brad Galloway. Brad. What that, that's you... a picture of Brad there. He looks like a Brad. He looks like he's got some really bad takes. Oh no, the world ended. I actually cannot... I cannot. This is the last level of this could have been a blockbuster game. Yeah. Before ending the review, I certainly think it's fair to say that Alone in the Dark Inferno isn't perfect. Oh yeah? Rated at 95%. The lack of subtitles was annoying. There's a certain amount of physics randomness when trying to get some tasks accomplished. That's and in general, there are lots of little things that could use another coat of polish. 95%. Oh, also, I'm not sure you can have a coat of polish, my dude. Can't you? I think it's a coat of, I think he means a coat of paint. He means or a coat of... It needs, it needs further polishing. A coat of polish is a weird combination that he's put in there. I suppose so. Oh yeah, well, not polish. Strange. Varnish. Right. A coat of varnish. Brad. Brad. Brad, in literally over a decade ago, Brad. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a spooky episode. It's less spooky than the start of the last one. We had the lights I think lights you mean fewer. I think you mean fewer spooky. I, do, I, I mean more spooky, actually. I, sorry, that's what I meant to say. It's more spooky than the last one when it's we had the lights. It's unexpected. Yeah. You don't know what could happen at any point. <laughs> oh. oh, God, that was horrible. Um, what was that? I don't know. I just I cut something in. It wasn't a jump scare because that's oh. not fair, but it was just a picture of a scary, a scary thing. Was it that? In the edit. Was it, it might that noise? Been, uh, Creakums. You're watching Worst Games Ever, it's the show where we play terrible games that have been sent in by you. Uh, I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. And uh, today, I'm going to be the game's victim. Which means I am the game's master. And Peter, that means that I've brought a game for you to play. Mm. Uh, it's very spooky. It's the spookiest one ever spooked. Is it? It is. Alan! Please, please add, add Colonial Marines! Please add details. Please add, like, a full box, for example. This is, uh, this is, a, this is what promo copies still sometimes look like. Yeah, occasionally. Um, review copies. Usually you get codes now, but the, oh. the case is a bit smashed up. But yeah, you used to get them in these dual cases. So. Yeah. Here we go. You're playing Alan. I, I, New Marines. I think a lot of people have probably heard about this game. Yeah. But they've probably not played it. No, I sat and uh, watched someone play it who we've been looking forward to it so much. And we were really excited and he got it and I went round to his house and he turned it on. Yeah? Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh. Alan didn't add Colonial Marines. He didn't did he? add almost anything. No, it's a real shame. So this is this is quite a controversial one from mm. a PR perspective, certainly. But we'll get into all of that. I've got well. my box of hot and fresh science facts. The full story, I'm sure. Um, okay, well then, should we hop right in? Yes. In a ga in a galaxy far flung ago, what came the Marines? Da -da -da -da. They were big. They were mean, and they were made of of human. And then the aliens came, and they were they were bigger. I think there were some issues going and, on with that planet just then. And sometimes, oh look, oh it's a storm. They're made of human too, which is the the horror, the horror bit of the, the whole film. thing. So here we go, oh, Benny. There we go. Versus. Yeah, there's a there's a multiplayer mode for this game. Yeah. What do you think I should put it on? <sighs> you could put ultimate it. badass. That's Yay! me. <laughs> Time for the first science fact. Aliens Colonial Marines is a first-person shooter developed by Gearbox Software and based on the Alien science fiction film series. It was published by Sega for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and the Xbox 360 and released on the 12th of February 
2013. Okay. This man is missing an eye. Well, he might not be. Dwayne yeah. Hicks. Oh, is it Hicks? Yeah, I didn't really recognize him. Yeah, there's a reason. It's because it's bad. Gearbox software production of. I don't, oh my god. A Gearbox software production of our Timegate Studios. Dem oh. You can't even read it fast enough. No. There's a lot of studios involved, weren't there, yeah. Peter? That's weird, isn't it? It's almost like they farmed it out. It's almost it. like that. There you are, Peter. It's you. Oh, is it? Look at my jaw. I have no idea if that's you. Good jaw, though. There's a lot of real estate on that jaw. It's big. Big old jaw. Big old detail. Jawman. jawman. Nice award. Wish I had more money. I could maybe move my, uh, my ailing relative onto a nice award. <laughs> So one of the major sources of controversy around this game, why people were so upset, apart from being lied to, which we'll get to, is that this game actually acted as a direct sequel to James Cameron's 1986 film, Aliens. Okay. So it's technically the third Alien film. Oh no. Like it follows canonically directly on. The game follows a group of colonial marines, a fictional military unit, thank you Wikipedia, as oh they, my god, that's carrying a big missile. 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 As they confront the Wayland yutani Corporation in an effort to rescue survivors from the Salaku spaceship. Okay. The game features a campaign mode that supports both single player and cooperative ca gameplay and a multiplayer mode in which players compete in different scenarios. Has he got a false leg? Who? This guy. Yeah, he's got a robot leg. Robo leg. What a badass. We're worried about what's killing our marines in there. It's a liquid situation, fellas. And, and women. Oh. There we go. Are you excited? Look at, look at these very, very similar yeah. looking soldier boys. They do just look the same, don't they? Yeah, I kind of just want to go. Thank you, Father. I'm already a little bit bored. Jesus. Right. We're You're in. in, Peter. I've got 40. Oh, oh, oh. oh careful. Oh. Oh, you've, got, you've got to keep the wire straight. We're playing with a PS4 controller because I left the PS3. Okay, I'll get, hold it very still. Just, just, be, just be quiet as a mouse. There we go. Oh, look at that reticule sort of slowly. Oh, that's up. weird. Oh, also your HUD, your HUD turns with you. Yeah. To be fair, there's there's a there is a bit of due diligence in this game in terms of Easter eggs. Oh. <laughs> the door slowly closes. My very right first door. act was. I wonder if I can shoot this. Fire extinguisher, I think. And he's dead. That seems very dangerous on a spaceship. We've had a lot of trouble with fire extinguishers the last couple of worst games, haven't we? We have, yeah. All sorts. Here we go again. Oh, Christ. Excellent. We've to disconnect the controller a couple of times just for old time's sake. And also in the bottom right, it suggests you've got 95 rounds in there. And that, I think that said 35, didn't it? I might it's be a, wrong. It said 40 when uh, in the who, cut scene. Who knows? That's where it, who did knows? it actually go down? Oh, oh. oh well, that's a... What? It's a different gun now. Oh wait, no, maybe that's why it killed me. Oh, did you fire the explosive grenade? I just pressed right trigger, which I assumed was shoot, but... On PS3, it's R1 and L1 oh. shoot, usually. Yeah, of course. triggers are crap. Yeah, you're right. You remember this bit from the gameplay oh, demo? Oh, I do. This is one of the notorious side-by-side -side bits. Again, we'll get to that. Yeah, the corridor looked a lot better in, uh, in the demo. Quick run! Look at that. Jaggedy shadow. Yeah, was, jaggedy shadow. That was really good. Caution, do not stop. Umbilical stress point. Jump. We're in. You're in. Umbilical. Great. It's just loading. It's just loading. You can hear the PS3 in the room just, just clicking away. Do, do, do. Is it actually just loading? It yeah, is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh no, it's all gone. Oh, that man's... Oh, there's a lot of jam. That's a dead boy. Have you spilled so much... Oh, I don't think it's worth well, oh, there's it. a... Oh, Excuse hello. me, hello? <laughs> it's a light fixture. Oh, oh you're in it. It's a good start, isn't it? You're really in it. There we go. It's okay. Would you like to look at my jam? <laughs> Here it is. Look, it goes all the way across the floor. Look at my jam. Hey, Peter, which country do you think he's from? This guy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you have any po idea? Possibly the American one. I don't, I don't know, it's a mystery. That is a... Oh, oh. hello? Oh. Oh, oh, he went in me. Oh, I can just... Why did this get through? There he is. There's the inside of the boy. We're playing this unpatched. Oh. It's all very good. Oh, he What's can't... He I don't think he can, he can path when I'm in him. He's just... Oh, he can't. Oh. He's gone now. He's having some nav issues. For those of you who aren't aware of the, the Allen reference it's a mm. it's a shirt that ben has had well, it's a combination I've of two references 
had. Yeah. Here's a picture of it. Where did you, who who makes the shirts? Do you know the guy's name? I can't remember. I know his first name is Michael, but his he has a website called slightlywrongquotes.com. Or at yeah. least, no, he, he contributed to a website called slightlywrongquotes.com. He does lots of funny, weird internet stuff anyway. The truth is over there. Yeah, there's X-Files. all sorts of, uh, there's, there's all sorts <laughs> of like very strange warped quotes. But then in addition, our reference to Alan refers to which Hitman. Is it? Hitman, Hitman. Yeah. yeah. One of the objects, when you pull it up and look at the sort of description of this item, someone has just accidentally left in, Alan, please add details. Yeah. And, and Alan forgot to add details. Alan clearly didn't add details. And then they referenced it later on, I think. Mm, yeah, I, in another game. Hell of a way to wake up. Wake up! Oh, sorry. Oh, for I keep God's sake. Me. Press right trigger to die. Yes. It's the death button. So, a lot of these facts are actually taken from a list we've done uh, called 10 PR Nightmare Video Game Launches. One of them, unsurprisingly, is Alan Colonial Marines. Mm. Uh, So go and watch that list if you'd like to see some other uh, sort of PR whoopsies. Oops. So here we go. The game was developed over six difficult years by Gearbox Software, with Gearbox head Randy Pitchford taking, uh, sorry, talking a huge game in his developer diaries and game, gameplay commentaries, describing it as actual gameplay. That's not like Randy. No, not at all. But upon launch, this proved to be all talk, with the final release being buggy, unstable, full of glitches, especially involving poor AI, and hugely graphically downgraded. In fact, many side-by-side comparisons between pre-release footage and the full game show the extent extent of the damage, here's some footage of that. Here we go. Did you hear that spooky violin noise there? (laughs) I think you were meant to see an alien, but it was just so poorly (sighs) done that you rarely actually see it. Here we go, you can cut it open. In other words, loading. Hold square to cut. Hold square to load the next area. Here we go. You... I only cut it down... You did it! Oh, because there was a lock, I guess, or some sort of magnetic... Oh, this goopy alien. It's very, very dark again. It's the common theme with... Oh! Oh, alien goopies! You've got, you've got your little uh, beep boop. I don't really know how I, how I pull it up. It's not R2. <laughs> yes, it is. Is it R2? It's, it's L2, sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Well, there we go. Uh, there he is. Uh, oh, he's been... He's been gooped. Here we go. Oh! oh, oh. oh. Ah! That thing. How spooky is this, Peter? It's pretty spooky. I've now I've got 95 bullets, I think it said. Press the square button. He's oh. pushing him through the wall. It's a good start. Are you got... Oh. Hello? Where's it? Is there a torch? Kill Zeno. I can't actually see it. It's so dark. It's really dark, isn't it? Just use the gun to, to look. Maybe it's above... It's above me. It's in the vents. I'm coming out of the goddamn walls. Yeah. Where is it? We're now, we're now pursuing something that doesn't exist. Oh, oh, there it is. You got him. It's dead. So the scary thing about right. Alien in, in the first film, when it was just one, mm-hmm. even that was like an unstoppable force and they were shooting at them and stuff. You know, you can't just shoot them. No. Really. I think that's a problem a lot of the sort of Alien games have, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Let the insignia see. is not slightly visible at all. I can't, I can't see the okay. insignia there at let's, all. Let's, there he is. There he is. You got him. Oh, I'll peel it off. They've right put a chest burster in him already, though. I don't know. Oh. It's always a risk if you find someone stuck to a wall. Oh, there's one. The the oh, 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 none God, of them have... Why, why would that ever be allowed? Don't know. It's so good. Oh, oh, oh that was really close. Oh, look at that guy on the right. It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Come on, bud. Three you go. We've got this as well, look. Look at that fire shotgun. Weirdly textured fire shotgun. Rad, obviously. I think that might actually be a custom job. I might have done that in the Oh, sentence. yeah. I don't know. Right. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> It says Hudson on this... Uh, oh, there we go. Are we, are we Hudson? We well, I think we're Winters, was... aren't we? Because he was a character as well. That's it. There's an alien dead. Just like the film Alien. You remember how hard they were to kill an alien? Yeah, oh, there. That's another one down. Oh. Get him! I yes. do like a shotgun in, in, in my Vigi games. Do you? Yeah. R3 is is shove, shove gun in hole. That's in, it. Right in its alien Gun hole. poke. You're, you're not doing very well health-wise. 
Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I found that so useless in the end. Oh no. It's gonna eat He's me got with, you. Its, with its mouth mouth. With its tiny mouth. Perhaps my <clears throat> favorite meme from the time. Mimi. My favorite Mimi is a footage of Randy Pitchford talking about the game with Fleetwood Mac's Tell Me Lies playing over the top. <laughs> uh, we can't play that for legal reasons. So, here is a picture of a dog dressed as a xenomorph. There it is. Do you think that might be it? Possibly. Oh, look, it's even... Oh, it's quirky. Oh, look at that big keyboard. Has it got a shift? Yeah, it's got some buttons. Hey, it's got so many... It's missing oh, some God. of them, though. It's no caps lock. What was that? He pressed... I think he just pressed the Z key with his pinky finger. Well, that's very dexterous. Yeah. Very strange as well. Hello, are we going back out? Oh, where did he go? It looked like he just fell through the floor there. Oh, God, just please. Hello? Oh, apparently there's an alien there. It's so menacing. Yeah. There he is. Let's watch him. Oh, oh sorry. Sit down. Did I just you... want to watch the next alien. And see yeah, because their AI isn't very, their alien eye isn't very good. Exactly. The, the A in AI stands for alien. Oh, they're having a little party. They're trying to get to you, but Let's they're also just the sort light. of leaping. Let's kill that one. Yeah, that one's... Oh no, he killed that one. Oh, oh, there's another one. Okay, your health is not good. Any more for any more? Oh yeah, there's, there's one still... just sprinting along the corridor. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late. Oh, flop. <laughs> We're absolutely plowing through these. This one marine could have probably killed every alien in the entire the, saga. The first alien film would have been really short, wouldn't it? Yeah. If he Look just... at them, just... <laughs> With their arms out. Oh, he did a little, a little hop. Little air sit. Oh, there we it's go. A technical term. You just air went, sit. Just in midair. You ever do that in the swimming pool when you were little? Just you sit do a on water, water sit. You go down to the bottom and you sit cross-legged, and then you're oh, like, yeah. oh, actually, it's a bit scary, and then you come up again. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the aftermath of the release, all sorts of interesting tidbits came out, including that Gearbox purportedly outsourced development to several other studios as they moved their own staff off Colonial Marines and onto their own internal projects like Borderlands 2 and Nuke Nukem Forever, I've while that. still collecting payment for their work from Sega as if they were actually working on it. Yeah. Um, obviously, we, we, have, we have a friend or two at Gearbox, don't we? We do. We do. And, uh, you know, only only they could tell us for sure. It's, yeah. all, it's all just allegedly, and I'm sure they know that these stories go around and we're just repeating the story. Yeah. You guys make your own mind up. It's pretty true. But it's probably true. It's like 70% <laughs> true. This is a very fun thing, isn't it? When they just sort of disappear. Yeah. Great. Because their blood burns them from the inside out, yeah. I think is the idea. Yeah, there. that's it. Yeah, I think, I think I may have... Oh! oh. Where'd he go? It's just in two bits. There's only two bits left. Just a tiny bit of him. Oh, oh. look at that one. They're all just running up the walls. I might then... just sort of, if I stand back and just watch the show, because there's got to be, it's only a matter of time before we see, oh, oh, oh that, they, one. that was it. That was it. That was the one you were thinking of. Look at them. They're the, these guys are the apex predator, aren't they? There's that guy there who's just stood there. Do you see him? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. where's he going? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to get you with his tiny mouth. Don't. He's going to eat you with his tiny mouth. He could as well. He could eat. I'm a little bite-sized piece you are. for his tiny mouth. You're, you're an hors d'oeuvre for a, for a tiny mouth. Yeah, I am. You wouldn't even... Oh, well, there we go. Some jam. Some more jam. <laughs> Stay a minute at the door bit. there. This is just a loading corridor, isn't it? There's keys. This is the guy we rescued. Oh, did he just do a sick? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, he exploded himself. Ah. Uh, What's he... The, what did he even grab? They grabbed like a tiny little ledge. His arms aren't that. Yeah, what? what he just he, he doing? just jumped and grabbed. You can't jump against a vacuum. That guy's just sat down. Look at the airflow going. We what? stood up. What? We weren't even backed against where he is, like on on the opposite side. We were just. Oh, ah. Look at all the Lego on the wall, by the way. When we pan back round, look at these Legos. Oh wow! Look at the big Legos. There it is. It's like Duplo. It is. Extra duty Duplo. Yeah. Extra Duplo. Duty. Right. Can Does this man have eyeball? Oh, you can't collide with him. It's just Keys. Keys is the only man who... Maybe it's because he was a ghost all along. Are we? Who's in charge here? <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> he was gone in one frame. Where is he? What? Why do they keep doing that? 
Oh, is oh, it? Oh, God. Oh, he went in you. There is a speed run for this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's on PC. There are no speed runs on the PS3 version for some reason. It's weird. Oh. Uh, Corpse Flesh, who is a German player, completed the game in how long? Certainly a spooky name for today's Corpse episode. Flesh. Corpse Flesh. Ooh. Look at that. That's a scary. Look at that Corpse Flesh. Uh, probably. Oh. Oh. Dynamic. Pro probably in a quick time. Uh, Apple Quick Time in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. An hour, an hour and one minute. Mm, not far off. Uh, an hour, 39 minutes okay. and 53 seconds. So quite a while. Right. Uh, quite a while. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to find Bella. Oh. Did that just say it's an oral sex thing? Yeah, I did. I did hear that. I didn't get the context there. No, neither did I. I. Just, just Do we we're, need it? We're walking around surrounded by corpses, and he said, Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of an all sex thing. Um, you know when you yeah. stick yeah. Uh, a yeah. dead person in your mouth? Yes. It's kind of an all sex thing for me. No, oh, okay, well, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, Alan. hello. <laughs> He's just completely in faith by the giant alien one. That alien's dimension. just walking into. A Oh, oh, hello. Can I use that? Oh, I uh -oh, just pressed uh -oh. the D-pad. Yeah, have you got any Healy boys? What is that? A oh, grenade? Right. Oh. <laughs> that was a self-destruct, I think. What was that? <laughs> I guess I can let go. I was holding the button down. <laughs> I guess when you let go, he throws it away. You but exploded into so many parts. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I've got like special slugs if you use our uh, right trigger in this. It's, yeah. It's like a. a oh! Special what? sludge. Where's yeah. he. Go what? <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> what? What happened? I, I used my special slug on it. Maybe it's explosive. So, in April 2013, mm. two players filed a lawsuit claiming that Gearbox and Sega had falsely advertised the oh, game yeah, by showing okay. demos at trade shows that did not resemble the final product. Although Sega suggested settling the lawsuit from their part and agreed to, play, to pay 1.25 million US dollars, they denied any illegal behavior. However, Gearbox, being wonderful and upstanding, filed a request to have claims against them dropped, oh. stating that the company as a software developer did not have responsibility for the marketing decisions, even though it's I'm assuming... Marketing. Yeah, they lied about the pre-release stuff. That, that's literally all there is to it. The lawsuit uh, lost class action status and Gearbox was dropped from the case in May 2015. Wow. So they managed to get out of it. Jesus. They got out of any legal responsibility but, for all the misleading stuff that was put So out. two people wanted to sue Sega for it. Yeah. And they... They were offered a settlement of over a million dollars, did mm -hmm. you just say? Who yeah. were these people? Were these just a couple of people who bought the game and thought, no, we've been diddled here? Or um, was it someone big and famous? I didn't look into it specifically, but usually Some when sort of with something like this, it will be it will be sort of uh, either a consortium of, uh, of players or good stuff. Yeah, it's usually not just a guy, yeah. for example. You can't just offer a million... That man did not suffer one million dollars in losses for playing this I game. I didn't get any money for, for getting this game. No. Where's this guy going to go? There's a lot of walls for him to navigate. There's a slightly weird auto-aim that only occasionally works. <laughs> so most of the time, it's, it's on you. But then, right. you know, sometimes it'll just pull you across Whoa. like that when you're watching. Oh, well, there's an Alan. Alan, please add go away. He's gone. Alan, please, sorry, I'm just thinking about the fact that someone left that in, in Hitman. It's so please, stupid. Please add details. Alan, please add details. Alan, for God's sake. Alan. Alan, I told... Oh, a boy! Oh, he really ran... Oh, Jesus, God, this is so... a fast one. Where's he gone? He's gone. He's had, he's had enough. <laughs> he's come to add details. Hello? Oh, he's double... Oh, he's inside you! What? It's mostly about... Just a random splat texture appeared then out of nowhere. That's fine. O'Neill, get him! Was it. <laughs> O'Neill, get him! You can see him. <laughs> He's just spraying. Get him, O'Neill! O'Neill! Oh, O'Neill! Oh, no, now you can go through him. I think it's when they're sort of doing an animation. Comrades. They have no... There's his ball. There's his ball. Got him! See his ball? Got his oh, ball. Oh, no. Can we crouch? Oh, it's too No, low, don't though. go into his Johnson zone. His Johnson zone. Oh, hello. Hello. Alan. There he is, he fell. Didn't didn't attack you once. No. Please add combat. <laughs> Gotta defend O'Neill while he uh Okay. Does his 
Does this, does this dirty, does this, where are you going? <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was really special. That was one of the specialists. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh, two for one! Two one. Mum! No, no, get the camera! Got any grenades? Oh, yeah. Get him! Oh, no, oh, no! Oh! oh. Bye! <laughs> Speaking of which, last science fact for you. Yeah. Uh, that AI, huh? Mm. That AI, huh? Isn't it? As recently as 2017, a modder discovered a spelling mistake, technically a, a typographical error. Yes. But essentially, a spelling mistake in the game's code, which when corrected, caused the much touted AI to noticeably improve. So there was a typo. Unbelievable. There was a typo in the code that made the aliens stupid. You couldn't write it, could you? Well, if, no, if neither you, could they. No. Hello. I've, I've got to really be using my motion sensor here, I suppose. Oh, oh he's just gone. gone. Bye. Don't bother, you don't need it, do you? Colonial Marines received negative reviews from critics. Yeah? This might surprise you. Has he gone? Who criticised its uninspiring gameplay, technical issues, low-quality graphics, and superficial thrills, especially when compared to Cameron's film. And super... Official thrills. These are some of the the <laughs> most official thrills I've ever seen. This is an identical. We've been. Here. We've been. Oh, it's taking me right back here. Oh, he's he's hiding. He's playing <laughs> Alien Isolation. He's just ducking behind it. Oh, <laughs> this he's one's so really fast. fast. He was fast. You can before, shut that door, he? I think. No. I no. Can't. Oh, yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's in the room. Oh, I keep forgetting not to do that. What percentage on PlayStation 3 did Aliens Colonial Marines get? A little bit of Alien was left behind there. Most of it vanished. But, um, even the average won't be that good. It must have been like 52. 43%. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I agree, but you yeah. know, some, sometimes games just review high for some reason. The highest review comes from CVG, Computer and Video Games. We know that one. Uh -huh. uh, what did they give it out of 100? Maybe 65. Oh, very close. They gave it 62. Yeah. Sure, it looks like the film on the surface. But you don't have to dig far to find a game that fails to live up to the license. Surprisingly, it's the competitive multiplayer that impresses the most. And that is actually something a lot of reviews said, was okay. that the multiplayer was, was one of the better parts. Uh, the next review, we've got a bonus review here from Push Square. Yeah. Who gave it what out of 100? Um, we know that one. We do know that one. 42. 30. Okay. Aliens Colonial Marines is a failure. It's buggy, not a great deal of fun, and filled with unlikable characters that desperately attempt to further a plot that you'll promptly lose interest in. I know why this is a bonus review. Why is that, Peter? Is it because this promo copy is the actual one that is being reviewed there by Benjamin Poot. I played this game from start to finish for a review I wrote for Push Square in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, because I've got the full save, would you like me to suggest a scary level uh, to play while I... Yeah, just to while round I off actually, this Halloween episode. Yeah, while I, while I go for the, the final review. Yeah. That one, I think. The Raven. Yeah, that one's pretty good. By which I mean... Not good. No. But it's at least... Worse than most. Worse than... Not no, as... No, worse than... The other ones are worse than most. This one is just worse than not as most. Yeah. Not as many most. Not as worse than most. Yeah, no. <laughs> On a scale of one to worse than most, it's not quite as worse than most. No. I think that obviously there's a... You brought another one as well, but that you also brought a zero from some silly company. You think the lowest review score was a zero? It's one of those games, isn't it? That like some... some a... Give me a kiss. boy. Kiss, kiss. It's not a zero. Oh, good. It's uh, it's 20. 20% okay. from Dark Station. We don't know that one. Aliens has rarely had much luck with its video game spin-offs, but I was still hopeful that Colonial Marines could deliver an at least solid experience. How wrong I was. This game fails to uphold any sort of quality experience in every way. And worst of all, absolutely nothing of creative merit was attempted. It shot for nothing and still ended up a disaster. Aww. 20 out of 100. So this one has got, um, they've got sneaky listening aliens where you have to creep through the, creep through the, the bile swamp. Right. And try not to alert them to your prep. What are you, what is your guy doing? He's trying to open this flap. It's so really weird in first time. person. Yeah. Squeeps. <laughs> Completely missed it. There, there it is. is. It's just crap. It's just crap, isn't it? 
He puts the grate back when he's done. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now I think you just have to fight it. Okay, I may have picked the wrong level, but there you go. Lovely spooky bit for you. Yeah, the little jump scary bit. Oh no, maybe not. You're safe. Safe and sound. Yeah, aliens well known for not going in vents. Oh my god. Wait, do does, does they not actually go in the vents? He couldn't be bothered, look, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's coming back! You're... What? <laughs> what? It briefly went into letterbox then, widescreen, but then it stopped. How weird. Hello everybody and welcome back to Worst Games. Games. Ever. 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 It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Remember they're not all bad. They're just worse, worse than, than most. most. I'm Ben. And I'm Peter. And this week, Peter, mm. I am what is colloquially known in colloquially. the worst... Colloqui colloquially known in the worst claims uh, circle as a games victim. Oh. Which means that you have to play a terrible game that the game's master has brought for you. Do you know who's the game's master this week? Is it me? It's me! Ah. There you go. Well, that's great. That's exciting, isn't it? Would you like a hint? A hint? I'd love a hint. It is just actually the game is just there on the table behind. But don't. Here's here's a hint. Is it a prop? It's a prop. Why do I hear paper? Have it's you a paper? Have you done our arts and crafts? I've done our arts and crafts. I sure hope you like staples digging into the side of your head because there's no yeah. tape in the office. Well, I love hardcore wrestling matches and they use staples a lot in those. Open your eyes. Am I playing a Star Wars game? Yeah, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks! You look like a, or you like a Mogwai from the Gremlin. I'm, I'm sorry? A Mogwai. What did you call me? A Mogwai. How's there you that? are. It, yeah, it's, I tell you what you look like. You look like the Traveller's Tales weird sort of deer thing. <laughs> You know? A traveller's tail. Yeah, they're still going, aren't they? They are, because they do the Legos. Legos. Yeah. How He's I just a sort of nondescript um, hybrid animal, the traveller's tails man. Am slash I not man. Am I flying? Yeah, just about. Whoa! <laughs> I'm doing it, Mum. You said I couldn't do it, but look. I'm just going to do that in a really just sure a that. vertical line <laughs> sure to that. split the table. Just lower it down. I'm yeah. sure that looked really good. Okay, what am I playing today, Peter? Lair. La layer, layer, are pants you, on fire. Are you calling me a princess liar? I am. Welcome. It's the PS3 bad game of the PS3. I'm I am familiar with this one. Mm -hmm. It was uh, I mean I don't want to take a science fact from you, but it's it was it's an early one, isn't it? It sure is. It's a real early PS3 game, the earliest, some and it, might say. It has dragons in it. Oh, okay. I get it. They're drag wings. These are drag wings. Yeah. Am I all in am I do my wings make it in shot? Yeah. They're not too big, are they? No, they're fine. Be honest with me, comments. Do I look fly? Should we? Yeah, I yeah. think we should play it now. Mm. We've got some friends with us, Peter. We sure have. Uh, from right to left to left to right to right to left, we've got Scandal Penguin. John claude Van Lam. Billy Ray Dolores. Dick Mychinko. Billy Ray Walrus. Steven Seagull. And Lair. And Lair, and, and the Lair. Hot Fresh Science Facts box. Ooh, this title supports the autosave of save data. Wow, it supports autosave. You might not use it, but it supports it. Yeah. 2006, huh? Mm hmm. That's a long, old game. Oh. Is the old THX. Moo. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> Remember these adverts for THX? The little things easy. Uh -oh. Uh, don't do it. Don't do no. it. good though, isn't it? Yes. It's really good. That is pretty good. I like that. Because <laughs> it's full of cows. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got chased off by dragons. What? And then used a really nasty chalkboard font. Oh. Yeah, that's like a, one of the ones that's come with Microsoft yeah, Word for about 10 years. Five. Five. Whoa, it was an production. explosive factor. Five factor. It looks factor. like the five from Resi 5. Yeah, it does. Resident Evil. Five. Five. Oh. oh, this is very... 
Simple, isn't it? Sorry, can you see? Where's the menu? Can you see it down there? Nope. <laughs> they freed up so much screen for that dragon. Just the brightness. Every just la everything's loud all the time. That's just put everything on full and loud and biggest and brightest and boldest, and it's still going to be. Shit. <laughs> okay, so I have played this before, but not a lot. I think literally not a lot in a in a pre pre worst games uh, world mm. where I used to play terrible video games on YouTube for fun. Oh god! Literally, the only other time I played this was to mock it. So let's let's do it again, shall we? Oh my goodness! Looks like we're going to the prologue. Oh, well, that's, handcuffs, ooh. kinky. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, that's all. Writing right in English. God. We're gonna get a lot of exposition here. Coming over here, not writing in our language. Yeah, what, what is that stupid squiggly nonsense? Bloody dragons. The volcanoes awoke. Their molten rivers scarring the land and choking the air with their discharge. <laughs> Oh, no. look, it's the Sauron Yeah, well, remember, tower. this is not Lord of the Rings. Isn't it? No, or it's Laird, it? Laird of the Rings, which actually is a really funny joke, because not only does it include the word Lair, which is the game we're playing today, yeah. but also the Scottish, uh, Scottish word for Lord is Laird. Is it? That's hilarious. I'm hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. Oh, you outdid me. Oh. Look at him go. God, there's a lot of bollocks, isn't there, happening there's right now? There's a lot of bollocks before this game starts. Also, we're playing with a... PS4 controller, which I know has a uh, tilt tiltability, but the big thing about this game was, wasn't it that it had six axis? Yeah. So I don't think we're going to be able to play with the six axis, which is a real shame. Oh! oh! Danny Chuggums. Right. Hang on. Right goes left and left goes right. In what universe is that right? In an X inverted universe. Oh no. Lair is an action adventure video game developed by Factor 5 and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released for the PlayStation 3 in August 2007 in North Amarisa. No, sorry? North Amarisa. Oh, what was that? Hang on, hang on, I'm trying to turn, but remember left is right and right is left. That will not do. I'm, I've paused it, it's thinking about it. Oh my god. Never have oh I seen a, such a slow... We've this played is... some bad games in our time, but none of them take that long to pause. I know this is a launch title, but one of my favourite PS3 games is Resistance Fall of Man, which is also a launch title, and that... It's just, this is very poorly optimised, I yeah. can already tell. It is, yeah. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. That was a bit extra, wasn't it? It was a bit extra, it was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> okay, we're good. No, it doesn't. We got, oh, no, it's doing that thing again. It doesn't like that we're using a PS4 controller. I'm going to have to use the sticks. The game relies relies heavily on the PlayStation 3 six-axis motion controls. Oh, uh, well. So we might be in trouble. The player flies the dragon by tilting the controller with additional moves also using motion sensing. One such example is fighting a dragon by tilting the controller to match the enemy dragon's flying height, then slamming the controller left or right to knock the dragon sideways and out of the battle. So do you think we're gonna... I don't know what we can do about this. Is this gonna be a... Oh. No! Pitch up! I'm pitching! Okay, so. It went about as predictably well as 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 anything we do ever does. I mean, at least we've we arguably we've been slightly more honest. At, like we we've, we've we weren't emulating this. We're playing it no. on a real console with a real disc. And the one time we do play things legitimately, yeah, it punishes us because we don't have a PS3 controller. So I'm going to go home now and get a PS3 controller. and get a PS3 controller. I'll get a bit of, of live action footage of me oh. getting the controller as well that we'll put in. Okay, that's good. Uh, so just to make it a bit more dynamic, Peter, hold this. Oh, okay. I'll be I'll be right back. Which, but it's going to take you like an hour. Do you want me to just wait here? Off he go off he goes. <laughs>
God, that scared me. Oh, that was, God, that was that a was really not, loud one. That was really loud. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've got it. Didn't know I had it in me. <sighs> You're back. I'm back from outer space. Don't just turn, turn around, around now. now. Let's play. Oh, there's a water bottle I've just kicked over. It's fine. It's got a secure lid. It better. My glasses, Ben. I forgot they were, they, oh. you know, in the continuity we've, oh, people oh. are going to know that it, it was a, it was a, a trick. You, no, you sleeped them right off your face and upstairs onto your desk. Yeah. You sleep so hard. They got so up to hard. my desk. So, yeah, I slept here the whole hour that you were gone and they went up to my desk by then. At movie goofs on Twitter. Ridiculous. In, oh, in Back to the Future, Marty McFly drives a DeLorean in 1955, which wasn't actually manufactured <laughs> until 1981. That is a good... What a big goof. Good goof, that one. Yeah. Should we play? Mm. Am I going to be able to do it this time? Do a 180. Whoa! Was that 180 you just turned around? Yeah, just... Oh. I mean, it was a, a, a 180 on the... Oh, what are these? On the x-axis. Can I... Oh, God, here we go. This is where the real Dark Souls begins. Oh, my God. Really? Rage. Oh my god, it's rage vision, look. That, is that actually how you pilot your dragon? Can you not use your thumbstick for it as well? Yeah, I can, but it does it does both. So if I'm sitting... Oh no, what's happening? Oh no, now I've got to do it this way. I have no... <laughs> it's just, this just got a whole lot worse. Oh. Oh. In Lair, Lair, the world is filled with deadly volcanoes. Volcanoes, Volcanoes. Huh? Yeah. You know, the, the, the holes in the world. Which devastated the world's natural resources and air, it says. And air. And air. It devastated the natural resources and air. It led the native people to split into two warring nations, the poor Mokai. I was talking about Mokwais Mo Mo earlier. Oh, yeah, Mog Mogwais. The poor Mogwais and the well off gremlins or Assilia. Assilia. They're not called gremlins. So you've got the rich boys and the poor boys. Yeah, the story re revolves around. Ron Partridge. No, it doesn't. Well, it's R O H N, so it's probably like Roan. But oh. yeah, his name is Ron Ronald Partridge. I'm gonna Look go at with. Look the graphics wow. on this one. It is a bit. That music sounds like the. <laughs> -na 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 -na. You know when they do that weird spinny bit where for about two and a half seconds. Wabbity 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 wabbity. Yeah. Oh, oh, fell asleep. Oh, standing Wake up. up, Ron Partridge. Ron, oh, Ron, there he is. Big night, Ron. Cousins. Aha. What? Cousins? Did he just imply that he did a possibly with, with his cousin? This is a medieval fantasy setting. Something's falling. You can hear it from the cartoon fall. Yeah. How did no one clock that? Oh, look at him run on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Oh, oh, what was that rogue frame? A rogue frame there. It might have just been a sort of a plane thing. Or... Welcome to rogue framers. I'm ready to fly. Yeah. I'm not a rider of Rohan. Ignore the helmet. Oh! oh why is it? No, it's really Chuggums. Mount. Hiya! Uh, Take off. Oh god, here we go again. Most of the game's battles are air-based combat. Great. Well... With some fought on the ground by landing the dragon and fighting troops and other land-based creatures. I get creatures. to land the dragon. Yeah, and fight troops and other land-based creatures. By the way, your your YouTube app player isn't isn't broken or anything like that. It just this is how slowly the game runs. <laughs> yeah. It just looks like this. There's nothing wrong with your with your viewing experience. Do not adjust your sex. Your viewing experience is beautiful. Do, oh, do not do not adjust your sex unless you don't identify with the one you were born with. In which, in which case, case, go for it. Yeah. We love you. A morale system, this is the same fact, a morale okay. system is also present in which enemies may retreat. Are these they, baddies? If they suffer low morale. Can, I, can, I can you crash into the sea? <laughs> oh. It's really Really bad. Chug Chugly Dursley, isn't it? Oh! Ah! Huh. Yes, it works. Just like dragons. Oh, it doesn't, it can't cope with its own effects. Snack. Nah. Oh, hello. Uh! <laughs> oh, I don't know if that was a good guy or a bad guy. Right. If you were attacking a city that you knew had, like, dragon support, yeah. would you come in, like, little explosive boats? <laughs> Don't think I would. We need our most explosive boats. <laughs> I think I would come on dragons. I'm sorry? Oh, I think I would come on dragons. Okay. I think I would print off a photo of a dragon yeah. and come all over it. Dragulate. Yeah, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Get him! I've got points on the left. 
1950 one, tons three times. Right. Well, that was the end of that bit. Mm. Okay, we've done a bit there. Oh, baddie dragons. Oh, no. I told you, that's what... Oh, oh they've got blue fire. Blue fire, just so you can tell the difference. But it explodes with, with redness. Oh, Gromit, please. Gromit, please. Gromit, please. Please. Alan, Alan please. please. Alan, the details, Alan. Alan, the mountains, where are the details, Alan? Gromit, what have you done with the six-axis controllers? <laughs> Gromit, please. It's, this, it's gone wrong. Gromit, the six-axis. I feel like I'm really riding one. Yeah, so I've now completely lost the ability to steer with the analog sticks, which is super interesting, bearing in mind that when I when it could tell I had no six axis, it let me use the sticks. There's but no still options, wouldn't let you get past the but tutorial. Would not let me get past the tutorial, and there's no option to switch between it in the options. But now it knows I've got six axis, I can't use the six to control it anymore. What? How how peculiar is that? That's very peculiar. How peculiar is that? The left and right things do stuff this time, which is nice, except if you go right, it, it, it pans left for some reason, which is really, really, and if you pan left, it goes right. I don't, I'm so confused. Why is everything inverted? Maybe it's, maybe this is set in Australia, Australia. Oh yeah, they're all backwards, they're aren't all, they? Th what? They're you cannot backwards. say that about yeah, no, a, an entire are. nation. No, they're all backwards, aren't no, they? No, no, they're not. Yeah, no, they are. They're all backwards. I moved here and come from Canada, and you think I'm slow, eh? <laughs> A thousand blossoms blue, as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. <laughs> but I ain't spending any time on it. Oh, people are entitled to their own sexual properties. I really feel like I'm making no progress here at all. Please. No grass. Oh, I hit a white. I hit a white dragon oh. right on. Oh, nice. I hit one of those filthy cracker boys. I got Whoa, him. I shot. Blap blap. Got him. Blap blap. Blap blap. The the thing goes blap blap blap. Uh, oh oh. So now I got a lock on, do I? Strike. Striker! <laughs> I'm I'm Al Ron Partridge. Get him! Striker! Get him! Oh, that was liquid football! Oh, he's oh. got a wing like a traction engine. He just disappeared as that faded out. He okay. just he just he just went. We unlocked double slash as well. Oh yeah. I can't wait to forget how to use that. Circle X. Uh, okay, grain silo saved. That's an <laughs> important aspect of this game, it seems. But did you save any grain One, silos? Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh! Oh. It was like fading out. I felt like I was clinically dead for yeah. nearly ten seconds there. Oh. Oh, look out. What is that? I hope that's the thing that's talking to you on the radio right <laughs> now. They have a catapult. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Three. Oh. <gasps> You're on the ground. <laughs> oh, it's so horrible. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Whoa. How are you doing that? What? Oh, are you on all fours? No, you're just. He's just running real quick <laughs> and real low. Sun's getting real low, big guy. I'm convinced that if you were that dragon running like that, it would make more sense balance wise to then stop bounding with your arms and not... Look how low his hands are, but he's deliberately not touching the floor. This is the fastest dragon. This is the what? I can't go right, there's an invis... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, look at the shiny boys. Oh, they were a really low frame rate in the distance. Oh, this is so crap. <laughs> because some of the reviews... Oh! Someone, I feel like someone dropped this into like a, a vat of baby oil. It's just so blurry and weird. The trees. Help. <laughs> ah, ah. Swipe. Whoa. There's just so much going on. Oh. And all of it is bad. It's just one of those games, isn't it? Where it's like, it's overly ambitious. And they've almost kind of managed to do the things that they wanted to do, but just none of it in a very good way. You know... They wanted grand scale battles. What was that? Was that fit? Sorry, hang on. Triangle is feed. Oh my. No, no, no! Oh. You're not eating him yet, you're just holding him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get away. He's gonna eat me too. Son. Are they gonna attack you at all? Son. 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 <laughs> Son. He's just... 
he gets knocked down, but he'll get up again. Son. 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 Hi, son. Just can you scratch me under? I can't reach the bottom son. of my wings, son. Do you pose? Do you pose a dear threat to my life, son? Son. Do you pose a dear threat to being able to walk, son? Oh. What, why would I need? No. What is <laughs> what is happening? It was doing shot put for a minute then. Off we go. Are you hugely impressed by this soundtrack? Do you think it's like it rivals Mr. John Williams of the movie of the movie films? You know what? The soundtrack is probably the best part of this game. It's the best part of this game. How do I How best part of this game is it though? Do you think it's Oh! Ooh. That's how that works. <laughs> Cuz I've got a single I've got a score here from Track Sounds who oh. rated video game scores. Oh cool. Out of 10. What do you think this tr soundtrack got from Track Sounds out of 10? Um, did it get seven? No, it got more than that. Oh, eight. I'm, I'm going to quote from Wikipedia here. A review on Track Sounds gave the soundtrack a score of 10 out of 10. Whoa, that's, that's a high one. Then it says, it says 10 out of 10, comma, the highest possible score. <laughs> no. You're kidding. Sorry. The highest possible score. Yeah. There was some real Danny Jenkins going on there in that, in that bridge. It's a shame because the dragon looks quite oh, quite good. Oh. I can't even... We have to save the rest. I literally can't react fast enough. I don't know where we're going. They've, de they've deployed them along the banks. Well, there they are. <sighs> Get them. Get them. Get him. Get him. Go get him. Are those barges on my side or are they not? They're on your side, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's some more. Like, the dragon's quite well animated-ish, and, you know, you can tell they've obviously put a lot of time on the dragon itself. What? And you kind of feel like, oh, God. What's that? Is that a kite? Is that, that a house flying? What is that? Is that... Dis dig what? Dis it's so explosive, though. Disney Pixar's The oh, Up. Did we just kill Carl? Yeah. Carl. No, well, he's dead now, isn't he? Because he was old. Yeah. He's well, old then, must, so must he's, be dead. he's dead now, isn't he? Yeah. I, um... One of my first jobs, I was um, a manager at a charity shop. Um, and there was an old lady... You are killing your own men. I was killing my own men, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of the old women who used to volunteer there uh, went to see um, War Horse. Ah! Oh! And they were talking about it, like, the next day at work, and they were saying, Oh, it was really nice, you know, and I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure if the horse was going to die in it or not. I thought it's the kind of thing where the horse might die at the end. Right. And the other lady next to her went, Yeah, it was nice that the horse didn't die. And then she went, of course, it'll be dead now, though. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it was a World War yeah, One Gladys, horse. It will. Yeah. It will. God, there's a lot of peeps there, aren't, aren't there? A lot I mean, of tiny peeps. You know, define peeps. Uh, and the red guy's mine. <laughs> this. Keep the red bar at the top of the screen. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, so it is blue. Get him. You actually are supposed to. You meant to just charge in and, and just do this. kill as many of these people as possible. Oh, that's red. Sorry. Sorry, red. Looking for the blue. Are you blue? This is ludicrous. How have they designed this when they... Clearly the console can't really cope. What are you talking about? This is great. I'm just running over horses and stuff. I'm gonna eat a boy. During development, Lair gained attention due to its graphical presentation, apparently. And developer Factor 5's uh, reputation also helped. However, upon release, it was seen as a critical and commercial failure. Yeah. It received mixed <laughs> reviews according to the review mixed, huh? mixed reviews according to the review aggregation website Metacritic. Right. What do you think? The average was I suppose because it was a PS3 game and it was a launch title. It, there was still some novelty to it, even if it was a bit crap. Yeah. I um, guess for a lot imagine like, you know, PS3 launch. So really, you've come from your PS2 and then this comes along. Again, I'll say it again, the dragon I think looks quite good. I think the light looks good on the dragon, the back and stuff. So some of this is graphically quite impressive. Some of it isn't though. Some of this you could see on a high-end PS2 game, I yeah. would say. I'd say the Lord of the Rings game on PS2 looked better than this. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't have the freedom of movement and you know, it is very... Um, it's ambitious. It's really ambitious. It's a lot of scale. This is literally, you know how you hear about the budgetary, time, performance, 
narrative purposes. Mm. There should have been stuff cut from this game. Like, this game doesn't need this, no. for example. This is not necessary. Zero troops to go. Did I get them? Did I get all the zero troops? Like, yeah, the games have been wanting to make scenes like this for a long time. This and is they, not how you do it. They've been told not to do it up until this point. Can I eat my own? Oh, I can, I can attack my own boys. Okay. Uh, what do you think the average score was on oh, Metacritic? Oh, yes, average score. I reckon this You are killing your own men. I reckon it got it's 60 on Metacritic. I was pleasantly surprised that it only got 53%. 53, okay, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. Um, and that's based on 55 reviews. 55 people said yes, this is bang on average. Well, I mean, some of them didn't. Some of them said it was bad. <laughs> some of them, unfortunately, said it was really good. What do you think the highest score was? Was it 80? It was higher than that. 85? It was higher than that. 90? It was 90%. Oh my god! Yeah. Who? Who? Play Magazine. No, not Play Magazine! We know that one. That's a real magazine that you can buy in the shop still, I think. Yeah. Uh, Lair has come together beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Lair has come together beautifully with its stunning visuals and incredible soundtrack. Lair may well be the single most powerful experience <laughs> that a man can share with his $5,000 home theatre system. What the hell? Who wrote this? What sort <laughs> Bill of, Gates? What sort of masturbatory, <laughs> fetishized home media experience does this writer have? Lair has come together beautifully. <laughs> Can we make that a running thing now? Yeah. We're about to move on to the lower scores because there were some fairly low scores for this game. Okay. But what you might like to learn before that is, in reaction to some of the low scores that came out in the, in the first few weeks after release, Sony, in brackets, the game's publisher, <laughs> says Wikipedia, yeah. attracted criticism from video game blogs by mailing review websites a Lair Reviewer's Guide following negative reviews of the game. Oh! It's a common practice to post a fact sheet with, re with review copies of a game, yep. but this guide was mailed separately and after negative reviews of the game had been published by oh, said websites. No! As well as providing a 21-page booklet containing artwork, background story, and six pages of instructions regarding the game's... Six pages?! Regarding the game's control system, six pages, the booklet invited reviewers to Open your mind and hands for something very different. I'm sorry? Open your mind and hands for something very different. That sounds like a... You can a, get arrested for saying sounds, that. Yeah, it sounds like a, a something from Operation U Tree. Yeah, it does. Oh my god. What do you think the lowest score was? 30. Exactly that. Oh! It was 30. And that lowest score of 30 came from... Game Spy, Total PlayStation, <laughs> Edge Magazine, yeah. uh, Games, Trademark, and Gamers is his Temple. Okay, I knew a few of those. And uh, Gamers Temple said, yes. HD or no, Lair isn't a film to be watched, it's a game to be played. Therein lies the problem. Lair is nearly impossible to play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it, that's all my facts. I really wow. powered through some of those at the end. Well, really. that's, thank you very much for all your facts. That is a good point, though. If if I could play this whole thing with, honestly, it responded pretty well just by using the analog sticks. Mm. If it wasn't six axis, I think it would probably review better. It's still crap and looks crap and plays like crap, but such a shame. You'd actually be able to play it. And this was playable on PSP, so maybe. Oh yeah, there was remote. There was some sort of remote play thing, wasn't there? Yeah. So I don't know if that. Oh, I forgot. Move, yeah, didn't require that bollocks. This nonsense. Uh, or what? But... That might explain the weird, useless right analog stick. Mm. Well, that was a fun bit of flying. To the... What is this? Is that a laser beam face? What was that? Yeah, it was a face. Look. <laughs> uh... <laughs> they exploded. The... Oh. My dragon's been hit. Oh, it's no. an ambush. I'm done. Uh, thank you for giving me my wings. You're welcome. Ah. Oh. Wingdings. <laughs> that's what. That's where it came from. Mm. That's the thing. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Worst Worst Games, games. Ever Games Ever. Ah, oh, it's the show where we play terrible video games. Video games sent in by you. By you. Remember, they're not all 
worse than ever. They're sometimes they're worse than that's the phrase, right? They're yeah. worse than sometimes they're worse than most. Well, I need you to get that phrase right this time because this is sort of one of those. Oh, where it's it's, it's they're not always bad games. A little bit wink wonk, but they're just worse than worse than most. My name is Ben. My name is Peter. Peter. Mm. It's school picture day today. It is school picture day today. Which is why we're dressed up looking extra snaz. Don't get used to it. <clears throat> oh, don't get used to it. And when you see us in a fortnight's time also wearing this, that will also reveal you know that holy we buckets, sometimes, boys. sometimes record these things in batch. Holy bouquets. Yeah. Holy, holy buck bucks. Holy buck cakes. Look at, you, look at you boys looking all smart and stuff. Yeah. Peter, mm -hmm. this week, I am the game's victim. And uh <sighs> this was the music I'm after. What does that mean, Peter though? What does that mean? Well that means that I have brought a game along for you to play that's worse than some, and uh, you're going to have to sit and play it, and I've got some And I've got some science right. facts for you. <laughs> a moment. He was a war criminal though. That was. Guy. Yeah. I've forgotten what From he even looks like. Yeah. Uh, We need that one back at least, because that contains the hot and fresh science facts that I have brought along today, all about Shrek Super Slam! Oh my god! You've heard of Shrek Slam, but get ready for the Super, this is like the SNES version. You've heard of Super Slam, but wait until you meet Shrek. Yeah, there he is. Fantastic. Shrek I can't, Super Slam. I can't wait to play that. Let me just pick up our friend. Would you yeah. like to slowly begin introducing the... Hello cable is wrapped okay? around my yeah, leg. Of course, I'll introduce our friends from stage left to stage right. Is that how it works? I'm not sure. Is stage left from the person's perspective on the stage? Yeah, I think so. Right, so from stage left we've got Scandal Penguin, Billy Ray Dolores, Billy Ray Walrus, We've got Steven Seagull with his Russian passport. We've got Dick Mychinko. And we've also got Jean-Claude Jean Van, Van Lam. You good? You back? I'm in. What was it like down there? Was there, was there a lot of blood? There's no floor down there, actually. No? It's just sort of beams and then like a bottomless pit between them. Oh, yeah. Strange. Great. It's a bit scary. Well, from uh, one scary thing to another. I completely... It's not empty. It's got facts in it. Yes. I promise. And by that, I mean I'm going to put my phone in it. Facts and knowledge. That have, have the facts written on it. Knowledge is weightless. Yeah. From one scary thing to another, Peter, it's time to play the video game, shall we go? Let's do it. Shabba. Games. Sh oh, it's gone. Act Activia. Activ. Mm. Bifidus Actiregularis. Is it real? <laughs> you bet your anus it is, which it gifts with the with the loving with gift the anti bloating <laughs> abilities. Anti anti bloativacterium. My tummy just feels like a football. Tummy feel betterium. Oh, there he is, little balloon balloon, balloon fella. boy. Do you remember balloon boy? from the news a few years ago, the one who flew away in balloon, the balloon. Balloon, what was? But then he didn't, and he was actually in the, he was in the, the attic the whole time. You remember? He what? was in the loft. Oh, the American the balloon The American boy. balloon. God, I do. Yeah, and then he, that was weird, wasn't it? It was a bit upsetting. And then he was on the news after that, and yeah. they, he said, uh, like, about his dad, he was like, you guys said we did this for the show. We did this for the show. And it, it's like his, his parents, yeah. like, pretended they'd lost their child in, like, a balloon. To apparently get publicity. But it might not be that simple, Peter. I watched a video from the internet historian. Sorry, I will, I will get to this in a to second. this absolute, yeah. what is this? Um, from, from the internet historian about Balloon Boy, where actually it turns out in subsequent years that may not have been the case, but sort of the, the internet and the world have made up their mind already. Oh. And the parents just sort of had no choice but to admit fault because it appeared they'd been caught red-handed, even though they kind of well, maybe had I thought the dad had like a track record of trying to get on oh, telly all did. the time. But... He did, that's what makes it so interesting. It's, oh, it's, it's wheels within wheels. It is, you should go and watch it, but after this though. Yeah, after not, the, not now. Uh, after that giant Oh, there's Egg Boy, Egg Boy and Sin Egg Boy, Woman, uh, Gnome, Troc, uh, there goes, chimney, there's, there's, yeah, there's um, Tyler Breeze, Prince Pity again. Uh, the, oh, there's the T-Pose out of the arena there. <laughs> Fantan oh, slap donkey. Oh, 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 he just hit us. Wow. I don't feel safe. Do you feel safe? Shrek super slam. Oh, look how fast he's running in that. Uh, oh, yeah. Excuse me? Don't worry, don't worry about this. Um, I haven't actually written this fact down, but Bewhip, um, 
There's occasional texture issues when you emulate this game, but the actual <laughs> in-game gameplay is okay. It's just cutscenes and menus that are sometimes winkly wonkletons. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah? It's just the color of puke, isn't it? Options. Subtitles. Subtitles are on. Oh, credits. Mm. We did it. Now oh, that's the end. It's over. Jeff Cooperman. Oh, great name. Yeah. Uh, over the Hedge trademark. Excuse me? What's Just play this? a different game. Is this the film or? No, this is definitely the game. This is the, yeah. Look We've got this, house. haven't we, for worst games? Yes, oh. I think we have. Take back the Oh, with a friend. Let's not. Let's just... <coughs> oh, got to save it. What should I... Oh, mega challenge! Oh, no, play the story. It's trophy great. Trophy room... Oh, forgot. I'm so sorry. It's loading the trophy room now. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, hello. What? Oh, you can walk around the trophy room. There he is. There's <laughs> your boy. Oh. 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 oh! oh! I'm not sure I like that at all. Shrek Super Slam is a fighting <laughs> video game featuring characters from the Shrek film series. It was developed by Seven Studios <laughs> and Shabba Games. Oh. <laughs> Look, sorry. Look at this. <laughs> Look how quickly that he does the swing, though. Do you want to see him do a kip up? Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oof. Wow. Straight up. Um, and published by DreamWorks Animation, it says. Oh. Not DreamWorks Interactive or DreamWorks Soft. So it's just DreamWorks in emission. Yeah, that's what it says. It's weird. Anyway. Oh. Oh, you got a. Thanks, Shabba Games. Oh, God, you can just. Throw the can I, I can move around. A thanks it. from the crazy people it. who made this game. Sort of bagpipe music because he's inexplicably Scottish. Yes. This is me coming back from the kitchen at 3 a.m. with a block of cheese. Mm. Get out of my way. The, the game oh. was released on PS2, Xbox, GameCube, Nintendo DS, Microsoft Windows, and Game Boy Advance. Whoa! In 2005. That's a lot of. Whoop. Wow, the Shrek Nado. <laughs> Can you say that a bit more, Peter Austin, for me, please? Whoa, the Shrek Nado. The pause button doesn't work. What? Oh, there it is. Jesus, what, the pause button. What was button. it? I pressed. I don't want to press it again, just in case. Weird. I don't know what I had to press to make that happen, but yes, I'm sure I want to. How quit. strange. How weird. Right. right. Uh, story? Yeah. Fairy tales of destruction. Crumb. Cowboy Puss is acting crummy in the poison apple. Stop him. We all want a bit of Cowboy Puss. Do you want a bit of Cowboy Puss? Yes. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Oh. What is happening to the sky? I'm pr What yeah. is so Peter? That, that's the other major texture issue in this. Fiona had no face. She had no face. Well, it's that's their third form. What's going on with the skybox? Is it? Are they no, on top of a mountain top no, ruin? No, no. God, the floor. It's like crash bash. So this is our fault. This stuff. Yeah, this is the emulator's fault. Right. But when we get into, I have tested the game, and yeah. the gameplay is fine. So they, so they are meant to be in a building. It's not meant to be some sort of sky around the top oh. of the uh, at the top of the mountain. No, no, they're not like on the top of that bit where Gandalf was with the moth. They're not on like an right. open top tower. It's it's inside a building. Okay. Um, Tell me what's going on. The main plot focuses focuses on Shrek and his friends attempting to help Donkey put the Dronkies to sleep. The, you mean the affront to Jesus abominations? Yeah, the the crimes against science and nature. Yeah. Uh, 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 Look, all... the, the tops just flickered in and out. Oh no. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because they want to watch Survivor Sherwood Forest together at right. the Dragon's Keep. When one of the Dronkies inadvertently destroys the family's storybook though, the group takes turns in creating their own stories. Oh, so this is all fictitious? Yeah. So this is Cowboy Puss? This is Cowboy Puss. You want a bit of that Cowboy Give me Puss? A yeah. I thought that said breast milk then. <laughs> your breast milk. Give me a shot of your and breast the milk. Cookie chaser. Monster! Look at them all just run into shot. <laughs> <laughs> that classic western trope. Quick, get in the get way. In, get in frame. Get in the way, everyone. This is your moment. After telling enough stories, the donkeys do fall asleep, only to be woken up after Shrek yells at the game's announcer oh. for talking too much in the epilogue. For God's sake. Aha! He's going to eat the, the mini ginge. The, the, oh god, I nearly said something really bad. Just say it's an, an amalgamation of mini and ginger. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I see. 
You know the one. That's not so bad. I thought you meant it was like some sort of... Or a bit of cowboy puss, if you will. Man yeah. Versus... Pussy boots! Oh my, sorry. Versus pussy boots! Pussy boots! Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna hammer... So oh, how do, the... I, how do I block? Your I... cowboy ginge, right? Yes. Has the game not... Oh, that... that's... I guess that's block. Just giant shield. Okay. Is it possible to lock on? Uh, so I'm filling this slam. Welcome to the filling this slam meter welcome at to the, the jam. Oh, you slammed him good. Oh, he's running away. Because you've got your slam. Do sla do you slam again. I'm. I there. Think, I think I got him. You did a great one. There's a giant ham over there. Who's on that picture up there? Oh, we'll find out in a sec. I'm just gonna slam this this puss first. <laughs> oh, there's more ham there. Yeah, just slam that puss with your pork. Oh, he stands no chance against me. No, you've absolutely trounced him. Can I pick him up? He's not really attacking yes. you back, is he? No, it's not. It's but, not hard. But really. he is occasionally doing stuff, so it's not. Oh, like... oh he's got the ham. Oh, it's okay, I got him. How, how does it play? How does it control? Uh, n I mean, it's simple enough. I'm pressing triangle to do my big slam. Yeah. What's? Ha Hello? Oh. Oh, we. I don't know what that was. No, that was weird. Um, X is jump. And I think circle lets me pick, yes. Let's me spin people around on my- What? On my candy cane. That doesn't work. How do you know? Have you tried it? There's no pivot point on a candy cane. It's rounded at the top. Oh, the ultimate slam. Got him. It's, his ultimate slam's not very fun, I don't think. No, he just sort of throws some sort of do I, shiny. Do I win? Yeah. Yes, chapter complete. Four slams. That's pretty good. It is. Well, this is good, isn't it? You unlocked your... Uh, play again. Cool. I had so much fun. No, no, please, no? please okay. no. On to the next chapter. Every character slam attack have different effects and range. Every character slam attack have different effects and range. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, the roof thing is happening again. The sky roof. Do I need a breath, man? Is that is that Eddie Murphy? No, it's absolutely okay, not. Okay, all right. No, yeah. it's just a good. It's one of those voice actors who specialises in imitating people. They are meant to be outside, these guys. Right, but not quite that outside. No, that's almost too outside. No, because it's chopping off the top of the, and man. the top of the door. Oh God, yeah. Look, there he I is. think they could have climbed over that if yeah. they wanted. My hairy hook over my muscular and heavily lotion dead body. What? Oh, Jamie Lannister's going to get you. Yoki! Oh my god. Versus Prince Charming! Versus, 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 Versus Prince Charming! Can Prince. I throw him off the cliff? For example, Shrek's green storm attack will send his opponents flying as he undergoes flatulence at close range. Undergoes flatulence, is that the phrase? Yeah, that's what Wikipedia says. <laughs> uh, while Robin Hood's arrow swarm has him commanding his band of merry men to litter the battlefield in raining arrows from the sky. Other, exa Whoa. <laughs> Other examples include Pinocchio's buzz bomber, in which his nose grows as he flies across the arena at opponents. Or Fiona Ogre uses Ogre Aria. Fiona Ogre. <laughs> to blast her enemies while floating projectile singing notes. That, that's what Shrek's last name is, isn't it? Ogre. Shrek Ogre. Well, I think it's because you can play as Fiona in both her ogre form and her princess form. You know, oh, I see. The hot version and the non-hot version. Excuse me, Peter. Yeah. I know what I know the whole the whole moral of Shrek 1 is that beauty is Beauty the, and beauty is the beast. It's beauty is the beast, but we all Whoa! We all know that human Fiona is way more attractive than Ogre Fiona. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. I, pr I prefer Cameron Diaz to a frog. To, yeah, some sort of pun involving an ogre right. and her name. Mm -hmm. This is really intense. Yeah. Got Whoa! Him. Oh. It sort of wants to be Smash Bros. Well, doesn't that's it? the thing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because because they lose they lose a point when uh, when they, when you hit them with your slam. And yeah, you've got your slam, and you can like send them pinging off. You know what's cowardly? What? That I can't initiate Mortal Kombat style fatalities and just throw him into the lava. You're right. That would be good. Maybe at the end of the fight. If you win, you'll just chuck him into the. Whoa! Oh, he hit me. Into the into the lava. Yeah, that'll be good. I strip off all his flesh. Oh no! And it's just a ske It's just a spooky skeleton. He just becomes a sort of slag on oh. top of the lava. A, a what? Sorry. A slag. A what? A slag. One more time. A slag, floating on top of the lava. I win. It's a metallurgy term. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Molten slag. Yeah, it is. Oh, fair enough. What's happening in this dream? 
ready for this. Oh, it's sort of, it's nearly the festive time as well. Yeah. What is that car made out of? Look like meat. <laughs> my crib. Castle gingerbread. So they're all, it's weird because they're sort of, sto these are <sighs> stories being told to the little donklings, whatever they're called. Yeah, donklets. You stupid but nut. Don't make me bite your head off. Whoa. But they're all sort of TV slash movie themed, it seems. Yeah, it's weird. Like the first one was um, like a Western movie. This is Cribs. And the second one, it said, we are the knights, but it was like an acronym with dots. Like, you know, cops, the TV show cops. Yeah. So they they aped some some like real world stuff in the in the films, but this is just going all out, isn't it? Yeah. We haven't even been inside. Oh, oh of course. The gnome. Look what you've done to my beautiful house. He hasn't touched your house. I'm gonna knock you out. Whoa! This is really escalating. Oh, for God's sake! You're playing as Ginge again. What's he gonna do? Hello? Oh! Oh! Whoa. You ran out of energy. Really, he really didn't take advantage of that at all. <laughs> no. Whoa, oh my god, now he's really angry. Whoa, whoa, well, stop! You, you shouldn't have... Oh, that car's covered in hundreds and thousands, I think. Oh, is that what it is? It's not meat. Well, it could be meat covered in hundreds and thousands. What's he... Where's he going? He's got the magic mirror face. Come back! What on earth are those? What are those? He's got some sort of projectile launcher. Come... It's a trumpet. Come back! It's not even a trumpet, it's like a French horn. This is infuriating. What? How am I going to get him? I don't know. Oh, there's a French horn there. I'll just keep hitting him with it. He's not clever enough to fire his, but I'll fire mine. Yeah, and just wait for another one to come. Why is he just running away all the time? I don't know. Time? It's really annoying. They do this when you have a super slam, but I don't, and now I've got one. One minute left. Oh, what? The range on it is so bad. There we go. Oh, okay, now I've ruined my house. All right, I'll just do this again. Maybe it's like a, a special fight where you're kind of supposed to just shoot each other, but he's just not oh, shooting right, you. Oh, right, because sort of, is it implying some sort of rap connection? Yeah, some sort of... Guns and cribs. Shooting, yeah. That's cool. I get it. It's not very clever, but I get it. No, it's borderline offensive. Oh, oh, my God. Oh! It's a draw. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Oh, he's really on the offensive now. How do you know it's a draw? Where are you getting these numbers from? Because I've hit him one and he's with Oh, you're just counting how many? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just using my math. I thought it was on screen somewhere. And I, I didn't hit him it. with my slam. Come back. There we go. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it briefly says plus one down there. Yeah, why would you want to? You'd think it would keep some kind of score tracker, though, on screen. But I'm just gonna throw these guess at not. I'm just going to throw these at him. I think I won. Yeah. Yes. You win. I'm the best. Ready for another fact? I'd love another fact. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, I'm guessing the top one. I'm sure that's fine. Oh, there she is. Oh, look, there's human version. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It's only borderline playable, isn't it, really? Oh, no. <laughs> this is all there is. <laughs> this one is a really bad one, Peter. They're just submerged in milk, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey! How is this working in canon? Why is she... Well, yes, it's not canon, is it? Because it's all in fictional stories. So but. there's there's a there's a Far East slash Japan in, in the Shrek universe. Right. Seems. Yeah. Oh, maybe. I don't know. We can't see it. No, it could be anywhere. The game features 20 playable characters total, it says. Wow. W with 10 of these needing to be unlocked through gameplay progression. Each character has an array of various costumes and skins to change their appearance. Most of the characters have their own distinct fighting style and moves. Ooh! Okay! Oh, it's gone. I briefly it's gone. saw it. It was just a big sort of albino looking... What is that? Why does Humpty look so dumpty? Peter, this one doesn't work. Oh. Oh, good point. Oh. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> He's hitting me. Most of the characters have their own distinct fighting style and moves, with only one or two characters being similar clone fighters of each other. Oh my god, you're winning. No, I'm not. I'm... Oh, oh! Oh no, he's hitting me. We're just looking at the, the slam meters at the bottom. He's not slammed you already, has he? No. Oh. Oh, you may as well just spam it, I guess. I don't know where he is. He's going to be running no, away. Yeah, he'll be running away from you. Damn it. Oh, this was my moment, Peter, and I've scuppered it. I have absolutely no idea where he is. Oh! Oh, I got him! Oh, my God! I've just got to jump around. Yeah, just stay away from him now. I've just got to jump around for a minute. 
Oh, oh my god, am I going to do this? It's such a shame that emulators are just a potluck, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Hopefully the next level works. Yeah. This one's good, though. I'm enjoying this one. Uh, these are the unlockable fighters I'm yeah. about to list to you. There's a lot of noises happening. Shrek, Donkey, Gingerbread Man, Princess Fiona, Ogre Fiona, Big Bad Wolf, Anthrax the Unicorn. Excuse me? Anthrax the Unicorn. I don't remember that one. No, I don't. I remember the late 1990s. Oh, when, oh. apparently I hit him. Uh, Cyclops, Robin Hood, Genome, Puss in Boots, Prince Charming, Pinocchio, Red Riding Hood, The Black Knight, Dronky, Quasimodo, Luna the Witch, Captain Hook, and Humpty Dumpty, who you just destroyed. <laughs> Hurrah. There she is, just... It's a lot of characters, though. It is a lot. It, sh it says a lot about the terrible AI in this game that you just won that fight without being able to see. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Maybe it's some sort of martial arts thing, like only the blind man can truly win the, the <sighs> battle like, of sight. It's like sight. a boss fight in Sekiro. You can't see anything. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, please. Might just be an establishing shot. No. Oh, from off screen. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, oh, oh no, here oh. we go. Something's happening. What oh. is going on? Is that Quasimodo? It's Dr. Zayas. Uh, uh, I mean, excuse me, sir. I hate to barge in here, but it's four in the morning. Speak up, bro. I only got easy. Help, the human's about to escape. <laughs> Would you like to know? Yeah. Listen to Quasimodo. It's been quiet since you moved next door. Hey, man. I can't chill out these hot riffs just so you can get your booty sleep. Booty sleep? Recognize that voice? Not really. Quasimodo is allegedly voiced by <laughs> Nolan North. Oh. She isn't getting her beauty sleep. Because she sure <laughs> needs it. I yeah, I yeah, I I just it. got it I at the end there. Before he did uh, Nathan Drake and a few others, his... His list of credits is, is a mile long, and yeah. it's a lot of roles like this. Right off this block. Oh my god. There's all mm. kinds of... Um... Oh, it's a double fight. Oh, wow. Interesting voice acting going on there. Okay, tell me about the voice acting. Shrek and the Big Bad Wolf are voiced by Michael Goff, or Michael Go, who plays Deckard Kane in Diablo. Oh. Apparently. Oh, um, Prince Charming and Humpty Dumpty are voiced by James Arnold Taylor, who frequently plays Obi-Wan Kenobi in various Star Wars video games, and also voiced okay. him for The Clone Wars. That's the cool. Claymation show. Um, <laughs> Something's happening. We'll get a little bit more each level, I think. Yeah. Uh, Red Riding Hood and Luna the Witch are voiced by Tara Strong, who plays Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. I know, I know the name Tara Strong. And uh, Dill Pickles from The Regrets. Oh, The Regrets. The Regrets. I love The Regrets. Yeah. There you go. So there's some, some voice acting, I wouldn't say royalty. Well, Nolan North is now voice acting royalty. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of his earlier, better games. Yeah. I think. I can't really see it. I can see half of it. Hello? It's a shame, isn't it? That, is it? You know, people tune it, in to watch this stuff and they but can is only... It, is it really a shame that... Oh, my God. I feel like we're, it's like false advertising, really. No. Tune in to look at the, one of the worst games ever when all they can really do is hear it. They know what they're getting into. They this do. Is, this is the... This is the... This is something. Yeah. A lot of people ask us why we emulate when we clearly have the actual copies of the game. The reason we do this is because it's much better <laughs> capture quality, not necessarily <laughs> render quality. Right. But the capture quality is so, so much better if you do it through an emulator. If yeah. you actually get a capture card and a PlayStation, it's going to come through at like a fuzzy 480p that's yeah. going to have to be stretched up with blurred edges. It's and so much easier as well. Yeah, so... I mean... You know, we hear you. It would be better to just play the game natively. In so a that, perfect world, yes. Yeah. It's enough of a pain in the ass to set up the emulation setup, let alone have, like, the cables all over the floor for five different consoles. Yeah. That would be a nightmare. We would love to be able to just have a whole bank of consoles all ready to go. We can just stick a disc in. But unfortunately, we're a young channel... We share an office space with a much better channel. Whoa, hang on. Better is subjective. More successful. Bigger channel. Bigger channel. And, uh, I think we're a better channel. It's not doable right now, so sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe Until one. then, though, this is what you're dealing with. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, my goodness, what's happening in this one? I don't know. 
Oh, we get what? to actually see it. We can it, see it though. Yes. That's nice. Fantastic. I wonder what dictates whether you can see it or not. Oh, that sounds good, actually. Slab of ham. I've not seen Shrek 2 or 3 or any of the others after that. I've only seen Shrek 1. Oh, it's Casper. I've seen Shrek 2. I think I've seen Shrek the third. Basically, after Shrek 2, it kind of fell off a cliff. People really liked Shrek 2. They but... kept making more. Yeah, Shrek 2 was great. I really liked Shrek 2. Mm. Oh, look, he's not. Angry gibberish. Oh, his leaf oh, his... died. His breath is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, he's getting aroused. Stand back. So, are there any of the original voice actors in there? Do you know? Pinocchio um, versus Black Knight. I want to be the Black Knight. Knight. I want to be the Black Knight. This is rubbish. Oh, am I the Black? Oh no! It, it just like started were, me then. behind yeah. the car. <laughs> Um, not that I could tell. I don't think any of these are the actual voice actors. Some of them are pretty good impressions, though. Yeah, they are. What's this music? Oh, it's a little bit, um... Oh, it's a song know, for just, fast food. Yeah, place. I've just heard the lyrics. Until I actually heard that they were speaking English, it sounded almost like a just kind of JRPG kind yeah, of... Yeah, it did. It sounded very Persona. Yeah. He's really, the Black Knight's really good, Peter. He is. Well, um... Oh God, he's got his slam. How are you finding this overall? Oh my like, God. genuinely, what, yeah. what do you think of this? It's unremarkable, like it works, but it's just, it's just fine. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Shrek Super Slam was met with average to somewhat mixed re reception, oh. it says here. Weird that. Yeah. I wonder the, why. The PS2 version received an average score of... Um, 60%. 67%. Well, that's pretty high. That's an average as well. Wait until you hear what the highest scores were. Um, so that was according to Metacritic. What do you think the lowest score was? I'm going to say 40. I'm oh afraid it was higher. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, my god. oh Jesus. <laughs> the oh, the eyes. eyes. <laughs> um, it, was, it was higher. Yeah, a little bit higher. 45. Correct. Wow. The lowest score was 45% from Gamezilla! Exclamation mark. We don't know that one. Who said, well, we, I think we've had them once before on Worst Games. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. I lost because we drew, so <sighs> I lose. You lose. Great. At first glance, this quirky little game catches the look and feel of the Shrek films well. Mm. But you'll soon see that looks can be deceiving once you crack into this rotten little nut. <laughs> Oh. Go to snipe. It's a rotten little nut. Nut. Uh, the highest score came from PGNX Media. Yeah, that's great. What no, do they, they gave it? Uh, did they give it like 80? 83%. 83? This is one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah, that's basically what that means. Uh, Shrek Super Slam has come together beautifully. <laughs> no, it hasn't. That's not God. what it says. <laughs> the game's combat system is fundamentally solid with an excellent combo system that is actually much more in depth than I originally suspected. 83%. Brilliant. More than 8 out of 10. More than I, Was it more than I expected? Yeah. 83%. For God's sake, this guy is really difficult. But you'll he be... moves so fast and he gets his slam really quick. Well, you'll be sad to know that there were like five or six 80% 80, 80 reviews. 80-ish percent reviews. What? Really? Yeah, there were like half what a dozen of them. What universe are these people living in? Yeah, I don't know. That's all my factoids there. Wow, thanks, Peter. You're welcome. I need to beat the, ba the Black Knight. Yeah. He's really annoying me. Look how fast his slam meter fills up. Oh. I I, is there a lock-on button? Because th there's no way to dodge that for a start. God. He's just so quick and so powerful. Stop, look how fast his slam meter's picked. No! I mean, it's a bit late, but I'll see if there's a lock-on button for you. Yeah, please do. Oh, there's email support. If you require email support on a specific issue... How are we meant issue, to dodge the slams? They just lock on to you. Support at activision.com. Maybe you should email them. Hey, guys. <laughs> they have there a phone a lock they have a phone I'll, I'll have a look. Is there a lock-on button for <laughs> Shrek Super Slam? Game controls, page four. Oh, oh, steady. We all lose. Is there a number? Is there a phone number? Who have I got a telephone? Who have I got a call? There's no sign of a lock-on button there. Let me find the, the phone What's number. What's the support number? It's usually at the back. Phone it? support. For any issues not covered by our web or email support, you can contact Activision's phone support in the UK yep. on... 
2148. Between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. UK time, Monday to Friday, with the exception of holidays. Verizon no longer supports this service. Oh. That's one of the most uncourteous recorded messages I've ever heard in Verizon my... no longer supports this service. Verizon no longer supports this service. Not even... Verizon no longer support this service. That's a different one. Oh, how many different varieties <laughs> I that? think it's a real man who's just there. Please stop calling me. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Verizon no longer supports this service. That's the first one again. Verizon no longer supports this service. Verizon no longer supports this service. Screw this game. Well, um, I'm over it. I'm fine. That's the end. I'm fine. Yeah. I said I'm fine. All right. Are you okay? No. Oh. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Worst Games Ever. It's Chrisman. Sort of. Sort of. Well, it, it is now. It is now. But um, it wasn't when we recorded this episode. We put tinsel on the table and we're like, well, this is going to be one of our festive episodes because it goes out in December. Yeah. And then we had a look at the schedule and realised, oh, this is actually the last worst games before Christmas. So technically it's the Christmas episode. Yeah. So we sort of were halfway there when yeah. you... When we cut to the actual episode shortly, there, there is tinsel. There is tinsel. But just because we thought it was December, not actual Christmas. We don't wish you Merry Christmas. We're we're wearing our uh, school school, school photo, day, photo days uh, outfits again, so that you know we're dressed up nice now. But it's not going to last. No, because it's going to disappear soon. But anyway, Peter, mm -hmm. this is the show, isn't it? It is. Well, we play terrible video games sent in by you. Yes. Remember, mm -hmm. they're not always bad. No, they're just worse than most. Yes. What are you this week? I, I mean, it's it's a roll of dice nowadays. I mean, apparently you were the game's victim like twice in a row. Yeah. Neither of us realised. A rare mess up for Triple Jump. Yeah. So maybe I'll be victim twice now to even the odds. Who's, but, who's to say? I don't know. Uh, but uh, certainly today, I'm the game's victim. And Peter, that means you're playing the terrible video game yes. that I have brought in mm -hmm. as the game's master. It's good to be the master again. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been four weeks. Four weeks. Oh, what am I playing today? Is what? it a really Christmassy Christmas Day game for it's, this episode that we recorded? It's incredibly festive. Christmas. Yeah. It's also here on the desk. You've also already played it. I have. It's the Sopranos, it's the so the Road, Sopranos. To res Road to Respect, the Sopranos. It's a bit like, you know how Die Hard, people argue whether that's a Christmas movie because yes. it's set on Christmas. This is a Christmas game because, hear me out, mm -hmm. there are bits that take place outside and arguably outside is the most Christmassy bit of all. It is. I mean, it's cold out there. Maybe it's cold outside. Yeah. Uh, also, Sopranos is a type of um, like voice, like a range of yeah, voice, like from a choir, like from a Christmas choir or an angel descent, like the angel of Gabriel. Exactly. Gabrielle. And the, of course, is is a word that you could put before Christmas. You remember the Christmas where we played a worse game? Yeah, I do remember festive. that. Yeah. Roads, of course. Driving home for Christmas. Going to be driving home for two. You're driving to your home for yeah. Christmas. Respect. Your grandma's going to be around the dinner table. You better be respectful, be so respectful. no naughty words. Don't say the flips or the or the shoots. Own your cut. It says on the back, which I'm assuming is referring to turkey. Don't say cut either. That's grandma won't like that one. Own your slice. Yeah. Would you like a slice of turkey? Mm. Love a slice. A of cut. Turkey. Can I have two cuts, please? Anyway, there the it point is. is, this is this is our Christmas episode. We won't say Merry Christmas at the end because we've already shot the outro, but Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. Christmas, we suppose. Shall I cut this, just awkwardly cut this in right at the end? Right at the end. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Good, let's, let's, let's go to the episode. Play the game. The science facts in the box. Science facts in the box. Etc. You, yeah. know you know the score. So, Peter, are you remotely familiar with the with the Sopranos. So Peter. Sopranos. Sopranos. Are you remotely f familiar with Sir Peter's? I'm familiar with Bink Video, uh, but I'm not familiar really with the Sopranos. Remember THQ? I do remember them. They're the ones who now own everything and don't well, use it. sort of. Or do use it, but they're just the bad ones that nobody else wanted. Yeah. Well, they Seven some... Stu have you heard of Seven Studios? Yeah, I think they, I think they contributed to the, to the game we played two weeks ago, to the Shrek one. 
did they? I think Seven Studios were on that too. They've got a really interesting story about Seven Studios for you. Yes, yeah, Shrek Super Slime was developed by Seven Studios, possibly not on PS2. That might have been one of the other many ports of it. But yeah, they, they did some Shrek Super Slime. Um, new game, I suppose. Oh, play poker? Yeah. Can't do that yet. Not allowed. It's too advanced for you. Yeah. I know how to play the play the pox. Here we go. So, what? Hello? It's um, Oh, he's lighting us. I wasn't even sure what he was doing then. Oh, oh that is so prano. Is this... He's... Whoa! Is this him? The, is this the eponymous Sam Prano? The, no, the, I think... The Cigar Man? Yeah, I think C Cigar Man is, is Soprano. Right. It was just sitting there. What do you care? It's, again, it's like the games we've played before on PS2 where the, where the faces are kind of realistic, but the mouths are really frightening and I don't like it. I got news for you, Joey. There's more than one way to shame your family. Uh, language? What, what? Is he speaking English? I'm sorry, Tony. It's just... If you need money or something, you should have come to me. So they're friends now? I'm really confused. So this is Tony Soprano mm. from Sopranos. If you need money, you should have come to me. There was no way I would go to a man who I'm assuming is an organized criminal for money. Forget the fucking purse, you moron. Go. So he broke into a car to steal a purse, mm. and then he whacked someone in the face with a baseball bat, and Tony's like, how dare you pull a stunt like that? You should have asked me for money if you mm. did it, bro. Nude, 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 nude live nude. girls. Bada bing. You've got to learn to respect women. Okay, this is what the game looks like. Okay. Look at his neck. It's a bit different to the cutscene, isn't it? It is a bit. What more do I have to listen to? Sorry, Silk. Oh. oh! Oh, here we go. In. Okay, Peter. The Sopranos Road to Respect is a 2006 video game by American developer Seven Studios, based on the, on the hit HBO series The Sopranos, which aired from January the 10th, 1999, to June the 10th, 2007. The game was released on November the 7th, 2006, for the PlayStation 2. Oh, he's, he's punched what? you. I don't... That was weird. Get your dingo ass out of here! D Whoa. Whoa! Steady on. That's racist. Yeah, go win some money back from Vito. Apparently you did it. Right. Well done. Thanks. Oh. Enter the Badabing. The game's storyline takes place between the fifth and sixth seasons and centers on Big Pussy Bonpensiero's illegitimate son, Joey LaRocca, as he makes his way through the family business. Cowboy puss. Cowboy pussy, yeah. Oh, for oh Christ it's sake. sexy in here. Hang on, oh, we're going to need to censor that. There's actual nipples in this game. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, in God. In the background, yeah. And she's got her nipples are hanging out. Yeah. Really well facial captured, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to censor all of that. I'm just going to do really big. Just do big blurs. It's blurs. like, oh, no, now you're going to have to turn quickly, aren't you? There we go. No <laughs> looking at the women, no. okay? This is a Christian channel. It is. I'm drunk, paste in the soup. Probably what? Improve the taste. What? what? Why, why have you not poured it away already? Strip club soup, huh? As if Peter couldn't hate soup anymore. <laughs> well, piss in it as well. I mean, that, that kind of, that really puts me off. Hot body contest, $5,000. That's so Pranos. Bikini golf tournament, September, late September. What a world, The huh? pool room. I mean, it's just a, it's just a corner. It's just a corner, already. Imagine coming to the, the Badabing to play pool. You want to play some pool? Yeah, let's go to the strip club to play pool. Yeah, let's go knock our balls around at the strip club. Oh, oh it's the makeup room. Is it room. the dressing room? Yeah, the makeup room. Oh, it's got licensed music in it. Oh, for God's sake, it has, hasn't it? <laughs> girls, girls, girls! It's really compressed. Oh, they're so. in the mirror too. So they might not. Don't look. No, we're safe. How about the rack on her? No, what? I'm not interested in the, the rack on her. How about the on her? Let's go in the room. men's room. This is where all the exciting. There might be any topless happens. women in here. No, there might be in there though. I can't. It's a secret. I can't see it's in a there. Secret. Shh. Shh. Oh, <laughs> can't be looking at the women now, can you? This is. I think this is what I would be like in a strip club, just walking around. I'm going, so sorry. Oh, I'm so I'm terribly sorry. Would you like my jacket? <laughs> you look cold. <laughs> I expect your, I, I respect your profession, but you do look cold. Yeah, play, I, you make your money however you want to, but I'm not interested in, in your services. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, don't look. Oh, they're down there too. Sorry, I think it was a single pixel nipple there. Okay, a, a single pipple. What's down here? Oh, it's, there's a, there's Here's a blue, a, there's a, there's a blue light. That's probably not good, is it, in a place like this? No, well, that's to so say you can't find a, a vein. The girls are getting pissy. So, what's new? Don't the fuck off, I don't take no requests, all right? Oh. Tough. Then consider it an order, asswipe. 
Change it. Whoa. Oh, fuck that. Silvio says I can play what Tough. I want. Your loving cousin also said I could break your fucking head. Sill is gonna fucking hear about this. I guarantee fucking tell Wow. You. The not language. A, not a swears in this game, huh? Blimey, who'd have thought organized crime would be so rude? I know. God. <laughs> ah, can't we all just sit? Oh! oh, oh it's woman! Okay. Woman! It's okay, she's woman. not. Woman! No! Oh, no, her nipples no, are woman! Out. They are woman! Out. Whoever fitted her bra made a mistake because. <laughs> Goodness. It doesn't look to be providing much support at all. There's a little bit of oh. areola oh. visible from the cup. Oh, for flip's I, sake. I missed the context, or, I, or was there any? No context is required. Look at him just stay, just deadpan directly at this woman's chest. <laughs> ah, yes. Mammary glands. <laughs> that was it. That was fun, wasn't it? Would that you like that to learn... was effing hot, he just said. Would you like to learn a bit more about how this game works? Uh, uh, I yes. Don't... Yeah. The player is able to take missions from the main characters of the series at certain points in the game. How do you complete missions in Sopranos without seeing boobs? <laughs> Road to Respect differs from other mob-influenced games in that it is in, in that it is in a linear, story-driven action game, as opposed to Grand Theft Auto's open-world type gameplay. Great stuff, Wikipedia. That's not the only mob-type inspired game in the world, GTA. No. There are lots of linear, organized crime games. There are. Oh, oh. there we go. Don't touch the girls. Is that, that my objective? <laughs> Talk to Paulie. Got a lot of effort's gone into this pause menu. There's just a lot of moving parts. Is Paulie in there, or I'm not... Were you... Mm. I don't know who Paulie is, or where Paulie is, Isn't or... Isn't it Paulie Shaw? I'm feeling a bit poorly. Look for an orange man. Right. You might find... There was a man stood over there. Are you Paulie? Oh, his oh, face his just popped. Just did in. a thing there. That's not poorly. Talk, talk. Jeez, I lost my wallet out here. You seen it? No, not interested. If I find it, I'll spend it. Oh, jeez, I lost my wallet at the strip club again. I'm gonna have to tell my wife. Janet is gonna kill me. Janet, it's, it's Ian. It's gonna ruin our vacation at the lakes. I'm real sorry, but I lost my wallet at the. Oh. Ah, women. Oh, look out for women. Oh, this is the this is where the it's real hard to find Polly in a room that I can't really look into. Was he not in the office? He may have. Been. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is. This must be don't the thing. Don't be so fucking stupid. You see him arise. You don't hear it. Who doesn't know that? Son of a bitch. Whoa! What a weird sound effect. Sounded like actual slime in that. Clinkle, clinkle. <laughs> yes, very. Where's he going? Oh, oh no! Right, we'll blur it. I don't mind the static camera angle because it's I can... really frightening me, Peter. They're are all... they topless? I think they are. Look at them. I like the move yeah, they're I think doing. They are. Yeah. Is that actual GTA font? Oh. Nearly. Yeah. Pretty, it is pretty much GTA. It's very close. I'm not really paying attention. What do I do now? Oh God. Not for Maybe you. follow the guy into the bathroom for some hot mafia action. Mm. I didn't ask for company. Yeah. Didn't ask. Wanna watch me piss too? Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> okay, not him then. Oh Christ, who now? Oh. Oh. Uh, get Tony's order. Okay. Who are these people? There's no objective pointer. Fact me. Oh, look at this. You want to be facted? Mm. Okay. I don't want to linger on this game too long. Would you like to hear the story of Seven Studios? Yeah, oh yeah, I'd love to. The developers of this game. I'll wait until the cutscene's finished. We're literally getting his sandwich order. <laughs> <laughs> is that Rocky in the background? Yeah, it's some it's some Italian American boxer. Right. Return to Pauly. Oh, you can do that. Busy work, isn't it? Seven Studios, the developer of this game, has no Wikipedia page, but Moby Games tells an interesting story. On the 6th of April 2009, the studio was acquired by Activision. The deal was controversial, as Seven Studios was developing Scratch, the ultimate DJ at the time, a DJ musical simulation, while Activision had the similar title DJ Hero in the works oh. at the same time. Okay. Publisher Genius Products and turntable controller manufacturer Newmark Industries, who were behind the Scratch game, filed suit against Activision for intentional interference with contracts, breach of contract, and misappropriation of trade secrets. But the LA Superior Court found no evidence of any wrongdoing by the publisher and refused to grant any restraining order against it. On the 9th of February 2011, staff members confirmed that Seven Studios had been shut down. At that time, the legal dispute with Genius Products was still not resolved. So, 
Basically, they were making a DJ game for one publisher. Activision bought them mm. and then had them work on DJ Hero right. instead, yeah. which raises a lot of questions, really. I'm now going to get Vito's order. Oh, God, where's I'm, Vito? I'm just wandering around like... Is that Vito? No. No. Get out of here! I'm walking here. That could be a Vito there at the window. Vito. His broad seems so hot. Oh, oh no! He did the one thing. Maybe she's Vito. Debbie. Thanks again for the music. Oh, I keep forgetting she's got her nips out. Right, I'm going to go back to the staff room that I was in before, taking yeah. other orders. Just in case he's there. I hope we're not expected to remember this. Wrong one. <laughs> I know, I'm just checking in here just okay. in case. Um, Vito's putting on his makeup. He's, yeah. down. he's up next. And next one from the stage, ladies and gentlemen, is Vito. It's Vito! Get out of here! <laughs> it's a nice place up here. Silvio. No, that's Silvio. Christopher. Christopher. Tony. Tony. V. Oh, wow. Here are... Oh, well, look at them all I dance. Know. We've been dance in here identically. When you were oh, damn it. Is that Vito behind the bar? Possibly. Surely Vito wouldn't work in the bar, would he? Vito? Yes. Vito, I'm ordering takeout. Hey, my friend was talking to one of the strippers. I hear you fucking threw him out. Yeah. Yeah. Then I beat his ass. Oh, blimey. He pinched Jasmine. Oh, for that kind of service, you pay more for that, usually. Yeah. You want me to act all scared? Well, fuck you. I ain't scared. It's very obvious that this strip club is run by a mob of some kind. Yeah. Would you? Would you risk it? Oh, yeah, push him to death. That's a heavy attack, that push. Push? Yeah, he spits out blood when you do it. Oh, my God, Down he's had already. enough. He's... She's still dancing. <laughs> but you can also see her, Unfazed. her nipples through her top. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, my God, you really can. I didn't notice those. Out front. But you, you're right. Paul's been looking for you, Peter. Have we now got to go back to the staff room to say, I have found him and this is his order? Good. Go and get it. OK. I've got to speak to... I've already forgotten what that said. Paulie, was that? One of them. So here's another fact for you. Yeah. I'm going to read a lot of names that I'm going to absolutely butcher now. Mm -hmm. The cast members include James Gandolfini, returning as Tony Soprano, Michael Imperioli, returning as Christopher Moltisanti, Stephen Van Zandt, returning as Silvio Dante, Tony Sirico, returning as Pauli Gualtieri. That's who I'm looking for. Joseph Ganascoli, returning as Vito Spatafori. <laughs> Vincent Pastori returning as Big Pussy Bomb Pensiero. Yeah. And Robert Lear returning as AJ Soprano. Right. You okay? What's yeah. over there? No, just a little bit of tape on the floor there. Okay. Uh, well, did you have to go there? No, I'm looking for Pauly now. Oh, for Christ's sake. Which one was Pauly? Don't look at... Oh, he was at the bar last time. Oh, the grey-haired no man. He yeah, I think that was Pauly. Might have gone up to the special room. That's not him. Find, this is like, oh, this is just manufactured game time. Like, they're just, they've hidden a character who was previously somewhere else. Yeah, go find him. He might be outside now. I've checked the staff room. Yeah. Hmm. Let's have a look outside. Look at all these great cars. Maybe they were in the, uh, maybe he was in the upstairs oh, staff room, God, but I didn't maybe see he him. Came up. Maybe he came up to the staff room. No, I didn't see him. Oh, God, it's not... He might be in the bathroom, he might be in the gents. I've not checked there yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, he might be taking a dump. Oh, what an exciting game. Oh, oh women, the curse of, of monetization yeah. for everyone. Oh, he's oh. in here. What? Whoa! Don't just stand there. This ain't happy, Howard. Take off. What? That manicure's fucking wrong. What? What happened? I'm this cancer. Tough. Or maybe you'll like seeing... Fuck this guy. He's lucky he ain't fucking dead. Yeah. Hey, get him. Bring him here. Let's see if this wall's on my ride. Is he beating him up just because he said, oh. What? <laughs> oh, his head just sort of popped up then. What? <laughs> this is really bad. Is this, are we really doing, is this what organized criminal? He's still moving He's still in the moving. background. We're frozen. It's like VIP. This is what organized criminals do. They just give each other swirlies. Oh, oh okay. No, okay. that's not a swirly at all. No, that's not how. Ouch. Ouch. Ah. Oh, oh, stop it. Ouch. Hey. hey. All right, forget that fuck. Oh. Is he dead? He, he could very well be dead after that. Go pick up my sandwich, Peter. Don't ask questions. Maron, you killed him. 
Uh oh. No stupid shit. I was gonna say. Like you hit his head so hard. Tough. Hey, we both kicked his ass, Paulie. Remember? I didn't think he was gonna fucking die. Get him out of here. Me? Yeah. Hey, you. Get rid of the body, his car, his piece, this blood bag, all of it. And no fuck ups. Can Reggie give me a hand? An idiot out front? If anything happens, it's your ass. It's your ass, Peter. My ass. Are you ready to hide the man you killed? Yeah. The man inside my trunk. That's got no number plate, but I guess they are mobsters. They don't want to be seen. Yeah, it'd be kind of obvious though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at them. I got a good feeling about this. So, who says that when they're getting rid of a body? All he asked me Tough. to help. Reggie, he called you that idiot out front. Yeah, Reggie. He's just busting my balls. Tough. He sounded pretty fucking serious to yeah. me. Believe what you want, but I deserve this. This is fuck you. Like I don't even know what I mean. You mean a father? Who oh, it's a lot of talking, isn't it? I got shit written. What? What was that? He shall die. He shall die as it was written. Apparently, this guy, this, this very well, hey you, shut the fuck up, haired man. Yeah, lives on the streets. Good for him. Press triangle while grappling enemies next Execute. to a wall. Ring. Execute hotspot attack. What are you going to do to him? Oh! Look, this is how you got into this mess. Stop smashing <laughs> people's heads in. Every time he tries to dump a body, he kills another person. Forget about him. No, don't forget. Don't forget about him. Here we go. Eventually. Yeah. What, what's in don't here? Don't check. The, yeah, don't. <laughs> Don't worry about checking whether anyone's out there as you're carrying a body. Toss the body into the water. This isn't the way to the water, is it? The water's that way. Why did we open the... Yeah, what? Oh, no, it's just no, city.jpg. <laughs> <laughs> Skyline.jpg. Yeah. Oh, where's he going? He looks like he knows where he's going. Is he going to put him in the truck? This isn't water. This is a truck. This is the furthest thing. Has he ever seen a truck before? That idiot out front. Oh, what's this now? Is it your truck? Or How you doing? Hey, hey, what, what the hell is that? It's a roll of carpet. To pay extra this is, this, the these are the worst out. gangsters I've ever seen. Yeah. These guys are terrible. You and I could do a better job. The roll of carpet. The roll of carpet. Yard trimmings. There was a speed run for this game. Mm -hmm. Guess which nationality the person was who speed ran this game. The only person. Who Italian. Speed ran this game. No. American. No, you weren't far off with Italy. Spanish. No. Uh, uh, French. Yes. Ah. Got him. So this comes from Hope Trash, mm -hmm. who speed ran the game in how long? I bet this is a really long, tedious, terrible game uh, that even if you're speed running takes a while. So I'm going to say two and a half hours. Oh, not far off. Two hours, four minutes and 34 seconds. Right, okay. To speed run The Sopranos Road to Respect. I hate it. Road to boring, boring, boring game. Oh, vintage, vintage porn. porn? Look, the same poster on the wall all the time. Wow, I love that poster. Shift's over already. What? Who? Oh, who are you? <laughs> They've done like no hey, preparation at all. These they're are, just having what? what? They're just having to murder people as they go. What was that random close-up of the high-vis jacket there? Hey, I'm going to put him in the fuck. It oh. opened by itself. I think I've got some sort of poltergeist helping me out. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh. This guy is so heavy handed. Yeah, that poor fella. He was just like, okay, well, I, I bet if they gave them an option to walk away, they would. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. We work for the Superanos. The Superanos. The Superanos. Okay, I'm going. No, wait, I'm, I'm going to smash your head in the filing cabinet yeah. for no reason. Y'all ever heard of piranhas? How about super piranhas? Six more months, you're a free man. Now let me in. I need a favor. Joey, please. I'm trying to keep my nose clean. How about I break it again? Whoa. For old time's sake. Joey is Joey's a badass. A hundred. Yeah. Joey is a cool See, they were able to I mean, I know they know that guy apparently, but they were able to pay him off. Yeah. Everyone else are like, no, I'm gonna smash your face into the side of this wall. Uh, you can't be far from water now, can you? I mean there's a boat there called Fat Bottomed Girl Boots with the Fur. <laughs> Excellent. Peter, did you know that this game received generally unfavorable reviews, according did, to aggregator Metacritic? Did it? It did. Oh, look at our carpet. Seems I'm bad. keeping this view. Got to be worth five hundred at least. Well, that's not how it works, is it? Disappear the guy and his stuff. Disappear Fuck the guy. Paul. You okay. Extra cash? 
Uh, yes, the game re received poor reviews from gaming websites like GameSpot and IGN, which complained of overly simplistic gameplay, mainly involving beating endless numbers of anonymous thugs by repeatedly mashing the punch button. Yeah. A tiny and completely linear game world with no ability to explore, blocky and unappealing graphics, marginal game mechanics such as nearly useless money, and a respect meter which is almost always irrelevant to gameplay, and various clipping and collision detection bugs. The voice acting contributed to, uh, contributed by Sopranos cast members received praise, however. Oh, okay. Shit, Reggie, where'd he go? The body's gone. What? You gotta go. We'll talk. My body's gone. Find the body. How? What? Is this gonna turn into a zombie game? <laughs> oh, is that? Wow, he got really far. I love this guy like half a mile. He isn't even dead. He's about to be. Oh god, here we go. Oh, you're gonna shoot him now. Oh, you can pistol whip him. Pistol whip. Pistol whip. You want to pistol whip the man? Whip. Can you aim manually? No. And I can't pistol whip either. You don't have any choice but to shoot the man. In the... Oh! In the lung. Hey, who's there? Anybody hurt? Anybody hurt? a little late. Not funny. Hide the body. <laughs> you should... You should shoot them. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Is it... Mission failed because we murdered a policeman. What the hell you fools doing? That's one of Tony Soprano's guys. Him. Yeah. You, you bruised his eye when you shot him, I think. Okay. So apparently you just had to beat them up a certain amount and then that cutscene triggered and a gunshot gets you straight there. Right, because the game just thinks, oh, you've done enough damage you've to this person. You've done enough damage now. But he would have died. Oh, God, so much. There's so much. Okay, what did this get on Metacritic, Peter? Oh, for God's uh, 50 Five. 42%. Oh, good. Yeah, it's good. not great. I always overguess. The highest review score comes from Cheat Code Central. Okay. What did they give it? Splash. I hope they gave those throwing away dead body physics 10 out of 10. Uh, but this is the highest, is it? This is the highest. I think they probably gave it 70. Oh, 72. Oh, God. The combat is at least fun Okay. The combat is at least fun initially, and the storyline will keep you playing until the end. Will it? Full stop. I wanted to stop playing about three minutes into this game. Fans of the series should definitely play through this title. The Sopranos has come, come together, together beautifully. beautifully. The lowest review score is from Game... Shrack. <laughs> Somebody once told me. I'm assuming it's Game Shark. I, right. type, I must have typoed it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it comes from Game Shrack. Mm. What did they give it out of 100? Um, 22. They gave it 16. Okay. <laughs> EA's The Godfather may not have been perfect, but it took typical gameplay elements, tweaked them in their own way, and made the game compelling in its storyline, graphics, and gameplay. Mm -hmm. The Sopranos got one out of three, and it isn't the most important element, which is fun gameplay. This game sleeps with the fish. Oh, very good. Got him! That's a, that's a, a gangster one. What about that phrase? Well... So let's see what my objective is. Is it find such and such? Explore. Oh, great. Oh, play the Talk slots. Talk to Neil. Uh, $3 slots. That's what you can get at that strip. Oh, here we go. Now this is fun. That's what you can get at that strip club, I think. $3 slots. Oh, no. You've got to pay him enough, though. More than that, I think. Uh, raise bet. Spin. Here we go. Ding. Ding. Oh. Meep, meep. Oh. Okay, again, then. Okay, again, then. Okay, again 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 then. That's how you do it. First try. We just earned like six dollars. First try. Yes. We gambled. Okay. And we won. Hello everyone and welcome <laughs> to worst games ever. Oh, to worst games ever. You feeling 
bloated. I am so full, Peter, from all of the merry cheermas that we've just had. Oh, and all the the cold turkey for four days later. I yeah, like that bit. Some people too. complain about it. But... You know what the best thing you do with it is? What? You have you have your thick cut white bread. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Bit of mayo because it needs moistening. Turkles. Yeah. Butter. Butter. White bread. Yeah. And then. Yeah. A little poo on it. Oh. Put a little poo on it. Little Put a little poo Christmas poo on it. Oh. <laughs> no, there's no such thing as a little Christmas poo. No, there's all not. big ones. It is. Yeah. It is? It is. Yes. Welcome. Um, Welcome to the show. It's Worst Games Ever. This is the show where we play bad video games. They're not all the worst games ever. They're just worse than most. You know what I'm excited about, Peter? Yes. Oh, so is my wrist, apparently. <laughs> yeah. My left wrist has a habit of doing that in shows. Yeah. Uh, this is actually the last one that, that will, the last worst games that we'll be doing. Ever. Ever. The, <laughs> the worst worst games ever. The last one we'll be doing before we have a wealth of new worst games to choose from. Because You're we're right. recording this before Christmas. Obviously, we haven't come in just off the Christmas before this. Are you crazy? We've spent time with right? family and loved ones. Yeah, yeah. We've got many things city. to do. But by the time this goes out, we will have opened, and the video will have come out, of us opening loads of tat from people. Absolutely and right. With loads of new worst games in. So this is the last one where our choice is sort of limited. That's partly why we didn't do a Christmassy worst games ever. Um, the other reason was we forgot. We forgot. As we explained, but also, even if we'd known, like, we just have drag games left. As that's, sort that's of not evidence. To, that's not to disparage the people who sent them. No, but you'll see. Just, you'll yeah. see why this this one in particular is sort of a last resort. Um, Papa Roach. Yeah, he's not dead. I am the game's victim today. For the second time in a row. Yeah. Because there was a deficit. Yeah. There's always a deficit somewhere. Well, after Christmas, yeah. Yeah, we're all, in, we're all in massive debt there for all the presents that we bought. Debt for Sid. And Ben is the game's master. Which means, Peter, mm. that I brought a terrible video game for you to play today. Are you ready? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Knight Rider, the game two. two. Knight Rider. Oh, it's Knight Rider two. The game is what it says on the spine, but, but not on, on the, the front. front. It says Knight Rider, the game two. The game two. Knight Rider. It's a game two. It is a it game. Is a game. It's a game as well. Well, so we've we played Knight Rider one. Yes, and um, it's kind of appropriate mm -hmm. because it was one of the first worst games we played uh, this year. Yeah, for Triple Jump. You're right. So uh, we're back. We're back with the sequel. Mm. Um, I'm sure it will be a terrible game. I just hope it's different enough that it warrants a <laughs> completely separate episode. Well, we we will see. A separate set. I love you, Michelin Kit. I love you, Kit and Michelle. I love you, Michelin Kit. Well Michins. Done. Here's something that's interesting. It's Dabalex. We, we know that one. Yeah. But on the back here, they actually name drop the developer. Not a prominent one, mind. Right. In the description. I've never really seen that on a game box before. Based on the famous 80s TV series, there's no comma, actually. I'll read this as it's written. <laughs> Based on the famous 80s TV series, Davalex presents Knight Rider 2 the game, full stop. <laughs> so Davalex have put their own name into the onto the box in Davalex the description. Presents. You don't see any big publishers doing that, no. do you? Any big developers. Naughty Dog presents The Last of Us 2. No. No. You won't get that. Includes TV footage with spectacular stunts. Oh, great. I really want to be copyright infringed for New Year. I can already see that this is one player which flies in the face of a science fact that I have. <laughs> okay. So, are we ready? Yes. Let's go. Do you want to create an autosave game? Autosave game. An autosave game. No. The Autobahn. Oh yeah, we've got friends, haven't we? Yeah. Welcome our post-festive friends. We may have more friends now, again, because of the unboxing, but who's to say? Scandal Penguin. Steven Seagull. Billy Ray Dolores. John claude Van Lam. Billy Ray Warris. And Dick, my Christmas chinko. Dick, my bloomin' chinko, my dudes. Double X. Have we compared that to the old BBC I was just about to before? say, it sounds a lot like... Here we go. Oh, it's the same. Maybe not. Oh, no, it's not. 
He's got knife got, from Robot Wars. He's got guns now. Whoa, the massive laser! It's got that purple tinge on it again that it had last time. I don't know if that's a Knight Rider thing or just a Davalex thing. Or... Whoa! Wow, you remember oh, yeah, that? Yeah, we've got to do some of that. Oh, Help, this Master! Looks, this looks really not fun. Look at it. Crawling along. I like the only TV footage we've got so far. It's Optimus Prime. Yeah. The only TV footage we've got so far is just the car transforming. No, I mean, no even then, David Hasselhoff. I feel like some of that is just like a 3D render. I don't, like that is, okay, that probably is from the TV show, but some of that wasn't from the TV show. Whoa! That was rad. Load safe game. Save safe game. Save oh. save game. What? Save save game. It's because uh, Devil X are Dutch and they translate all these Because they're Dutch. Yeah. That's why Big we should play Dutch it. Idiots. Play in Dutch. <laughs> Knight Rider 2 is a racing game developed by Worst Games Ever Regular Devil X and published by Koch Media. And it was released in Europe in 2004 for the PC and PlayStation 2. I can actually put this in 16 by 9, which I think I will do because it's easy for me to. Nope. Nope. No. No, that no. makes no difference. No, <laughs> screw you. It's easy for me to edit when it's in 16 by 9. Have you tried loading the save game? No. Load save game. I'd rather not. Extra? Sure. There's one extra. TV scenes. Oh, there you go. Background info. Quiz. <gasps> we should do the quiz at the end. Cool. It's really edgy, isn't it? That's cool. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Two yeah. years earlier. Earlier than what? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. We've not seen anything yet. Hello? Is this game or real? Two years earlier, this generic compilation of footage happened. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, we've learned a lot from that. Well, oh, there's the, the bad kit. That's the rad cut. It's on fire. It's just hanging off. Is it... Are they talking to each other? We're missing a lot of context here. Master, it's my evil brother. Help, Master. <laughs> there's just no context for anything that's happening. No. No! So two years earlier, evil kit whose yeah. name we're going to decide tick. is... Uh, yeah, Tick. Okay. Uh, he fell into our water. Mm -hmm. Which is not a big deal because it's a car and not a living creature. Right. It could be brought back out. Mm. But apparently that car now wants revenge. Yes. I think so. There's, it was difficult to sort of understand what on earth Give they were implying. Not even any sound effects, let alone dialogue, but yeah. Oh, here we go. This is it. These are the graphics. Dot, dot, well, kid, wasn't that an incredible vacation? Vacation. Excellent snow, perfect weather, great hotel, and very nice personnel. Oh! Oh, blimey. You mean you enjoyed yourself, Michael, because you were the only guest there who did not have to clean the ice off his car window. Of his car. <laughs> of his car window. Michael, these roads look deserted. Don't worry so much. I Don't worry so much. Why is it driving in the middle of the road? I know they're deserted, but it doesn't give you a license to just break the law. My sensors detect fast moving objects coming towards Right, so they're not deserted then. Oh! I calculate impact within 10 seconds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are they following the road? Do they have indicators? <laughs> this dialogue is fantastic. It's the man talking to his car. Oh, we're in! Did you have a nice vacation? I thought we get to... That hurts. That hurts. Mission failed. <laughs> So it's it's driving for me. I just have to drive. You have to stick. Oh no, it's oh, not. No, it's not. What? What did he say there? Shit! <laughs> Kicked. <laughs> I didn't realize it just because it starts with driving for you and doesn't tell you. Oh! Whoa! What was that? I was just looking at my notes. I pressed I pressed right trigger and he jumped. Ready? <laughs> Oh, you've got a health bar at the top, but it's not really going down. I'm trying to see if I can do the... Oh, oh wow, look at nice. that stunt! I want to see if I can do the two wheels thing, that but... That must hurt. None what of was... the buttons. That was a bridge over nothing. So this might not surprise you, Peter, but there is no Wikipedia entry for this game. Ah. There is, however, a sentence in the original game's Wikipedia entry. Oh, okay. A sequel was also developed, named Knight Rider The Game 2, which well, is not debatable. what it says on the spine. Yeah which was again developed by Davalex Games and was published by Koch Media on November the 5th, 2004 for PC and PlayStation 2. That's literally the only information Wikipedia has about wow. this game. Wow. Do you remember that quote? For, I think it was, for, we've played that many like licensed bad video games, but I'm pretty sure it was a Davalex game where the head of Davalex was going, we are so excited yes. to have sealed the deal on a Davalex, on, on a Knight Rider. Yeah, what was it? I'm trying to remember what game we played now. The game hasn't actually taught me how to jump at any point. I just worked that, oh, worked that one out for myself. Oh, my face! 
Mission failed. Watch the paint! Why don't What's they just it? go down now? They're on. He's, they're over the top. Who's fired these? Uh -oh. You go underneath it. Oh my oh. god! Uh oh! Whoa! Master! Hell master! I, I have powerful, powerful brakes, brakes, you know. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I have a Eurogamer article from the time about this game. Oh yeah. Would you like to hear it? I'd love to. I've cut a couple of sentences out, but here we go. This is a Eurogamer article from the 13th of January 2004. Yeah. Dutch publisher Davalex has announced a follow-up to Knight Rider the Game, which did surprisingly well following its PS2 and PC release God, in November 2002, shifting more than 170,000 units in Europe. According to Davalex, the sequel will address feedback on the first game, adding a number of features without sacrificing the feel of the original oh, good. and the David Hasselhoff fronted TV series, although the claims are somewhat, and then I've cut it off too early and I'm not sure what the rest oh, of it is. Oh no. Says, are somewhat dubious. Yes, something like that. I think they, they go on to say, Master! Oh! I'm pretty sure I jumped after I'd left the bridge. That's yeah, fine, it's fine. They were basically just saying, I don't really know what features they're going to be adding. More cutscenes or something? Well, I think there, wasn't talking. Any, there weren't any weapons in the previous game. No, there weren't. Well, it goes on to say, what we do know is that Knight Rider 2 will add combat sections and mini-game rewards to its existing array of chase, race, exploration and puzzle-themed missions. Missions. Amongst his new skills, Kit is now capable of combat mode, wow. which will see him wielding various weapons to fight off robots, armoured vehicles and the resurgent menace of Garth, Wheel. Michael Hasselhoff's evil twin brother with a moustache. It then went on to say it will have local multiplayer. Which oh. it doesn't. Oh. So clearly that was cut at some point. It's not told me how to shoot. Oh! Also, what universe does this take place in? Where there are just giant blocks of ice in and, the road. And also there's giant rocky formations over the top of the pavement. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. No. Who did that? He's like just a bad James Bond, isn't he? Yeah. So you basically just got to drive around with that on all the time, haven't you? Yeah, I don't know if it sort of overheats. Oh, this is more fun than the last one, I have to say. Yeah, it's a bit more action-packed, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't review great, though. Okay. You've got one little blip of health now. Kit, can you not turn your gun around and shoot the, the missiles? What a load of kit. Yeah. Oh my god, you know, one health bar. Oh. There's no, it doesn't really give you any indication that they're gonna like drop on you. I think you just no. have to sort of stay away from Look them. at that, there's a fresh batch there now. <sighs> they, they catch up to you easily and then they just hover over you. Yeah. Just wait. Oh, oh you got your health back for some reason. <laughs> and then, oh you got those little look oh, like yeah. folders. I think they're car batteries. Oh, here we go. You ready for ski mode? Oh no. How? I, uh, it's not told me. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't it tell you? We don't have a manual either. I'm just going to have to no, trial don't. and error until he does ski mode. It's going to take me like another life at least. Oh god, it feels like it should be a shoulder button. Steady please, Michael. Steady. Steady please, Michael. Is it in the pause menu? Can you see? Oh yeah, it might be. I think it is actually. No. It's great. I suggest using ski mode. Yeah, how do we do that? Oh, oh what I was think that? it's right thumbstick. That makes sense. Yeah. Fair. So I've got to hold X to drive. Yeah, but if I want to go into ski mode, I've got to move my thumb away from the X button to R three to use my right, my right oh, thumb stick and weird hold, crab claw. hold it left and right. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really wow. give me enough for a run up, to be honest. No, that checkpoint is not fair. Wikipedia does, however, link to the game's official it website. It didn't do it that time. I was pressing it and it just wasn't doing it. For God's sake, this game. The official website is davalex.com. Peter, would you like to buy davalex.com? Oh, for God's sake, no. Because they did a bad game. How much is davalex.com? Because if you go to davalex.com, it's, it's now just listed for sale. Okay. Because davalex is dead. Uh, do you happen to have 84,888 US dollars? No, I don't. There we go. Oh, that was good. There's another one. That's it taking off. Oh, but it's just doing it by itself now. Oh! I might just stay in scheme. It doesn't affect speed at all. No, and barely affects handling. <laughs> oh! Well, it's just it's an explosion. Better, better come down. Oh, oh God! What? No, not the other side. Look at these. Look at these dodgy skills you're doing. Oh! What? Oh, okay. That's fine. 
I don't really know how to make him go back down. How's he going to magically make them disappear in a cutscene? Super pursuit mode! Oh, yeah. Whoa, the spoiler! The spoiler! Oh, you're going 300 miles an hour That's now. That's not true at all. Oh, now you're not. Oh. Oh, it's... It disabled. Super pursuit mode is gone. Oh. Maybe a button has to turn... There you go. Oh, something happened. Now it's not. Oh. I just pressed triangle. Well, and... What was the point? It made you do super pursuit mode for like a second. Hello? That was close. <laughs> I believe that was the last one, Michael. What? No, it hey, wasn't. Buddy, why didn't you scan what's left of that missile for clues while I talk to Devon? Yeah. Devin? Look Devin. at that crashed missile that didn't blow up, it just did two halves. Listen, don't drive to the Foundation. I'll send Bonnie in your direction with the semi. Ooh! <laughs> you heard the man. Let's get out of these mountains and find <laughs> That noise. <laughs> Mission complete! All the damage has been repaired. Oh, is this Bonnie? Oh, it's Bonnie with the truck! With the semi. Oh yeah, that we drove into. You heard the lady. We're always saying to Kit, you heard the lady, you heard the man, you heard the lady, you heard the man. I heard the creaks. I heard, here they all come. It's very dark, this game. Hello? Can I drive? Up no. Oh, oh, I thought you were doing it then. <laughs> I thought you were just going up like that. Yeah. Oh, 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 the cockpit view. Petrail! Petrail. It's a good thing I run on turbo juice. Michel? Michel, give me some of your turbo juice. Oh, oh, it's very hard to see in here. <laughs> it's so dark in here. We turn on the light. Meep meep. Do you have a horn? Damn no. It. Damn it. Instead of, instead of a horn, it's just Kit saying, move out of the way. Move out of the way. Move, please move. Oh my god, look at the electricity. No, not the elect. It's going to go to the petrol. Why is it not, sh why does it change direction? Was it, hello? I don't think electricity changes direction like that. It looks like everybody just fled. That's convenient. Yeah. Then we won't have to render, render any human beings. Smoke coming the road there. Hello? Are you there? No smoke without fire, except from that road. Back yeah. The gas station. Got any idea what might cause this? I'm sorry. What's Michael? its angle? I don't know. We're looking at that black bit on the floor. Is this, is this what a village is in America? Just with a massive main road going right through the middle of it in a collection of houses. Every stone in the ground has fused together. What are you talking about? It's made out of bitumen. Asphalt. Or in, in Britain, asphalt. Asphalt. It's not yours fault. It's ours. Fault. Fault. It's a manky tunnel. There we go. If I try and go in ski mode, it goes... Meh. Oh, oh, except now. Maybe I'm not allowed to do it in a tunnel. Skim out. Oh, we're going to get a nice cutscene again. Do we have to stop? Don't make a stop. I swear Corn to God, if there's another cutscene, I'm just going to skip it. I can't be bothered. Why and then I'll complain that I don't know what's going on. You don't want to let... Oh, it's the same tunnel. Yeah. It's exactly the same tunnel. <laughs> oh, he's fine. <laughs> we're what? here. Michael, the signal is very strong now. Right, we get the idea. It's coming from inside the compound. Can you just jump over it? Oh, that might have been crucial information. Like, we need to shoot. Do you have a gun? You have the plasma thing. That looks like a thing you could shoot the... Oh. Oh my god. They've gone over the top. Oh no, I've just bombed Rip. the base. Rip anyone who hit, gets hit by that. Can you shoot the battery thing with it? Oh yeah, that'll be it. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped it. Oh, there's something on there, look. Yeah, can you get it though? No. You can't change the height. Peter. Oh wait, there might be some sort of... Sca What's that scanner? I use my... Yes. Oh. Micro jamming failed. Oh, man. You've got to micro jam it, Peter. You know, the, the technical thing. Micro jamming? It's like a very small marmalade, a micro jam. There we go. I think the cutscene wouldn't have actually helped me do that because it wouldn't no, have told wouldn't me the button to would press. Not have told it would you. have just said micro jam that thing. So, as with last time, Peter, when we played Knight Rider, I've got some YouTube comments from oh, people yeah. who are very excited, who were very excited for this game. This is underneath. Um, a trailer uploaded by IGN. For some reason, the comments are from like quite recent, and I'm not sure why. So this one is from Juan Juan Manuel Santoyo Urbina. He has 144 subscribers, by the way. Yeah. And he says, "Damn, I need this game!" Wow. With three oh, no. exclamation marks and then a sad face. I just restart. I thought it would restart from checkpoint, but it's restarted the level. No, it hasn't. Yeah. Is it? 
oh, but I can right. skip oh, okay, all right. this. Whenever what? I skip it a checkpoint, it, yeah, it keeps doing that. How weird. Now skip it. Yeah. What? What? What a weird thing. I'm sure I've skipped nobody's, some of the others there. Nobody's going to skip our cutscenes. There's no point in testing that. No one's going to skip them. <sighs> Damn! I need this game! Yeah? And then we also hear from Arthur Hill 11 months ago. Oh, that's why, because... Oh, were you going oh, the wrong way? It was like I was leaving the air. The game spawned me going the wrong direction. What? And that little cutscene was actually him just going, Michael, we're going the wrong way. Oh. And so it was thrusting me backwards. Dumb. So that's why. Right, I'm now going to listen to... I'm going to begrudgingly listen <laughs> to what they tell me to do in these cutscenes when I get to the gate. Okay. I micro-jammed it and then he said something like something else and the gate still wasn't open so there's some other right requirement some other requirement that you yeah. need well fortunately arthur hill is here to save the day dr anal hill dr arthur hill yeah 11 months ago this was posted he's got no subscribers but here's what here's what arthur had to say okay i like knight rider 2 and i hope knight rider 3 knight industries 4000 car kit michael knight che chevy car and i hope I, I like Knight Rider 2, and I hope Knight Rider 3, Knight Industries 4000 car kit, Michael Knight Chevy car. <laughs> There's no verb. Fragment, consider revising. I hope Knight Rider 3, Knight Industries 4000 car kit, Michael Knight Chevy car. Yeah, me too. I hope that You too. just skipped it again. No, it's okay. I, I know, know this, this one. one again. Right, what do we do? One green light. Yeah. Are there like three Data more? Data retrieved from this terminal tells me that there are three other terminals connected to this gate. Time, yeah. We have to find them in order to open this gate. So what are we waiting for? I'm guessing we are meant to backtrack and not sort of drive around that comp. Oh, there's uh, one. Do you think they were here before? I don't remember Oops. seeing them. So I'm going to say no. Two. Bleep. There are still two more. Oh, there's a crashed helicopter in that. Yeah, where have people fled? It, it seems all the people have fled. Where? There's only one way out, and it's at the gate. More like it seems all the people have dead. Am I right? Yes! Peter, there's a speed run for this game. The, the weird thing is, though, that it, the, the fastest speed run is significantly faster than the other one. So I'm not sure if this person is cheating or not, Maybe. but it doesn't strike me as the an... kind of game where people particularly care. Maybe they found an epic hack, an epic Maybe. strat. Oh, there it is. So the speed run is from Tokoloni. Tokoloni won. Mm -hmm. They speed ran it on PC. How fast did they speed run this game? You've got all four in the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah. Um, what about 32 minutes? Oh, you're not far off. Yeah. 26 minutes and 40 seconds. Well done, to to Tokoloni won. Toki Leone. <laughs> Toby Lerone. Toby Lerone. Toby Lerone. Snacks. <laughs> Please. It, it really didn't calculate that vector very well. Can we do that again, please? Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Me. I don't even know how me. I did it. I think I just sort of jumped at a me. at a slope. Me. Me. That was a nasty collision. Oh, it's just open. No one's in there. Yeah. Oh, now this closed. Quick, close it. The car's in. Yeah, they're in now. Let them in. Oh my God. Oh no! It's the Eye of Sauron. What? It is, yeah. Skip, buddy. Are we all right? Are we all right? <sighs> Another hit like this will destroy us both. They just sat there monologuing. <laughs> yeah. Another hit like this will destroy us both. I suggest we leave immediately. My scanner picked up a gate on the other side of the compound. Great. Why are you just sitting? The gate is now closing rapidly. We have to hide. <laughs> oh okay, no! Get us out of here before we're toasted. Before we're toasted. So what is it? I realise there are actual out-of-car sequences in the TV show. But what's the point in Michael Knight in this game? He doesn't even drive the car. There was a really long lingering shot of the gate slowly closing as well. It's like, oh, time is of the essence, except let's just show... Whoa! It's trying to be really... <laughs> See if you can get it to close on you. Oh, it pushed oh, me out. Oh. Ski mode. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's not. Nice. So it just spat you out, did it? I'll, I'll try and drive in a little bit. I just didn't want to like trigger a cutscene by getting too far. Right. Sauron, no. That one, was too one more close. hit like that, and we'll be dead. We'll Except be toast. If we get hit several times. Okay. Unsurprisingly, this is not on Metacritic. 
Oh! <laughs> Get out! This game is not on Metacritic. Oh, okay. That was the entire mission, by the way. Mission. Great. It's not on Metacritic, so we have to turn to game rankings instead. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you think this game got out of 100% on game rankings? I think it got... Um, 56%. It got... 27.6%. Oh. Are these user reviews or nope. critics? These are critical reviews. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised because games of this era were always way over-reviewed. They were. Um, How high do you think the highest review score was? And it's from Games Master UK. We know that one. Games Master. Uh, well, if the average was 20 odd, the high can't be so high. I, I guess like 40. 41. Oh, 41% is the highest review. What's that? What's that? No question mark. What's that? Well, where did that come from? That wasn't there a second ago. Well, it is now. That helicopter is heavily armed. That helicopter. Right, let me get my missiles out. Oh, I can't. It's not letting me. Our weapons don't work due to the damage. Due to the due to the damage. Ouch. Don't don't go through the explosion. It hurts after the fact for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Just the... bounce around all over the place. They'll never get you. What was the lowest review score? <laughs> um Possibly, possibly a vomit inducing zero. It's not. I don't think it deserves one, but I'm just saying, it, it happens. It's a tie between Gamers Europe and Loaded Inc., which I've not, neither I've heard of. Oh, hello? What's going on? Oh, okay, that was <laughs> weird. Uh, 20%. 10. Oh, okay. They both gave it 10%. Uh, now, unfortunately, with game rankings, we don't have the sort of a tagline from the review. Oh. One thing I think that uh, Games Master UK probably said was. Uh, Night Rider the Game 2 has come, come together, together beautifully. beautifully. I don't even have to dodge, he just shoots in front of me. But we always want to hear, Peter, mm. we always want to hear what people have to say about this game. The man on the street. The or man woman. on the street, the man on the, on the woman or the, the woman on the street. Yeah. So, we turn to Amazon. Mr. Amazon himself. Yes. We ask him what his opinion is. Amazon. John Amazon. John Amazon. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Look at those chicken nuggets! Oh, it's just like that Hazard Road sign. There's no way we'll make it past that. This is the end of the line, buddy. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, we just got to slowly steer around it. The first review, Peter, is from Shabnam Sajad. This was reviewed on uh, the 20th of August, 2014. Okay. Back when this was the peak of technology. Verified purchase. Yeah. And Shabnam says, do not buy fault disc. Do not buy fault disc. Do not buy fault disc. Well, I won't. I was intending on buying good disc. He gave it one star. Do not buy fault disc. Do not buy fault disc. Next one is from Ioannis Ale Alexiadis, I believe. Ioannis Alexa, play Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> Very good! Exclamation mark. Ah. After playing the first one and getting a bit disappointed, I must admit the second one pleased me much more. Getting a bit disappointed. It space think... S longer. Much less boring, and I have fun playing it. Great. I think if I drive through cactuses, it hurts me. Really? <laughs> yeah. I drove through one earlier, and I got a really red screen. I'm just trying to find another one now. Okay, let me know if you spot one. It certainly could be made better, but I doubt the manufacturers wanted it to be. <laughs> <laughs> that, Space S, a must-have game for Knight Rider fans. Great. And the final review we've got, this is from Mark Lambeth. Five-star review. All caps, Knight Rider 2 hyphen PS2 game. <laughs> One person found this helpful. Oh, good. Is that all it says? Knight Rider 2 PS2 <laughs> game. Five stars. Just spat there. Five stars. That concludes my notes. Oh no, they've sort of blown up the bridge, but not quite. No, Michelin King. Uh oh. Whoa! That was a good game over screen. It you know was. What? I it knew that I did do. It knew that I came off the edge. I know we're big now. We're now big connoisseurs of the Knight Rider, the game franchise. Wrong side. So you got the right side first time, but... The Knight Rider, the game franchise. I think this one is better than the last one. I do. I agree. But I think it may have reviewed worse. Yeah, it might have done. Um, Maybe by 2004, people were really just well, sick of Davalex's crap. Yeah. And people were still buying it and reviewing it in 2014 for some ungodly reason. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Hellmaster! 
mission failed. failed. I like to think that Kit is saying that as he plummets to his death. Mission failed. <laughs>